Welcome in. It is the kickoff hour. Leaning on eight minutes past the hour. Everyone back together. Helmsy back uh, and uh, has lots of stories from the road uh, that he'll update you about to this hour. And a busy show today. Uh, we got the will of meat. It's on the table. Plus, uh, we have got uh, the Bible study live today, noon central, and a lot of great contests that you can register for at rickandbubba.com. Just click on contest. Fix Mama's Mouth. The deadline is almost here. you got to get everything in. The instructions are very easy to follow. Please make sure you do that. And you can find all of that at rickandbubba.com. Click on contest. Also there, USFL. Uh, they have got a youth football uh, team uh, adventure that you could be a part of that has to do with free game or with the USFL as uh, all of the teams are in Birmingham playing. They'll have a, a weekend two coming up, uh, and, and we'll see how that goes and rolls out. They actually start playing on Friday night uh, this week, so uh, look forward to that. Those two contests are at rickandbubba.com. Also today, we've got the charity charge check presentation and some food from Tim Spencer and Buffalo Wild Wings. That'll happen this, uh, this, uh, in today's show, and then we'll let you know about the next upcoming charity charge, which is going to be Monday, uh, and uh, we look forward to that. Also, the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama is coming up April 29th through May the 1st. We just talked to Tim Tebow about that. He's Grand Marshal. We've got a very unique uh, and interesting tire change competition that will take place today in the parking lot, which means we've blocked off parking spaces and we're going to make people mad in the building. So that's going to be interesting today, and we'll have to deal with that very socially awkward moment where people are walking by our studio window giving us mean looks. So uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll break all that down. Uh, Adler's in the TV room, and over to my left is Greg Burgess, and to my right it is Michael Helms. What's up, guys? How are y'all? Hey. Gentlemen. Welcome back, champ. It was well, it was interesting, back to, come, again. It was interesting <laughs> to pull in the parking lot today and things be blocked off. Yeah. And I think, what is what are we That's doing? That's never a good yeah. thing. Well, we we weren't sure how to do it. Greg and I both agreed yesterday, parking our trucks sideways and all that, and then you got to leave in the middle of the show on. and hey man they're here can you move and then we're trying to you're move that voice and that's yeah a bip. and that's that's bip city and so we thought it looks know, a, it looks official i'll tell you that okay you good go. nobody's good. gonna mess with it. like also, I, I honestly did not i had to really focus on the fact that oh wow so that's microphone stands yeah like it, and because y'all got that yellow it mm-hmm. looks it looks professional and official well it, it, until somebody I thought runs they were right, doing some kind of work yeah. yeah until somebody runs right through it because they're half sure. asleep sure. or something but those mic <laughs> stands somebody parks right in the middle of it. you know uh <laughs> how greg says hey that's you know if something's really good he goes man yeah. that's sure enough right it there is. sure yeah. enough rv and all that that's sure enough mic stands those they things are, are heavy solid they so are. the wind's not going to tump no, them over. No, they're but heavy. Yeah, the um, moving them. So, so the Honda Indy, <laughs> Honda Indy Grand Prix is this uh, is not this weekend. That's uh, Talladega, but it's the next weekend, Talladega. April 29th through May the first. And they presented us with a tire changing competition with the staff. Now, we know Rick and Bubba's not going out there, so that kind of you know kind of puts it on us a little bit. I thought we could just have fun I'm, with I'm it. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do. it. I don't, there. you know, and I don't know that that matters. But uh, they're going to bring. Uh, some type of vehicle here. They say a van, but I think it's maybe a, a cool looking van. I hope, uh, and they're going to put it up on jacks, and then they, they're just going to allow us to just get after it and see who can, I guess, take the tire off quickest. Okay, well, put a new one on right, there or something. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll have that today, uh, and 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 we'll be full on Buffalo Wild Wings while we do it. So. I'd say that's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Changing tires, eating wings. Good day to come back. Guys. Yeah, good day good to come back. That's buddy. quite a combo. Good day to come back. And so wings tell and everybody, tires. tell everybody where you've been if oh, they're if they're goodness. out of loop and what y'all brought Mobile, back home. Mobile, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Um, been, it's bay. been a while since I've been to Mobile, but I'm going to spend a lot of time in Mobile for I the next month. Oh, I, um, I don't know how to go there. I think it was a hurricane. It's been that long, Rick, Greg. When you were working yeah, at Alabama Grace, Power, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fifteen Greg, years ago. Greg, yeah. I, you don't remember things. No, I you see, haven't I, been to Mobile in fifteen years. Oh, or more. Yeah, really. Why would I be in Mobile? I don't know. Maybe go to the beach. Or I mean, nothing wrong with it. I, I, I know you don't I, normally I really, go through the Mobile to get to the beach, but something no. down there. Nothing. No, I haven't been there. When you went over to Buck Biloxi gambling, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, was in Mobile, got down Sunday. It was a weird, it started off weird because it was Hurricane Easter George. weekend mm-hmm. and the uh, Alabama High School Association scheduled the tennis champ- state championships. And so last week I oh, was. Are they down there every year? 
they rotate it between it's, Montgomery. I think. Well, I think it's going to be down there for from now on. About a little more century located. Why, but, are you, why are you squinting at him? Are you well, disgusted I mean, with it, it? Greg? People I didn't up make north this. Got to go all the way to Mobile. <laughs> so, you, so I, hey, on the record, Greg doesn't like Mobile. <laughs> no, well, nothing against okay. Mobile, but okay, the whole state of Alabama is involved. Won't we get a central location? It's all about the facility, yeah. Greg. They have yeah. the largest yeah. facility nearly on the planet. Greg, go ahead and just say <laughs> Mobile. Well, we're not on there, so. Uh-huh. So there. <laughs> Gracious. I didn't know you were so – I mean, you're like this, squinting though, at him like, what's that? Had several people that came up that are listeners in that area. Well, I'm mm-hmm. just saying if you – you, I get it, facilities, but I'm just, just saying. That's, you that's, got that's the big part of it, Greg. So let it go. You would like since I'm drawing the whole state go. maybe, you know. Seriously, they have like 60 courts, yeah. and and no one else can touch that. Well, they need in to the, build yeah. one of them Other than central. Lake Nona, which is the USTA. Well, maybe uh, they can build one in central Alabama to compete with. Well, that'd be nice. I'd like to see it right here in Birmingham. Be nice because they get it out of Mobile for you. No, I ain't nothing against Mobile. It's just my, my life, it doesn't take me that direction much. Yeah. Well, it's been a few years since I've been, too. But it's uh, we, we headed down on Sunday shortly after church. And, and again, that was strange because it's Easter weekend and you're having to load up the family and leave. Yeah. And so who are y'all yeah. the USFL? Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Say amen so we can leave. And it was it felt like that. Mm-hmm. And um and so Where's the eggs? Got on <laughs> got on the road and uh left Maddie. This was good. So we left our nine year old and Coco the dog with my mom at my house. Oh, okay. She couldn't wait for y'all to get back. So for Coco, probably not for Maddie, but for Coco. Well, yeah. probably probably a little above. I'm thinking Coco. <laughs> and uh so so it was a good trip. It rained half the way down there, but I mean, it wasn't bad. Traffic wasn't bad. But we get down there, and you know, the kids are staying in their place. We've got our place. Oh, and so, start party. Monday, uh, the tennis. So, you do it a full day Monday, and then it's really about two thirds of a day on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And so, fortunately for us, uh, so my kids go to Vestavia Hills, a 7A mm-hmm. school. And so, the big money, the seven, some of the classifications aren't playing until tomorrow Oh, wow. but there were a lot of them there um i think most of them but 6a actually uh-huh. were there yeah looking down at 6a huh no but like one thing like they, and there's 60 courts so you've got and tennis does it weird you don't y'all uh, greg you don't have a problem with this probably like one through three a play each other yeah four and five a play each other 6a and 7a are completely separate yeah, i get so i get it it's a numbers so game. the yeah. um that's so six A doesn't play until so Mountain Brook, who is also locally, and Homewood, who it will also be there, is going down. Got I guess it. probably today. But anyway, Vestavia Hills, where my kids go, Braden's a sophomore, Caroline's a, a freshman. They both play on the team, and and the boys and girls both won the seven A state title. There it is. So uh, it was uh, it was exciting. It was Congratulations. an exciting day. Um, I don't think mine, it, being so young, realized what they've accomplished. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, especially Caroline. Uh, I don't think, as a freshman, I don't think she realizes the, mm-hmm. the especially at that classification. Right. Um, you know, most people don't, most people go their whole high school and don't even sniff a state championship, no. much uh-huh. less win one as a freshman. Right. So, um, well, I hadn't really talked to Braden much. You know, he's kind of he does his own thing. I I, I would see him <laughs> at the courts, and um, hey son, he rode down with somebody else. Hey man, your mom's down here if you need. Yeah, it. <laughs> that's basically what it was with Braden. It was really, I mean, it, it's good and bad because he's growing up, but at the same time, we don't spend as much time with him as we want oh, to. No. Mm-hmm. And more. and so, <laughs> yes, um, it is. and even Caroline to to some extent, we were like, you know, she was kind of doing her own thing. So we were just, it was almost like. It felt like a, almost a glimpse of college. Like we were just kind of going yeah. to visit them. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, if y'all, I think we're able to spend time together, but yet see them. We were, you know, yeah. and sprinkle. So it was good. It was. It was a good little mix. And you bring you bring home some trophies. How about the hardware? Uh-huh. Some blue um, states. Yeah. So it's uh, it, it was Look a lot that. of fun and that's awesome, man. The group. Congratulations. You know, it's interesting. We've been able to watch this from both sides of it, having a boy on the team and a girl on the team. Yeah. And the boys. It, they're different, and we've talked about this. The boys, they, they, they all encourage each other, love each other. Huh. They're the greatest team guys, and they're just fun to be around. 
And the girls are fun to be around, too. <laughs> but they also bring drama along yeah. with them. It's like Boy, if, if things are not just, I mean, if things are going perfect, it's like, man, where's the drama? we got to bring drama into this. <laughs> yeah. We've got a long, too, too long period of time. Yeah. So you had a little of that. But, you know, you always have that when you're dealing with girls. Right. So, But it was such an awesome couple days and um, some memories we'll cherish for a long time. Coming home as champs. How about, How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congratulations. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It was a it was a uh, educated risk. Well, we can tell already. It must have been the stem cell stuff because you're fine. Yeah, I was fine. I Did was you fine. call the Chicago Bulls and give them a tip on it? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I loved yesterday how you sent the tweet that Joker had just been to see. I don't think we talk about and that. well, but Greg didn't know who he was. Right. We'll just leave it at that because not a lot of people know what. Well, I thought it was a guy with Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> there's uh, there, there's a lot of world class top level athletes like that, you that come into town, <laughs> right? Yeah, and That's are treated you were there. at the Andrew Sports Medicine, uh, and you know Dr. King sees a lot of them. Yeah, and he's a team doctor for the University of Alabama. You see him anytime anybody's yeah. down on the field, and um, he's uh, you know he's real good at what he does. Glad to ha- glad to have him. Yeah. What kind of needle um, we talking about? You know, Hams. I didn't look at it. Okay. Uh, I survived shots okay, but I, I don't see any need to push it. Yeah. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get all that in there, and they have to they have to numb it, and they have to, or they take a little bit out, a little fluid, so there's room to put this other stuff in there. And I guess it, it's it's kind of supposed to help. You you were reading about what it yeah. does. No. What it's is it? It's called do? Gel One. Yeah. It's the second. You may have heard of it. It's else. Gel One, made from chicken parts. Oh, yeah. Gel I, One. I, I what we're trying to do is come up with a cartilage uh, replacement, like an artificial cartilage. <laughs> so we're going to use chicken you know, beaks. Trying to put some you, sponge in there. You know, you see all these stories about these kids that make this slime stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and they, they pour two or three things in, and it, oh, it yeah. creates this slime. Well, if they could just make it out of that mm-hmm. and put it in there, I mean, you'd, you'd move right along then. Now, you know? i, I got to give you a warning now. You, after... After you have this done, you need to avoid any activities that put stress on your knees, such as jogging, heavy lifting, standing on your feet for more than an hour at a time for at least 48 hours. Mm. Got it. Done. Done. Got got that. Following doctor's orders. Basically just the regular day. (laughs) (laughs) Just continue doing what you do. Uh, Mr. Bussey, no adjustment to your day. (laughs) Hold what you got there, sir. (laughs) Hold it. When do you start feeling the effects if it works? Uh, you know, probably right away. I mean, there's a little Novocaine in there yesterday, too. That, that so what's going anything. on? What, why is it something hurting? Well, it just grinds all the time. You ain't had the urge to go. It's, it, it's, a, it's a pain because right. even though you try not to pay attention to it, when it's grinding, when you bend it, you pay attention to it. Yeah. You have no, you know. You ain't had the and urge it pops to, go, and all that. to go peck around the yard or anything, have you? <laughs> From chicken parts, mm, open. <laughs> no, but I, I may, I may have corn today for lunch. I don't know. <laughs> now, are you playing any tennis now? Modern uh, day? I, I'm on a team, but I have not played because of the knee. Yeah, that. Yeah, they got you on IR. Yeah, the no IR list. Just taking it easy. Is it over? Well, it's over the the way it used to be when I played. Will all you play the time. this year? Will you play? Well, I've already played some this year, okay. and? but it's been very limited. Played in the state tournament, the uh, the team I was on. Won one, lost one. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it ain't like the good old days. Well, <laughs> you, you, yeah. It ain't good. Yeah. Hey. You, you talking about domination days? Well, what I'm, well you just see where I'm, where I'm, I'm trying to investigate. That will be here. back to the national tournament and run yeah, the table. Yeah, but, yeah, you know. yeah I, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm looking at is it possible, <laughs> you know, in your state that, that some of this moving around in this state could be what's damaged your knees so many times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. It, it didn't help. Being right. a little overweight didn't, hurt, didn't help either. Right. But some of it was brought on due to earlier things, and probably a lot of it just genetic, too. Mm. You know, rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. <laughs> mm. well, hey, getting old loser. Sure. I think I'll lose her on that. Terrible. Terrible. Huh? Terrible. 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 Yeah. I was going to be different, Rick. I, they just didn't know me. Here yeah. we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I have no delusions of grandeur. None. Like you said, we're just trying to survive now. Yeah. Our steps are numbered, so I got to be careful, you know. Like Pigpen <laughs> said, frankly, I look better than I thought I did. <laughs> Overall. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And we're going to call Speedy again in Alaska. Just hey. Keep... Hey, buddy. Speedy. Hey, Alaska checking in again. <laughs> What's going on? Well, yeah, it's just our checking la- on. It's our last shot at you. You heading back tomorrow? 
Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's over. Is Tyler it is. is Tyler so sick you be in there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've tried to I've tried to sprinkle uh yeah. and, and told him that uh hey, no pressure of this but he actually you know, he he's uh he's twenty, so he won't say he wants to come home, uh and that yeah. he misses the family. Yeah. But um, you know, he's clingy. But anyway. Yeah, well you remember You don't have long. It can go either way. You remember when your family busted up down there at the college and you were like, Well, I was still here. You know, I mean, it's uh, right. and right. you know, right. yeah, and because you, you got to be on your toes when when. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We're looking at twenty three minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba show. All right, so we're just kind of setting the table for today. Uh, Helmsy back, so the Good Time Gang uh, is full uh, of, uh, uh, you know, re- looking back at your trip to Mobile, uh, which Greg hates, uh, and I don't That's know why. That's not true. I just um, made a point. I just haven't been you know, there in 100 years. Lo- looking back at that. I don't, we, I, I don't go to Mobile a lot. Well, you don't like Nothing Mobile. Nothing against I may love Mobile. Look at me. I've it's never okay been there, for you to say I, I haven't like been there it. twice my whole life. Uh, and I was working both times. Uh, well, you're mad that the that state's even down there. No, I'm just huh? saying, I mean, with the southern most part of the state, and if you got the whole state, let's find a central location. Everybody can get there a little better. That's all I said. Well, Hamsey's back, and he's and, and they've brought the boys' and girls' state championship back with them in 7A. That's the highest classification in the state of Alabama here? for Vestavia High School. Huh? Been, been a lot nicer. Yeah, what if yeah. they'd have got to play here? Yeah, I'd probably got my washer situation <laughs> dialed yeah, in. Yeah. That's it. See, yeah. you completely forgot about it. So we're kind of recapping a little bit of that. They both, uh, boys and girls, brought home the state championship, uh, but now – uh, they're back to reality. Uh, you had your dog and your youngest stay yeah. with your your mom. Uh, is was it your mom or a man? My, my mom. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, your mom. Your was your dad dad around at all, or was he all baseball? Was he he wasn't. He, no, he did not come. He was. I don't know if he was doing baseball or not, but he was. He was back home. Could I sidebar? And I'm assuming he probably was. Um. So I, you know, I am notorious for coming in late. And throwing on ESPN Plus and just seeing what's on, yeah. and maybe watching thirty minutes of about three or four different games. So it was maybe last week. Jack, I knew Jacksonville State was playing, so I turned it on, and and Mike Parrish is on the call, sure, and uh, just a legend. And I'm enjoying it, and I'm watching, you know, about two or three innings, and I, I guess a foul ball was hit back to the press box, yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and <laughs> and Mike. He kind of jumped back a little bit. Oh, whatever, like that. And then he referred, Mac, you all right over there? It's <laughs> he funny. said, and anyway, he went into he went <laughs> into Mac, you all right? And I knew he was running doing the scoreboard, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I started laughing because he was giggling at Mac about how he was reacting yeah, the, to the ball coming that's in. That's funny. And I'm like, well, there's there's old there's old Mac Daddy. Oh, wow. Look at him. Yeah. If uh, they were fired up, I'm sure. A foul ball. <laughs> if they were in town. He, I'm sure he was. Oh, that's yeah. what he yeah. was doing. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, so you're back, and when you left us, you had uh, washer problems. Your washer yeah. uh, still went got out. washer problems. And apparently, you don't like my turn it left and turn it right. Yeah, yeah. Tried, that. That, that, tried that. Tried that. No, you didn't. didn't. I yeah. don't think you did. We actually had somebody come out um, nah. Friday and look at it, and it was a um, drain pump had gone bad on it. Uh-oh. And so I, I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Um, busy day Friday. And so drain drain pump. Yeah, the, the drain the Is pump it clogged up. Or no, something? no, just it, it dead in the water. It was dead, dead, oh, dead in the water. Hey, it ain't pumping. They're gonna have to replace it, and to replace it by the time you factored in all labor and costs and whatever, you're getting closer. You're getting probably about a third, two thirds to a new washer. Mm. So we made the decision to go, I'm going to pay you for coming out and looking at it, and we're going to buy a new washer because this washer is like 12 or 13 years old. We yeah. figured it up. It's gonna Something else is going to go wrong with yeah, it. You're getting an imagine time. dryer, or are you going to keep well, the dryer? Well, see, we had just bought a new dryer, so we're going to get a washer that matches that Ooh. dryer. Mm-hmm. Of course, we hadn't ordered it yet, and from what I'm understanding, it's two or three weeks then out. you forgot. When so, you and I didn't tell you all this because <laughs> earlier because I knew you would make fun. Huh. When Amanda picked up our laundry, okay, so we went to this, uh, we took Friday on her way, she took all the laundry to this place, and they just knocked it out. Well, they have this plan that you 
Yeah. Um, sign up. You sign right. up. It's a dry for cleaning it. place, right? Yeah, and they'll. I mean, they'll. They'll. We're not going this far with it, but they'll actually come by the house, pick it up, and then bring it back by the house. Everything folded. He'll be doing that for so Well, no, oh, yeah, Greg, we're, that's what brilliant. we're doing right now. Because right. I knew it. It's um, brilliant. It's brilliant. And, and you would, it's relatively. He'll stay with it a while, and then he'll oh, cancel yeah. it and Netflix. It's, <laughs> rel- it's relatively inexpensive uh, when you think about the things we spend money on. And so what I did was, so we dropped all that off at like, I don't know, it's 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. We had it back at the house at. Three thirty, four o'clock that afternoon. This is a place we go by every day, probably six, eight times a day. Deal. Come on, champions. That's exactly that's exactly who it is. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, uh, it's so better Matt, than sitting there pumping them quarters. Then so Ma- yeah. well, so Amanda signed us up. So this morning she's like, "Hey, is there any laundry? I'm just gonna run it by, and you can pick it up later." And Friday when we picked up the laundry and put it, we were like, it "Smelled fresh." It was better than anything we could have ever done. Number one. Number two, Wait a ever. what kind of statement is that? Number number two, Greg, <laughs> you the things you can do. You don't, hey, you don't understand how these shirts were folded, okay? <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, Caroline yeah. even said, Caroline even said, how do you fold shirts yeah, like this? There's I'm an like, art to it. I, there is. By the way, I think you know the art to it. I'm okay You're pretty with good. short sleeve. You're pretty good yeah, at that. With short sleeve, long sleeve, I'm not good at it. Yeah, it's well, tough. It was amazing. Hey, um, I, I applaud the business for for being you know self serving like this. When you just go take it and you it, come back hey, and it's all done. And so and. Oh, and in today's in today's world, that, old, I'm sure they're busy doing that. Your old that. skanky drawers were clean. Yeah. Well, that's the <laughs> only thing. Amanda, you know they were holding them up. Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> Got he holes. Been scratching in. his butt. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. Talk, Amanda and I did talk about. It. She goes, I don't know if I want somebody. You know. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, they did charge extra for yours for the smoke stain. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really stayed in it here. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be <laughs> another. So we get to here's the thing we get to drop off what we did Friday two times a week and and they just turn it around Buddy, within it's okay. hours it's okay and but hey it's happening again the well hey yeah. that's what we t- we actually talked about that okay here we go well, we did we had that conversation do we even need a washer no, you got to weigh, I mean, weigh it the I know. cost and the convenience that convenience is worth something could I, there be anything 100%. worse for you if you had to go to a laundromat oh, in, no. while in Mobile. Oh, boy, that would be terrible. (laughs) That would have been awful. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. He's here. You know what? Oh, you do. You do. And, and, uh, you know, when I was uh, talking to uh, the host family, uh, you know, I could tell he wants to break up the conversation just a little. Uh, But um, now they've said that he and and the two roommates have been really good. Uh, He's got two roommates – that uh, he's staying with, and, and they really have got a really good setup. I was talking to them uh, over the last few days, and they've got a, a, a basement where they have a couple of rooms, and they've just given the basement to the guys. And so Tyler has his own room and everything, but uh, uh, things are going well. And uh, it's coming to an end. I think when I come home, he's only got about a week and a half to two weeks left. Yeah, well, I noticed the picture with you, him, and the host family. Great picture. Uh, I think that's going to make picture of the day today at some point. It's and there. It's now. already there. Yeah. Go look at it at rickandbubba.com. So, and we also watched on your Instagram, you went to this wildlife thing you told us about yesterday. And hey, yes. wow. Hey, wow. Hey, I mean, they let you get up close and personal. <laughs> I mean, it is uh, it, it is something else. I mean, in the backdrop, too, uh, you, you forget, hey, look around, you know, look up and mm-hmm. just see the surroundings and all that but it was it was really interesting um uh had a korean guy that um uh, almost got uh got his hand bit by a moose he tried to get it on in there now if we get his, his if we get his answer machine don't start talking yeah, to it it sounds like because he does like he does a prank with his answer machine hello gary what? Uh, Rick and Bubba, you're live on the air. That's good. I'm trying to do some bush hogging. <laughs> well, you, you're going to have to shut her down because we're calling to wish you happy birthday. Okay. Well, I was waiting on uh, Edgar Cake. Edgar Cake? <laughs> Who? Edgar Cake. <laughs> Gary, happy birthday, Gary. All right. Yeah, this is a first for me. I've never been 60 before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. How, how's 60 feel? Well, 
I feel like I did when I probably about 40, I guess. Really? Yeah. I don't feel any different. Still, I look a little up. still living the dream? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, out playing tennis and stuff like that keeps you in shape. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do it. That's clear. The, give you good knees. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Gary, you told me you actually did play tennis at one time, right? You pitch it. Oh, yeah. Play a good bit of tennis. But, you know, in my younger years. <laughs> I can't. I've got to see it. <laughs> That's when he led Clanton to the, the championship. <laughs> Clanton? Wherever he's from. <laughs> it's not Clanton. <laughs> Clanton, he said. Yeah. Jimison. Yeah, yeah. Now, you where you went to school at where, Gary? Chilton uh, County. Chilton County. <laughs> Okay, so when you when you went you. when you went to Chilton County, did you play tennis there? Or are you just talking about after that when you was an adult? No, this is this is after I got married and you know didn't have much to do. Uh, uh, wait a minute, after you married, didn't have much to do. <laughs> he, he wanted to keep his athletic self, yeah. right? Yeah. You got to stay in shape, you know. I played tennis, you know. Uh, it's annoying. You getting a call? Yeah, I played a little bit of golf. Are you getting a call? Yeah, why is that buzzing sound we keep hearing? It's everybody wishing me a happy birthday uh, on something on my phone. I don't know what it is, but it <laughs> got bells going off. Yeah, well, Gary, are you coming to the expo again this year at the end of, the end of August? Well, I, I I thought I might. I may have to do mail order on my, uh, my turkey calls because I hadn't really had time to make but a few. Well, you need to make a few more up before the event. You got a little time. Well, I might make about 50. That's about all I'm going to bring up there. Yeah, you got to bring more than that. Everybody always gets mad that you run out. Well, I mean, I can do only, only what I can do. And really, isn't it better for the turkeys if there's not too many uh, out there? Yeah, I, I'd rather not sell a whole lot of them anyway, not in the state of Alabama. Well, why is that? That phone. Yeah, well, I don't, if I know how to cut this off, I would. But. <laughs> you should have you should have stayed with your flip phone when you got that iPhone after you got a little money. Yep. And this is what they were talking about over the Hickory Chip. Now you <laughs> now you don't even know how to run it. <laughs> What's up, gents? I know that you have been picked from the entire staff to be the celebrity judge of the best burger Birmingham Burger Fest. Birmingham mm-hmm. Burger Fest. Burger Fest. And you told us, the, we talked to you about it last week, I think, and you said they're asking for... Hey, rolling back, 25 minutes to the top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Today, charity charge uh, check presentation and food drop. Uh, last month's... Charity Charge benefited Mission 44 and brought in a really good amount. Uh, and right. one of the, the one of the main reasons, according to Tim Spencer, is the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Oxford location off Exit 188. That's right, uh, off I-20 uh, that has opened up and it is in business. And uh, so you add that to the mix. I haven't had a chance to go by there yet, but mm-hmm. I am. I told Tim you didn't care about it. I know I do. I just, <laughs> um, and Tim's been asking for something from Rick, <laughs> and I think I saw Rick. Year. I, bought, I think I saw. I hope Rick. he don't own the Mobile location. Yeah, good night. No, You'll never go there. there. You um, forget it. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. He's been on Rick about uh, bringing something in so it could it could be in the in the restaurant, and I think I just saw Rick carrying it. No. Coming in, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, Mission Forty Four uh, is a faith-based nonprofit that meets the needs of children and their families at Children's Hospital, uh, and they provide support in all areas to families of children uh, fighting different illnesses at Children's Hospital. Because you know, there's a lot. You know, not not only uh, you know the, the the Children's Hospital can kind of take care of the child uh, and and the best in the in the country are, are helping. Yes. But there's a lot of other needs uh, while your child is in Children's Hospital that yep, uh, they absolutely. can come alongside and help support uh, these amazing families, uh, and uh, and they do really great work. Uh, M44.org, Mission 44, that's their website. We'll tell you more about that. Grant Lowe with Mission 44 will come in to receive the check from Buffalo Wild Wings and give you a chance to hear a little bit more about what they do 
And then next uh, Monday, uh, the charity charge is benefiting Make-A-Wish uh, of Alabama. Uh, and so That's they do one. great work, too. Uh, and we'll tell you more about them. And then the, the hour after that, Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama will be here for a tire-changing competition in the parking lot. <laughs> now, uh, we'll have fun with it, whatever. <laughs> but um, <laughs> there's this ongoing drama here we have with the, the building. And we all have just a little bit of anxiety anytime we have to block the parts of the parking lot but there's off. There's plenty of room because we had to walk a little further. Well, this place fills up, but if you notice, just past this there's building, it's it's just empty. Yeah. So they're gonna have to walk a little a little yeah, further. So hurt. if if you're one of those that maybe tire, jump in there. listen to the show and you <laughs> you actually work here and you park by us, uh, just know we got some things blocked off. But well, at, at some point we'll have. We'll have a car jacked up. I think if, and if anybody wants changing by, tires out we there. should offer them the opportunity to go, do you want to change a tire on your way yeah, to work? Sign a right? waiver and, and change a tire. Change a tire. Come on in. Let's do this. So that's on, on, on the table today. Bible study at noon central time in the Willamette could spin too because Helmsy's back. How about, how about uh, we were so out of sorts last night coming back. I completely forgot what day it was. And Amanda and I were talking about beach traffic. We were like, hopefully we won't run into beach traffic going back. Right. And it, it both Tuesday. hit us. Hey, it's Tuesday. Yeah. It, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, we're not going to run into anything. No, no. Um, I, there, you know, very rarely <laughs> does Greg come in with a story he won't be quiet about. Well, I, uh, I just want to know how you would handle it. I know how you would handle this. No, uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. I know how you would handle it. Anyway, I'll Especially talk about if it gas. happened in Mobile. Gas prices are, are ridiculous mm-hmm. as we speak. They, yeah. they've, here's how they mess with us, though. They run them up to nearly five, and then they settle in the high threes, and we're like, Whew. Yeah, and then you it know, never they moves. Just change yeah. our, they just change yeah. their expectations. That's yeah. where we're at now. Mm. Hey, it's only 385. Yeah. Yeah, but this time last year, you mm. know, you would have bought somebody over there. Anyway, there's a gas station owner in Tennessee, and for a few hours it was he was offering perhaps the lowest fuel prices <laughs> in, in the country. Ever. But here's the kicker. He didn't know it. Oh, what? Goodness. And uh, basically one customer, Mr. Henry Dehart, Greg. He knew something was wrong after putting 12 gallons of premium in his tank. The digital readout said $5.64. Hey, D Hart. For the whole, for this 12 gallons. So he goes, well, this ain't right. So he goes in and uh, it says there was a language barrier, which means the, the owner of the you know the business obviously didn't. English is his second language. Sure. And he finally com- showed him, started pointing at the receipt, and the guy didn't realize it. And they said this had been going on for like five hours. They'd been open. And he didn't realize it? Well, nobody, lot nobody of gas else being had said pumped. anything. Oh, wow. And, and so, so my question Word is. Word got out. You only my people question calling. is, if you're in that situation, do you, <laughs> look, I, speedy, okay, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Are you the guy that walks in and tells me? A lot of people, and mm. this guy even said that the guy that was one. waiting that behind him got mad that he went and told him. Got mad? But, oh, yeah. yeah. Because he wanted to for see it shows the pump and what they did they, they it says uh forty four uh point nine uh point four four nine cents per gallon it's probably supposed to be four dollars and forty nine cents mm-hmm. they had the decimal yeah. in the wrong yeah, place it this premium and yeah and okay. um but anyway a lot of people they're saying they're saying there's no telling how much money he's and he said the guy was in tears he he don't know what to do but my question oh is, my goodness do you feel you know, I, I, I I'm a surprise you. Speedy on this. feels. I'm up, definitely don't say it. no. Speedy I'm definitely says, going in. If you snooze, you lose. No, I'm going in. No, I, I, I'm, I'm going I, in. I'll be honest. If you anybody who filled their tank up in today's world and, and saw this ridiculous price, mm-hmm. there's no way you can go. Well, I didn't realize that it was something was wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to go. Okay. In. okay. If you filled up for five dollars, you know you have that to go something's wrong. Say, I think you should. Yeah. Now, Speedy, I get it. No. You, you just said you snooze, you lose. No, and I think that. I think uh, I think if you I. I, not only would I would want I would want to go tell the, the person, but I would feel like if I did that, that I was like cursing myself. Oh or yeah, absolutely. But like, I'm just no, saying, that I'd have a flat tire on the way yeah, home. Yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah. they're I mean, saying it's a, back. this thing had been open for five hours, and they're saying a lot of people did fill up and go. Mm. And like this guy claimed, unless he made it up to make his story better, you always <laughs> that's always there. Yeah, he claims the guy behind him argued with him because he was going in to point it out. So. Mm. Hey, wait till I'm done. I know people with multiple cars in the family probably call their Yeah, their, hey, their hey get up here. They got it for get 44 t- cents. Get up here. Right. Hurry knowing, up. Knowing that ain't And right. bring yeah. the five-gallon jugs we have as well. <laughs> yes, bring yeah. those cans. Get, yeah. get the uh, lawnmower gas. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hurry up. Get up here. But don't you know, I said the guy, once he figured out what he was trying to tell him, because he don't speak the language very well, mm-hmm. that he was he was just devastated. Because that's going to be a, a big loss for him. Because yeah. like they said, <laughs> these stores don't make a lot off gas. No, they don't. They're wanting you to buy other stuff. Right. Yeah. I, I, they said they make like maybe 10 cents a gallon, if that. What what grade are y'all putting in your trucks these days? Regular. Do you put the regular? You know, 87? Yeah. 
You, Greg? Mid. I do the mid, too. Do you? Are we supposed to? I, I Under think regular so. prices, I, on the, my newer vehicles, I always ran the, the print. I know. They, are we supposed they're to ripping us off. I, I've always been told to. And, and, and that's probably a ripoff. But probably. But I do. For some reason, I do. You do mid? Do. Yeah. You do 89? Yes. Yeah. Really? Okay, because I think when right. I my truck it just says regular on there, but maybe I was half paying attention. No, nah, look, I don't. Guys. I think it's the same. I mean, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's the, end yeah. of the world. Then why do y'all do it? I don't know. I, did, I feel like I'm supposed to for some reason. I don't know. Really? Yeah. So y'all don't think 87's good? I, I I think it's fine. I just don't think it's as good. You remember the days? This you need to get back. better gas mileage with 89. Do no, you remember just, when they they had, I made that up? They had know. regular so. and unleaded. They offered both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was mm-hmm. there was, now it's just unleaded, but yeah. there was a time when you could get regular or you could get unleaded. Do any of your cars require premium? Not anymore. I think about, if you buy a new car, it's gonna say it on the paperwork. Yeah. But right. you know, whatever. Yeah, normally if you open uh that you know, one you we put used the to gas that. on the inside, it'll tell you what it needs. And and I don't have a an indicator that I need more than eighty seven. So I just throw eighty seven. That um I go on eighty nine. That now. infinity we used to have it would say premium and I would always put premium in it and Amanda wouldn't. And I'm like, babe, it says premium. Put premium in it. Do you think and it needs it, though, really? I don't know. That's it's a good question. A I don't scam. know. It's, a, it's an all-company scam. Yeah. Is that what you think? Yeah. Our trucks probably don't need 89, but I'm putting it in there. For some reason, I just I didn't like, know that about Because I don't y'all. have – I can't do the 93 in the truck. I'm just not going to. I didn't know y'all put but 89. I, but I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of think these I are need newer, to be – These are newer tr- trucks they for are. y'all, too. And y'all I, doing 89? I think I need to be doing it in, in Amanda's Honda – Pilot thing that she's driving, but I, we put an eighty-seven. I think it's called a pilot. Hey Adler, when Isn't you're that not SUV, pilot, yeah. let me ask okay. you a question: When you're not running out of gas, um, yeah, and don't you, ask him. And if you miss that, you need to go back to he's the still, podcast. He still got Ethel and and hear yesterday's uh, <clears throat> show. Do you put eighty-nine in yours? No, no, I go regular all day long. Okay. Um, I heard that if unless your engine's like knocking, then you then you're you're wasting your money. I hate to say it like that. You're I've even heard people say just every now and then run a tank of uh, add that um, premium to it. Yeah, I've heard that too. And Again, there's something you can buy know. over the counter. People say just put put it in there every once in a while and mix it. And don't get me wrong now. Oh we'll, yes, yeah. listen, we'll and market take things. Care of like, it like I like the old uh, good for over three thousand miles. Well, all of it is. You know, but do you realize how many emails we're going to get today about this? Oh, yeah. yeah, Greg at RickandBubba.com. <laughs> Let him know if he's doing right. Now, putting Speedy said that he would actually have filled his tank up on this now. Since I mean, he, yeah. that, that's even better than eighty-seven. The fact that they had it for forty-four cents a gallon. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I could not have driven off. At forty-four cents, I took advantage of that person. At forty-four cents, would you have went ahead and put premium in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, no. I, I just, I don't, I don't, uh, no, no, no. I don't know. I, but we're getting we're getting some calls too about this. Yeah, well, do I dare do an unscreen? Sure, I, I got to know. Why not? Hey, bud, uh, you're listening to the Rick and Bubba Show. Unscreened uh, phone calls here on the kickoff hour. Do you know anything about this eighty seven eighty nine? Um. Well, I was just going to tell y'all about that. I've always been told growing up that if you have a vehicle, um, always go with regular unless it specifies you need something higher. Because, like for my truck. I use the basic general gas. Uh, if I was to go up to mid or premium, uh, I've been told that there's a sensor that will sense the gas that's higher, and the computer chip will change to that, and uh, it will change kind of how your engine works. So hmm. I, I didn't know if y'all had ever heard that before. I don't know. Wow, I didn't know uh, about that. See, so, mine states 989. Mine it, states that I put that in there. So if you've got, like, let's say you've got uh, – a, a thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's say let's say you've got a, an older car, uh, 2015, 2016, and it says, "Hey, you need to put premium in there." Uh, and I mean, really? I mean, <laughs> should should you put premium in there every time or just like every couple of times? That's a good okay. question. Don't worry about it. I'm just wondering. Is the truck running good. He's bought. Yeah, you because because no, no, you put no. 87 in this whole no, time. I'm not talking you're about my truck. I'm talking about, about another car in the family. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I don't know. That's one of the boys. Well, and that's that's really a question I've I've got for Amanda's car too because mm-hmm. she just puts eighty seven in there and her mindset is I'm getting the cheapest gas. Period. That's her mindset. But Especially I really right th- now. I know, and I really think she should be putting. Did not know y'all were eighty nine guys. Yeah. When you, you don't even know if you, it's needed. No, mine's well. I don't know if it's needed, but mine says it in the manual. It Run does. It. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to the manual. That's the only reason I've done it. Probably really should have paid attention when. You're they fine. were telling me what to do. I think you're fine. Why are you 89? <laughs> <laughs>
Bio and a headshot. Oh boy. Yeah, you know, I judge I judge things. I judge burger contests, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you might have heard of me. I work on a little show called Rick and Bubba. You might have heard of it. Yeah. Celebrity judge coming through. <laughs> Make way <laughs> for celebrity judge. Have you sent them what they need? In, in, no, I haven't. In fact, I, I Adler. I'm looking at their website and it's it's pretty serious. There's like uh, like a senator or a Republican. Something? No, the, Rep- it could be a Republican. A representative? Senator. It could be a representative. Okay, that's what it is. A I think. Public, uh, and all of this is. Could been be a Democrat. A, it could be. Especially he, if there's something free there. Right, right. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all week. But it is Birmingham Burger Fest and it is benefiting. Um, the Alabama Learning Center, ALS, Alabama oh, Learning Center. Okay. Oh, we had that wrong. We thought that was Lou Gehrig's disease. Yeah, yeah. we thought it was like some for that. Oh. But anyway, that's I mean, what Learning Center is. No, no, you're right. That's what ALS is. Okay, yeah, that's I, what ALS I don't think is. it's Alabama Learning Center because that would be a C. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Okay, well, that, that's that's probably correct then. Right. Well, you, you're really yeah. on top of this. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's not Alabama Learning Center. You sure it's not Center? a booger eating contest? It's <laughs> you're All right. wrong about that's that. Good. Let's start over. <laughs> it's burgers, right? Well, you're yeah. a little rushed on this segment. Do we need to start over? Let's <laughs> uh, start yes, over. BirminghamBurgerFest.com has all the info. I'm judging it. Golly. If you go to judges, you'll see that there's like a s- couple serious people and then me. So I don't want to look like some chump. Right. Well, know? no, God no, forbid you that would that. Yeah. There's like Heck some no. director of neurology and then me and right. then the state <laughs> state representative guy or whatever. Yeah, senator. So I want to look good on the website. So I've got a few options for you guys. Are we looking at headshots? When it comes to headshots, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 I've, 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 right, I've mocked up, you know. Do you want me to go in order of the numbers that you have? Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Right. Uh, this one's <laughs> called Call Me Queen B. <laughs> 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 Call me Queen no, B. I don't think that's you. Look at his face. <laughs> Your skin looks great. Uh. <laughs> hey, nice rack. Uh, Greg. Greg. <laughs> uh, this next one is called. This, 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 this next one is called Break the Internet. Okay. So there's <laughs> that option there. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> Kim Kardashian look, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, another option for a headshot. This is called the Costanza. So uh, there it oh, is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's an option there. Look fantastic. So um, <laughs> th- those are kind of the sexy ones. I got you. Okay. Uh, you might, I'm gonna say no to those. Okay. All right. Maybe not. At this, first. <laughs> this next round is Adler in danger. Yeah. Uh, this is the Elian Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you might remember that. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember that one. Um, next, uh, this was a we pretty. We love children. This was a pretty big deal, and I thought I fit into this situation pretty good. <laughs> oh, look at him under the blanket. Uh, that's call me blanket. That's yeah. yeah. I, I still haven't found one I want to go with yet. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm, I'm leaning that way. Jerry though. still. Out. This may be my favorite. This here. one's called Chilling with Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Chilling with Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, you know I love any Harambe. <laughs> that's another one. Well, you had Greg at Harambe. <laughs> this one's called Thug Life. Oh, so, there it uh, is. That looks good. That may be the <laughs> one right there. And yeah. that's actually not Photoshop. That's just that's just me <laughs> without oh, a shirt on. Oh, that's good. <laughs> this one is called Float Like a Butterfly, Sting Like a Bee. Okay. Here, uh, I thought that was a pretty good one. That, yeah. Well, yeah. that uh, yeah, okay. that uh, that one's pretty well known though. <laughs> <laughs> you look kind of like a burn victim there. Up oh. next, up next, we've got here's Johnny. That's an option for my headshot there. Um, which, well, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, that one looks more realistic than any of them. The eyebrows really matched up well. On I don't that know one. whether that's your headshot or the so, missing link. So go there you go. Yeah, right. uh, I thought that a, was called Woodland Creature. Oh, that's good. Just just, uh, just a couple more here. Um, this one I thought Greg? had a nice historical <laughs> tune to it. And uh, as you can see, that's Tiananmen Square. Right. If we go to the next uh, next picture okay, there. Okay, because I can't see you. In uh, you yeah. can actually see if you zoom in, that's actually me standing in oh. front of the tank. Oh, really? Okay. There I you go. I don't see that. And <laughs> there. Oh, yeah. Are you, you've turned your back on the tank, I see. <laughs> and uh, lastly, keeping with the historical theme, <laughs> right, uh, right. this one is called Nat Geo. Oh, just, Nat Geo. Just Nat Geo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... <laughs> It's, it's you and still the little green-eyed girl. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the one we're going that with right there. Be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Now we've decided. I yeah. thought so, too. So. Nat Geo. There we go. So that'll look good next to the state representative oh, and the director of neurology Whoa. that are judging the Birmingham Burger oh, Fest. Oh, my goodness. Can you guys hear that?
little louder. There you go. Yeah. We got it, baby. Yes! Uh, I needed a song to, to, to play, and I literally just clicked play, uh, and this was playing. The Babes. Every time I think of you. So I just want you to know that's why that's playing right now. It's a good song. That's the Babies. I don't know if it's. And you know who the lead singer is of the Babies? Uh, Greg Burgess. That'd be John White. Come on with it. Who's been on the show many times? Yep. There you go. He did, he did another one. Tell me if you remember this one that he did. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that one? Huh? I do, by the way. That was uh, one of his better ones. This portion of the Rick and Bubba Show is sponsored by the Gridiron Men's Conference. We've been talking a lot about the Gridiron Men's Conference coming to Huntsville. Uh, it's the 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference on Father's Day weekend, Friday, June 17th, Saturday, June 18th in Huntsville at the Probes Arena. Uh, you need to go... Uh, uh, right now to gridironmen.org or gridironmen.com. They both work, but gridironmen.com is what we're going to push. Uh, they've got, of course, Charles Billing- Billingsley, uh, the worship leader uh, on that and, and providing uh, the worship music and uh, does a great job. You know, he's a, a, a big part of this show. He's a good friend of our show and in town uh, when he is in town, stops by. Uh, so, you know, the running jokes uh, he and Rick have and uh, they've gotten to be good friends. He does great work. And, and so he's going to be providing the worship music. We've got Kirk Cameron there, Tim Tebow. We've got Kirk coming on uh, in a week or two. Tim Tebow uh, has been on with us talking about it. Fred Luter uh, Jr. will be there. Of course, Phil Waldrop. It's all going to be happening at Propes Arena on Father's Day weekend. Secure your tickets today for you, your family, your friends, uh, your church group, maybe uh, some guys that you hang out with. Uh, y'all can get together and go. It's gridironmen.com. Don't procrastinate. Get those tickets. It's Father's Day weekend, June 17th, June 18th in Huntsville. Gridiron Men uh, Conference. That's gridironmen.com, Gridiron, gridironmen.com, uh, or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. All right, so um, I, I saw a, a story that I haven't, like, completely read, but it just jumped out at me, uh, and it had to do with Mike Tyson. Because anytime we have Mike Tyson, I love talking about Mike Tyson because he's so bizarre. <laughs> um, but he, um, was on, uh, John Rogan's podcast, uh, smoking pot, by the way, while he's on, sure. there you go. uh, and he, be- he really believes that somewhere the wealthy are abducting homeless to hunt them while stoned talking about it. Mike, what? Mike, we've seen a few movies with that theme. He the thinks first the, one I saw had iced tea in it, and they were hunting him. Yeah, we've, um, we've seen oh, yeah. different ones. Yeah, yeah. There, there have there have been movies about this, but he really believes it. He doesn't think it's a movie. He he says, look, he's got this bizarre theory that homeless people are being kidnapped and hunted by the rich. Okay, Mike. Do you think there's something like that really going no, on? No, I do not. For gain? No, I don't. Know on that. some obscure island that we don't. Oh, know we about got an obscure island. I, I got him on an island now. Who knows? Huh? But I don't think so. I don't know nah. where Mike's getting his information. Did he? Did he say? Or is that just a theory Mike has? He he just said he really believes it. Um, he does. After the uh, both of them smoked a little bit of weed together, uh, appearing to light up two separate joints while sitting <laughs> across from each other at Rogan's podcast table. He told Rogan that whatever you think uh, a human did to another, he says, whatever you think a human did to another human being, it happened. Whatever it is, it happened somewhere in history. Uh, And then they go through this this back and forth. And then he thinks that the wealthy are, are, are taking homeless people that... If they disappeared, no one would know it. They don't have anybody, any loved ones. They have no just one like that the knows movie. of in there. Yeah. Just like the movies that we've seen on the same subject. They're, I not, do they're, think not, they're knocked out, then transported somewhere, and then they wake up and they don't know what's going on. I do think you got a better chance at convincing me that it's going on if I'm smoking doobage. Yeah. And, and I don't know if my source for anything is Mike Tyson. No. I mean, nothing gets Mike. Now, if he wants to talk about boxing and stuff like that, yeah. I'm sure he knows what he's talking yeah. about. But Mike just came up with it. He didn't give examples of why he thinks that. He just said, hey, that's what I think. 
Okay, Mikey. <laughs> so he thinks that here's what happens. You take these homeless, and this is this is him talking. Mm-hmm. You take these, and I, I'm not going to try to talk. You like take him. these homeless people, and then you take good. them take them off the streets. You fit them out in the, in the and woods. That's pretty good, guys. Right. Yes. Okay. And then, and then that's pretty good, guys. <laughs> that's really all you got to do. It's so y'all, y'all, it's it's stick that tongue out a little bit. Yeah. Put, put it on the it's put the, I now yeah. sound like um. Well, never mind. So it says, <laughs> uh, you you take these homeless people off the streets, put them in there, take them uh, to one of these uh, special hospitals. Then take them from the hospital all drugged. Special drug, hospitals? All drugged up. Got a special hospital. <laughs> yeah. Then take them all drugged up Come on. and take them to these large estates or property and let's hunt. Run, it says. And we, we, now, we let's got hunt. plenty of animals to Let's hunt. hunt. We're gonna, let's go hunt, guys. We're going to hunt uh, I'm uh, homeless stop. people. He's, uh, Tyson did That's not precarious. confirm where he read the work. Instead, asking well, no. Rogan whether he knew the only reason we hunt the fox. Well, that don't make any sense. Well, again, <laughs> yeah, they're smoking dope. Their fur, while, while their fur uh, Rogan responded. <clears throat> um, hey. So I, hey. I don't know, but it's 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 like one of the big entertainment stories that they're up there smoking weed, talking, talking about, about the, yeah. the I'm rich glad Mike's hunting, got, well, Mike's hunting homeless. Well, Mike's got a source, you know, I'm sure. That yeah. He, no, he couldn't name rich. his source. He just asked Rogan what he thought. Yeah. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? They take him to the special <laughs> hospital, and they drug him up, and then they leave him, and they put him on the state. <laughs> and they shoot him. And they, they hunt him, and they say, run. And shoot him. <laughs> Run, I say run. I bite that ear. <laughs> um, so I don't know. That's just bizarre. How it? much to let Mike Tyson punch you in the face? What? How much would No. You 100 grand. No. I'd do it for uh-uh. 75. Am I going to survive it? Uh, Two million. It's not guaranteed. Oh, it's not guaranteed, then it's got to be a million. Really? Yeah. Because if I go on in, leave my family with a million, I'm in good shape. I think I'd do it for 75,000. Plus, they're going to collect serious? on the. Yeah, for now, one, now, one, is it, one shot. Is it. Is it uh, are Look we, at all the guys we, that got we, hit we, for a lot less than that. Are we bare knuckle man. boxing? Are we bare knuckle? I didn't think about that. Or are we, nah, are we, we're going. We're going. He's going to wear a boxing. Yeah, he's going to so, wear a glove. Now, are you just standing there like yeah, this? Yeah, you're just standing there. You're just standing there. You're taking a shot. And 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 he just rares back to hit you. Yeah, Greg. I want to be blindfolded. I don't want to know it's coming. Uh, for a good bit of money, I think I'd do it. <laughs> I, I'm going two million. Two million? Are I'm going serious? a million. Yeah, one million. Greg, I'll take if, a punch. If, if, I, if I'm not going to be able to talk or think right the rest of my life, take us a break. Ask my child. Eleven K. 11 <laughs> K. That's how 11. much his car situation is costing him on that. <laughs> 11 K. I, I, I hit no you problem. for that. I hit you. Ah, with your hand. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, on, yeah. How about it? Uh, good. I, I'm, I'm uh, of course, uh, didn't sleep well last night after Kim Jong un said that uh, because of the the new sanctions we put on North Korea that we will be paid back. Was it one thousand times? One thousand fold. One thousand fold. Yes. And he said, "How about he said, how about this? We got nuclear weapons. Ain't nobody gonna tell us to do anything with them. They're ours. We'll do what we want." And he said that this will bring the the reign of terror. Guess what? Haircut. We yeah. got them too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> we got a, a bunch, bunch of them. them. We got thousands. A bunch of them. We got a bunch of them. Some of them, some of them just itching to fire. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and we're, we got, and we're we got, overdue using one. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So, uh, so we'll see what haircut does. But he said, he said that's it. I mean, that's. Uh, uh, so, can we go back and now say in history that Harry Truman was wrong? We should have gone ahead and and took them out and not signed an armistice at the time and used our atomic weapons. Well, to end that, I, I hate to go back to the Monarchy Man. But he made a very profound statement back. Pay me now <laughs> or pay me later. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Look, I don't know why they got rid of that campaign. It was solid gold. Do you realize where the front of the Korean War was when General MacArthur was dismissed? It's in China, wasn't it? Twelve miles inside yeah, right, China. Yeah. There was no North Korea. Right. So there we go. <laughs> well, then you go back to the whole Korean conflict, you know, and all that. It, would we just finally draw a line and say we're out? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. That's good. That worked out. I had yeah. just, you know, we had the weaponry to end it, and we wouldn't do it. Well, is it because we just because we love peace, Rick? And you right. see how much we have now. D- is it? Is it? Uh, is Harry it? Truman was wrong, and right. General MacArthur was right. We need to just drop the hammer and agree on that from a historical standpoint. Right. He yeah. didn't want to go and start another world war with China, but at the time we had a decisive weapon edge. And if they thought it was worthy of that, then we should have let them have it. If not, well, to look today, we'd there'd be a whole lot more peace in the area, wouldn't it? Well, we've all we've all watched the movies. I'm just saying, the mistake of history. No. no, you're not going to go back and fight that now. No, no. I mean, you give Harry a, a, a thumbs up 
on, you know, he Japan. He ended the second one. Yeah, a thumbs up on Japan, but then a thumbs down. But he, he saw what it took, and he, he got gun shot. Well, what it is, we became the he guy. Did. We he became did. the guy. civilized. Yeah, we became the guy that walked out of a bar. He's ble- we're bleeding. Uh, we've got black eyes. We're tired. We just fought like crazy. Now, we did annihilate the enemy in there. And you walk down, and you're just trying to sit down and have a glass of tea, and somebody else pushes you. Yeah, at the bar down yeah. the street, and you're All like, right. I just don't know if I can fight that again. Right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that what happened? Then we just lose the the. It just, it just, we yeah, just, we just, pretty didn't, much. We just didn't have the stomach for it anymore. But now, every time we walk down the street, that same bully's still there. Oh, I know. Still pushing. Oh, us. I know. So should we have fought him then, or I fought him now? Yeah. Look, we've all we've all watched the movie where the person had the enemy down and said, "Look, that's all I'm gonna do." And you see the enemy kind of crawl off into the woods. You're like, "Man, you should have killed him." I know it. Hmm? How many time on these movies do you have a home invader? Hmm. And there was there was several in that movie I told you about Static we saw this weekend, which was El Creepo. Yeah, and uh, you know somebody hits them with a bat or something, yeah. knocks them on the floor, yeah. and then they just they start doing something else, and they look back and the guys crawled off. Yeah, you, hmm. uh-uh. hmm. you got to finish them when they're down, guys. Hmm. I'm telling you, nobody how many, wants to hear it. But how, you how many, know it's true. How many times have you screamed at the movie screen? Shoot him again. Absolutely. Uh. Absolutely. <laughs> or don't, they're going to go over there and, you know, kick them, see if they're all right. What do they do, grab them by the leg sure. and throw them down? Sure. No, don't look, do that. Look, I, there's more bullets in there than there for a reason. That's right. So uh, so anyway, we'll we'll see what happens. But North Korea says, by golly, these sanctions, thousandfold, that we're going to come back on you. You know, the the thing is, huh. it's just huh. it's shaping up to a point that, unfortunately, I don't think nothing will happen. You know, I, I think you're you're looking at two or three options that are going to happen, and uh, none of them are really good. I, I think nothing is now off the table. Well, you know? and I was telling Bubba, if you take this kind of stuff, if right now you'll weave all this in to the big solar eclipse coming up on the 21st. Oh, yeah. Sure. And, and go out there and grab you some prophecy and some commentary on that. <laughs> from, from not from really now, not just, not just the people, and I don't mean any disrespect by this, we're – you know, if you came in and said, I don't say any names. Hey, so and so is talking about the solar eclipse. I go, All right. But then you come in and give me some credible people, you know what yeah. I mean? And oh, yeah. that, that that I don't consider to be out there. I just consider them to be people who love the word of God. Mm-hmm. And and they're kind of going, Yeah, we might want to make a take a gander at this. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you and you take all that and weave all that together and you know, you, you can I mean you can really it, Well I think if if I'm not mistaken, we got two of them coming up in the next four years. One of them will be this month. Mm-hmm. So there you go. And, of course, the timing of it means it's going to be They hard. are eerie. I, I, I remember. I mean, mm-hmm. just, you know. Well, this one, they were talking about there's a lot when of things. When street lights mm-hmm. start popping on in the middle of the day, it, mm-hmm. assuming it's clear. Yeah. You know, yeah, we may, may, may be we may right. be clouded in. The um, In that case, we'll have to fly somewhere else to see it. <laughs> now, this one, I thought about you because I said I'd like to have Bubba talk about this because I'm not sure. It sounded like a little bit of a bold, a bold statement for me. They said that the earth, the way it's designed, mm-hmm as far as what we can see, is the only planet that's set up to have solar eclipses by the way it's set up, by the distance of the sun from the moon, that this is the only planet where they can line up in the moon, even though it's much smaller than the sun, can actually, because it's it's distance from the moon. Yeah, block the sun. Can actually block it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. All that that no, sounded I, like I'm, a bold statement to me. I'm but sure I, there's eclipse on other planets. It may be a different size or different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but it is funny that the moon is exactly as big as you need to cover up the sun in its entirety when they're perfectly lined up because of the distance, even though the sun is much, much bigger. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It is uh, six minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. 866 We Be Big is our number. We thank you for being with us today. This hour starts as it has most every morning. If I, if I didn't forget it, most every morning uh, since uh, we were attacked on 9 11, we start this hour with the National Anthem.
uh, the Rick and Bubba Show. 866 We Be Big for you to be part of the program today. Boy, it's it's a, it's active. Will of me could spend today. Got a charity charge update for you today. Uh, and how about this? The Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama comes to Barber Motorsports Park uh, April 29th through May the 1st. And believe it or not, in the parking lot of the No Name Studio, the boys are going to change some tires today. So, I mean, I'm that that's going to happen on the program today, uh, which I'm sure our neighbors here will be thrilled with. But it's nothing compared to when we start doing the next thing we're going to do in the parking lot, which is coming a little bit later on involving the World Games. This is uh, this is just so much fun. So, uh, so that's happening today. We'll break down the stories of the day. We do look forward to talking to you. The kickoff hour is complete. That's got Speedy, the real Greg Burgess. Helms, he's back. Uh, and uh, and Adler have already laid that out for you today. They're with us as we move forward, so let's bring him in here, the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year. Uh, the, what is it? <laughs> I, th- I don't know what you got to. I thought, I thought about what I had to do here just a minute. The silver tongue one, the man with the golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year. Hey, what is that? The inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master at a king's English. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy. Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome into the little party we call Rick and Bubba. And I was got to give up. You know what's funny about Speedy that? Speedy might ought to jot down that open so we have a hard copy. <laughs> Let me tell you what's funny about that. I kid you not, which was stupid on my part, you know, trying to be a mental daredevil, is when I started that, I literally began to think to myself, how do I know this still? Right. I literally right. thought that in my mind mm-hmm. because I said, you know, there's so many things we can't remember people's right. names and stuff anymore. It's and, not a good sign, Rick. And I didn't get to it. And I literally <laughs> said, as I was doing this, you know, one day I'm gonna sit here and not not know this, and it, and all of a sudden I blanked because I thought I was literally thinking <laughs> you about start it. Thinking about I start it. thinking about. Well, it. well, I think times you probably like, say it, Rick, and you you're not even thinking about hour. it because you've done it Kick so off many. Hour. Get up, and start throwing. <laughs> yes, right. You've done it so many times. <laughs> you know. Yes. Uh, you, if you get out of that rhythm, it messes it up. Up. And that's what I did. I went yeah. out today, and I said, you know what's amazing? And I remember this every day that yeah. it's for so long. Oh, right. you messed it up. Yeah, then, you know. And then that got me thinking about something else. And then I, yeah. then I was like, well, what's the next one? And see, I, I, <laughs> was, I was sleepy this morning. Still am. Yeah, why, why yeah. are you so sleepy? Yeah. Well, well I had uh, I got out. You know, I hit the old sticks a little bit yesterday. And, uh, uh, you know, it's ugly. Oh, it's ugly, ugly. Now, those that don't know what you're talking about, you mean played golf yesterday? Yeah, yeah I attempted to. Getting ready for I really yeah, just yeah. basically took a stick and hit balls in the woods uh, is what happened. How, how ugly was it? Oh, it was ugly. Real ugly. The only hope is, you know, I think I would be really good on the putt-putt tour. Mm-hmm. You remember how they used to have that? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I, I hit a putt or two I was even shocked at. But, but you got to get there. Mm-hmm. You know, if your ball's like in the woods, you never get to putt. No, you don't. No, no you don't. That. People tell you, you pick it up and let's uh, keep moving. So, and, and I'll tell you, golf is aggravating. It's yeah, an it aggravating is. game because sure it is. All in all sports we play, what do we have to deal with? How strong somebody is, how mm-hmm. tall they are, how fast they are, how they move. None of that play. None of that's in golf. None of it. None of it. Mm-hmm. No, nah, mm-hmm. it's just me, a stick, and a ball. And it's just so mm-hmm. aggravating. It, it really can grind on you mentally a little bit. But, 
Um, we, uh, we, we finished that up, and a friend of mine, it was his birthday yesterday, and uh, his family was unavailable to have a birthday celebration. So I said, I said, Mark, we'll, we'll just, we'll go have a birthday party, buddy. Cause I don't you want me. you to be alone on your birthday. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we had another couple of folks join us and, uh, we went to eat and it was great and great place. And, you know, we're sitting around and we're, you know, yucking it up, laughing, having a good, you know how you, you sure. get in a, in a fun oh, zone oh, meal, you, you know, you, you couldn't care less about what time and, it is. And time got away from us. And, uh, so I, I mean, I was out middle of the night last night, way too late for me. During, so what, during the week, what time did you go to bed? Eight <laughs> forty. <laughs> and uh, so, so I, I'm. How about that? I'm feeling the pain <laughs> of that today. Pain, a bit. pain. And, uh, I'm a, I mean, this may be a, this may Good be a night. too spark day. Well, you think about it though. And I panicked a minute ago because I thought we had to do the podcast after the show. I thought, yeah, well, I'll yeah. never make it. I'll yeah. never make it. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. I, I won't yeah. make it. I want, yeah. I want everybody to know we'll something about back, back, back to Bubba. For some reason, I'm going to put the lefty in, I guess. But, <laughs> but back back, back to what Bubba said a minute ago is um, I want you all to know, those of you all that like what we do and you're kind of hanging on to it, you think that somehow they can continue to do this forever. <laughs> that, that in just in the last 20 minutes, okay, in the last 20 minutes, Bubba didn't know what day it was, and I couldn't remember how to intro him. Right. That just happened in the last 20 minutes. You know, it's it's <laughs> it's kind of funny when you talk about people being that way when you're younger, right? Uh, until you start doing it, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, we we I, I think it's a combination. We see how bad it looks with the president, mm-hmm. and you realize you're on that road. Yeah, and sure. uh, but mm-hmm. but of course we're not the president, so nobody's yeah. asking us to run the free world. Right, yeah. right, and. Yeah. Uh, Probably could do a better job than he's doing. You know, it's just that, uh, you know, you wonder to yourself how long before I'm in the parking lot and I don't know where I'm at. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. that, that day's coming. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because let's face it, it's already started because I end up in rooms now. I don't know why I'm in them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, Rick, I walk in there to get something and go, oh, no, not again. You, you realize what I, was it? What was I doing? You do realize <laughs> that's that's on the way to the parking lot. I mean, yeah. I mean that's just a... I mean, it, it's parking just, lot's just another room. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, I fully expect to go out there and get somebody else's car today. Mm. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll be back. Bubba, I hope you hang for 840. <laughs> Ooh, watch I'll try out. To get, I'll try to get it together, guys. Watch Rick out. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the end of this month, the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th. It is the Rick and Bubba Outdoor Expo 2017, our fourth year to do this. At the Expo this year and the things they're going to be setting up uh, through the rock climbing wall and all the different adventure stuff they're going to have. And he was telling me some of the uh, the military equipment they're going to be bringing. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Huh. So uh, so we'll be talking <clears throat> talking to them that will be coming up, and uh, there will be a, a lot going on. So if you want to go ahead and get your tickets, you can. 12 and under get in free courtesy of Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, it's rickandbubbaoutdoorexpo.com. We'll all be together gripping and grinning, taking pictures uh, there at the um, 104.7 WZZK stage, which is our flagship station that also hosts, along with Dan Moultrie, the Rick and Bubba Outdoor Expo. We'll be there 11 to 1 on Saturday, 1 to 3 on Sunday. So, And then also we'll we'll be moving around throughout um, uh, at different times throughout the weekend, too, and, and hope you'll come by and say hello and see all the other things that will be going on. Also, uh, Iron Hill Press is going to have a booth there with Andy Blanks, who co-wrote How to Be a Man, the 40-Day Devotional, who served our country in the Marines. Both of us will be there in their booth a couple times throughout the weekend, too, signing copies of, of that devotional if you don't have that. Uh, so look for those uh, those times as well there at rickandbubbaoutdoorexpo.com as you start planning at the end of this month to be with us in Birmingham, Alabama at the BJCC. And we look forward to seeing all of you. Uh, all right, so what, what do you want to talk about next? Well, what? there's a sleep study out. Did you see this? Oh, I love sleep studies. Uh, and again, and then we, I disregard them. We, we've heard <laughs> this. We've heard this. We've heard it. Uh, this is by a Canadian com- uh, company, and they say sleeping less than six hours a night can be as damaging to your body as binge drinking and severely can damage your brain, according to their new study. Just Canadian doctors? Yeah, Canadian A Canadian update. Anytime a Canadian's in it. Canadian doctors. Come on. Uh, 
<laughs> now, here's what I want to ask Meta you. Meta system I wanna, uh, in I wanna, Quebec. I want to ask you this uh, in Quebec. Qu- what, 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 <laughs> Quebec. Did, what did they say? Because I've often heard this legend, and I heard the guys in the kickoff hours touch on this a little bit, but I always heard the legend of, all right, if you, you know, I've heard this before, you know, certain the one that I want uh, some clarification, see if we have an update on. Do I need to average six? Or are you saying because I one time people no, talk less about, than six? Yeah, but I'm talking about can I get an average? Because oh, one week or yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Like if you looked at my week and you go, hey, good, you you you, look, you yeah. averaged really yeah. six and a half. Yeah. So so I've heard no to that. I've heard when when you have sleep deprivation, the damage that is done is irreversible. Correct. You can't catch up on your sleep. Right. That's what I've heard. You can really never do that. No. They now in this study they said an occasional night of less than six hours did not appear to be as damaging right. as a lifestyle of that. Right. But I've always heard that too. And I think the thing is your 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 body, your immune system works at night to clean out and free radicals that could cause cancer oh, yeah. and all this stuff. It, it does its housekeeping at night and it's a long form format. In other words, it, it does this, then it does this, and it does this. And when you cut that time period too short, it does not get to do everything. It doesn't do it all in shorter amounts. It just doesn't get to do everything it needs to do. Well, this explains why Greg, and I thought it was weird, he was giving me this game plan for the future, and it featured a new studio in Calhoun County. And I was like, what is he? What? Now I, I realize what it's so, so you can get six hours of sleep. Because you ain't never going to get six. No. Never. Maybe. Maybe six. Maybe. But not every night. It's impossible. Well, Greg, you got to change it. It's killing you, man. Can't you read this? <laughs> can't you read this? Especially in the summer when it gets dark late. I can't, I just, oh, I can't lay down and go to bed when the sun's it's up. It's hard. Or what your, about this? Your family's I got party. close to six last night. Is this, a, is this an update, Bubba? Because didn't, didn't they used to want us to get eight? Are they saying, good grief, you can just that, get six? They're saying six. Yeah. No, they, they said that less than six is, is just deadly. Well, I'm talking about, but does that mean, you know, they used to, say, they used to say less <laughs> than eight. You need to get eight. Uh, you need yeah, to get eight. eight. I think they're eight, just eight saying, is the magic saying, saying you're critical. in some dangerous eight? territory if you only get we, six. We or went less. from green less to yellow. Six. You get six or less. Yeah. Red. Right. Danger, see, fella. Danger will rob you. Look, danger. No way I can get eight. But I'm right. going back and to I'll, you though. Is it for the week? Because say Saturday, I may sleep a little bit. Yeah. Does that does that cancel out no, that I missed no, during the week? No, 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 no it doesn't. You can't get it. No, Rick. Look, this is all on the heels of in May. Researchers found that. If you get less than six hours of sleep or if you're sleep deprived, your brain starts eating itself. It basically, the good cells well, or pleasant. the cleanup cells, <laughs> they, start, they start getting. <laughs> 21 minutes past the hour. Thank you, Johnny Donovan. As uh, we make our way back. That's a flashback from when uh, we were uh, from the EIB building uh, on a show on the road. Kind of makes me miss Rush again. Uh, But anyway, as uh, we work our way back, uh, we'll walk through the stories of the day. Uh, We'll get you a charity charge update coming up. And uh, the Rick and Bubba parking lot. Uh, Again, this is going to be another one of those days when all the people here are like, why do they have parking spots blocked off? And, why, why, why is there pit crews setting up in the lot? Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll be changing some tires uh, in the uh, that, that uh, little competition that they set up, uh, the, the Indy Series. Can I ask runs a around. question? Yeah. So we're going to have an air wrench speed? Is yeah. that the deal? Oh, yeah. You got to right. have that. You got to have that. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm reading. A, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm actually getting a text about what's going on out there. What'd you say? Air wrench. We'll have air wrench. Hey, air bring, compressor. They're, yeah, they're bringing. Wrench, they're bringing that. everything we need. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to use one of those. Yeah. So, so <laughs> oh, buddy, we'll, we'll, we'll see. You may get that opportunity. And, and here you, know, just a little you, while. you can, uh, you know, a little tire note here. If you if you have a lug that won't come loose normally, you hit it with that. Oh, it'll come right yeah. off. I mean, it, she'll come flying <clears> off of there because they spin them. <laughs> You would even have stuff that's stuck in something that breaks, and you spin it quick enough, it'll come out. I love that sound it makes, too, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that means so much. That's almost like hearing diesel crank. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? Fat person wearing corduroy pants. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. It does. Bubba, here a mask, there a mask, everywhere a mask, mask. The obsession of the left in the mask. I, I'm, I'm with Speedy in the break. I, I don't, wish they'd so one to their face. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Be done with it. I don't know why the, the Biden administration isn't walking out and telling 
America who who you know, at one time loved freedom. Hey, good news. Uh, we got so yeah. many we got so many treatments now, and our vaccines done so well, and our treatments are doing so well. We we don't think that we have to you know fear the next uh, variant like we once did. The variants are getting weaker. Our treatments are getting better. And the Biden administration, t- even though I know, it's, hear me out. I'm talking about if I was them, I would say you know really once we took over, we finally got this thing resolved, and we, you, we've got the, we've got the mask off for you, and you can fly without a mask on anymore. But oh no. It's like they don't oh, know what yeah. to do because that's the way you come across if your whole life features you licking your finger, <laughs> sticking it up in the air, and trying to figure which way the wind is blowing. And usually, in my opinion, they miss which way the wind's blowing. Yep. Yeah. How about this? You have historic low approval ratings. You need a, you, you. you need a win. You right. need a win. You could flip your position yes. on this. And claim victory. Yep. And the sound bites, the media would follow, and and you would you would have something to put in your column you yeah. could brag about. It's like every day's opposite day for them. They uh, do the opposite of what, what they should do. What's that Stranger Things where you had the opposite world? You know, upside all, down. Yeah, upside, upside down, down world, world where yeah. all that that uh, insulation was blowing all the time. <laughs> and I'm not. I, a, I feel like I'm in that. I'm not a comic. Time, I'm not a comic book guy. But wasn't there also a Superman Bizarro world? Yes. Yeah. Where yes. everything was everything That's was the opposite. It. Did That's I get it. that right? Yeah, Look I think there. so. I, I'm shaking my head. Couldn't remember how I, I know what you mean. I don't know if that's the exact mm-hmm. name of it, but mm-hmm. we know what you mean. Couldn't get Bubba's intro right, but got Bizarro World. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's amazing how the mind works. All right, so watch the Biden administration and then Biden himself. We're going to literally at 1 p.m. saying, yes, we won't mask on planes. At 2 p.m., no mask should be optional. And then at 3 p.m., they're going to say, yes, we won't mask on planes. And then finally, at 3.30, Biden himself is going to say, I don't know. So so he, watch, watch. Now, first of all, we start with the Biden administration saying they won't mask on planes. All right, so here we go. The CDC continues to uh, advise and recommend masks on airplanes. We're abiding by the CDC recommendations. The president is, and we would advise all Americans to do that. Mr. President, should people continue to wear masks on planes? That's up to them. We are right now in the process of deciding, and we likely will appeal that ruling. All right, so did did you see that? The administration says we won't mask. Biden says people should do what they want to. And then we get to the final one where Biden is basically about to give us a, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And and so so, so here And and that's, yeah, go ahead. Is your administration going to appeal the mask mandate ruling? I've not gotten any brief from my... The CDC, I don't know. When will you follow talk to follow the, the science? Follow the science. He said, follow the science. When he panics, he just screams, follow the science. <laughs> he said, follow the science. <laughs> what science? <laughs> We're trying. Hey, Mr. President. Quickly, Lord. Come quickly. Mr. President, if you ever get confused, just shout, follow the follow science. Follow the science. Oh, follow the science. Hairy legs. <laughs> hairy legs. Hey, follow the science. Follow my hairy legs. <laughs> I tell you, we we just <laughs> no no say science. We got a science. We do have some kind of derangement issue here in our yeah. country. Follow the hairy science. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have hairy science. <laughs> Popcorn. Popcorn. I said, Joe. Corn pops. Somebody Pop. give me a milkshake. Mm. Uh, so um. Oh, so the, the, I, I'm back to you and Speedy, though. I don't understand why the Biden administration can't simply come out and go, this is good news. Yeah. Well, Rick, so what's Rick. hard about that? I'm so glad we got that. Yeah. I, I just, I can't. Oh. It's like, I don't know. They've, they've lost complete touch. And, hey, those numbers mm-hmm. look great, by the way. All right, so let's let's go back to, to <laughs> let's see approval down, inflation up. That's, let's that's, let's make them go the opposite direction. So let's try to follow yeah. the hairy signs. Okay, <laughs> am am I correct? Hairy am I correct or not correct? Okay, because I you know I'm not a scientist. No, of course, of course neither no. is the president, neither <laughs> yeah. Saki, and, and Rick, apparently neither, apparently a lot of people are not. And apparently neither is the even CDC. Some of them, yeah, right. even some of them with lab coats. Right. So let's try this. Remember the term super spreader event? Oh, yeah. Oh, you remember yeah. that? Everybody yep. remember that? We, yeah. we, we live in fear. Right. And what that really turned out to be, if conservatives gather. It's a super spreader. If, mm-hmm. if, if, if liberals gather, it, it's perfectly okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But, but which is how the ruling class works in socialism and communism. But anyway, let's, let's stop that. Mm-hmm. How many planes roll in and out of airports in this country every day? Thousands, Rick. Thousands. Is, is it a number we can even wrap our minds around? It's thousands. Yeah. I mean, look, it, I don't know the exact number, but I would say at any given time, yeah. uh, you could be tracking three to four thousand in the air. Right. So five thousand, five thousand, five thousand planes a day. A lot. Okay. So those planes usually are sold out, and trust me, they'll even oversell them. Okay. Yep. 
there's people crammed in a tube, okay, and and us flying around, allowed to pull our masks down and eat and drink. Uh, people in there with with them down here around their mouth, their nose is not covered. Impossible to monitor people. Let's say you believe that the cheap mask at, at you can get in any drugstore actually works. Okay, let's say you believe in that. You do still have to acknowledge you have to wear them right. No, that, right? Do we still right. say that? Yeah, no, I it, think so. it, it doesn't matter what you have. It if you don't have, have it on your on your face, it's not working. Yeah. So we have had we have thousands of people on thousands of flights every single day, and we're still watching the pandemic. Hit peaks and drop off, come up, drop off. It hasn't. We don't. We, we these never turned into super spreader events. Airplanes, five thousand of them. Rick, think Would about be, this. I mean, a week. Just yeah. think about it in a work week. Right. Twenty five thousand people travel through the air. Right. And then your point. It it, it has it's had no impact. Because uh, and don't say well it's cost a mask because we I've been on there I see how everybody wear the mask no Rick that. you know what the, if they were serious it, it, this is what they ought to say no eating and drinking on airplanes right none none put your mask up shut up shut sit up down. sit down and nobody and nobody right. can take it down below their nose but why did why but are they allowing out. why are they allowing people to eat drink and go to the bathroom because they they're gonna have to let humans do that right. well if you pull that mask down right for whatever reason then it's it's no longer active right. it's not working right. So we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Active and start cleaning up, and they say it affects uh, tasks, it, 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 uh, memory. Uh, organizational skills. You talking about everything every, I'm noticing? Like being on yes. a vendor. You talking yeah. about everything I'm noticing in right. my life? Yeah. Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, everything, yeah, the, you, everything you just listed, I wouldn't check. I, yeah. I, just, I started, started running There's the a few other things here we probably need to hit when we come back. Just okay. to finish this up properly. We don't want to shortchange it like we did our sleep last night. That, 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 that thing where you're looking at something and you know what you need to say and you know that it's not something foreign to it and you can't come up with it yeah. all the Rick time. And Bubba, <laughs> Rick and Bubba. Nancy. A little hard. And I know I sound redundant in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Nancy, go ahead. Hi, Tuscaloosa's listening this morning. I know. You would have thought that affiliate would have kept us on. But anyway, uh, but, but ZZK, ZZK gets there. You don't need them. Go ahead. Uh, we don't. We don't. But I wanted to let you all know about a new sports, net, sports talk show that's starting this Saturday morning. Uh, 105.9 WRTR starts at 8 a.m. It's called uh, Elite <laughs> Afraid that's a shameless plug. It, it sure is. Yeah. That's a, yeah. I, I looked around and the yeah. council was saying that's a shameless plug if I ever yeah. heard one. Well, we no, all started with you just cutting eyes at each other. And, and especially for a station to drop the show. No. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's station, be sure and promote that. Let me Good t- call. Let me tell you, a station who's pro- that, that drops our show, let me tell you what you get. You get nothing. That's right. You used to get me at your front door. Mm-hmm. I, ho- I hope that show don't even make it. I bet it's a good one on Saturday morning. I bet it is, too. I bet it's a good one on Saturday morning. Tyler, 1047 WZZK Trustful. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. Uh, y'all are big eaters. I'm a big eater. Um, I'm actually a littler eater. I just now weighed over 165 pounds for the first time in my life. Ooh, wow. I eat big, and I dream big. But <laughs> my least favorite food is scalloped potatoes. Can't stand them. I wonder what your least favorite food was. Ooh, I love scalloped potatoes. Do you? I, I do. do. I oh, like I do. I'm, I'm all about them. It's not I mean, my I, least favorite. It's potato and butter, isn't it? And I mean, I don't just sit around and, and go, oh, my gosh, I need some scalloped potatoes, but I like them. Right. Yeah. If they're there, I'll get them. Yeah, but I don't pursue them. You're right. Yeah. I tell you but what, I, I will eat them. I've, I've said this before. You know what I don't like? I do not like hashed potatoes for breakfast. Yeah, I'm not. not I like hash browns. If you're gonna cut, oh that. yeah, you're talking about just the potatoes. But it's not. That's not your least favorite food. No. no what no, is no. your yeah. least favorite? You food? mean first of all, all the, so the of caller, all foods. The caller thought he just asked what our least favorite food. Uh, Which right. I've never really thought about this. It's a good. No, question. I don't study the foods I don't like. Right. I just it's, pay attention to the ones I do like. It's like a group I'm not of, big on salmon patties. Oh, I love really? those mm-hmm. fried ones. Oh, oh, really? Really? Yeah, at all. I do too, Bubba. Mm, That's I good stuff. Probably, probably great. If I go least favorite, I think I can stand here with some confidence. Beets. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah. give you I'm beets. not going to eat a beet. Yeah. I loathe Won't eat them. beets. I don't, I don't like to look at beets. No. I don't like people to, be, to talk about beets. I don't like to see beet juice. I don't like the way people's anything. teeth look who eat beets. No. I will say I mean? this. I've never tried a beet. I do not like beets. Have you tried oh, yeah. them? 
Yes. I never have. Well, well, it I'll probably pretty, means you don't like it. Well, what I'm trying to do is try to say, like, you know, because as we've all gotten older, let's face it, we eat things we didn't eat oh, as yeah. kids. Oh, yeah. oh, me, you know. When I was no. growing up, I ate Campbell's soup and hot dogs. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I won't touch a green pea. I hate do oh, not like English peas. peas. I don't yeah, know. I don't like peas. But you know what? I do not like them, but I do not like them with as much intensity as I dislike beets. He said worse. See, that's yeah. what I needed. Yeah, that's right. what's right. English I don't peas like may carrots. be on my list of worst. I don't like carrots too much either. Oh, I like I raw carrots. carrots. I don't pursue carrots. I like I carrots and peas mixed together. Yeah. I, don't, I don't mind carrots. Yeah. English peas is like eating what a rabbit left behind. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would like a carrot in a beef Now stew. that you put it that way, I probably won't eat it anymore. <laughs> that, that was my goal. <laughs> I mean, I'll pick English peas out of rice if they put it in rice. Oh, I don't eat know. English peas. I just don't eat them. Mm-hmm. I, I pretty much eat most things, but I don't eat those. What about beets? I've never tried. I've never even been around a beet. How about that? I've never <laughs> been anywhere they were serving beets. Have beat. you ever dropped a beet? Now that I have. <laughs> what, but what I'm saying is <laughs> you know I've never been in, in any situation where they were going, hey, try one of them beets. But if I can quote. LL Cool J, I'm the type of guy. I yeah. I, I, I will I will I'm try things now. I don't want to be oh, that guy too. that won't try things. And so I have tried to be. And you said no. down with the beat. Thumbs down. I'll go ahead and hit you with this, and this is very controversial at my house. Not a big fan of cranberry sauce. I I, oh, I, yeah. I think it ruins. Overrated. I think it ruins Thanksgiving. Overrated, <laughs> especially if it comes out of can and it's a, it's, it's a big it's a big old wad of man. jail. Yeah. I just don't yeah. understand how yeah. I have. Turkey and dressing, let me throw some jello on it. Yeah, I don't like or, it. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't fit. Oh, let me show you the controversy we had. My my wife came from a tradition where the cranberry sauce, which is homemade, almost acts as the gravy on your dressing. I can't have it. And that. I said, we got a real no. problem here. Mm. Uh, don't don't, said, mm. don't get in there on my dressing. I said, we, we, be, we better. Mm. I mean, we got to start finding some giblet gravy. And I'm talking about today. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you this, and this might get booze. I'm not a big coleslaw guy. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I'm not I like good coleslaw. coleslaw. I'm about a C minus. I'll dabble in coleslaw, now, but I'm not just going to eat it by the spoon. I won't down. eat it. Thirty-five minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six, we be big. Thanks for being with us today. How about it, Fleet Services? Uh, let me ask you this: You got trucks rolling today? Company vehicles rolling today? Uh, does it bother you if you don't have um, a fleet card like the one I'm going to point you to? That you can only get discounts at specific stations, and you got to tell them, "Hey, look, man, you got to find. Wait till you find a so and so." Don't for don't. Do you think those vehicles give a rip where they're filling up? They don't care. Uh, you might as well be getting discounts everywhere that your vehicles fill up, and you can do that uh, by going to a to b dot com slash radio, a to b dot com slash radio. Uh, whether you're driving all over the country or locally, uh, you deserve to save everywhere. A to b dot com slash radio is the fleet fuel card that gives you discounts anywhere you fuel up because it's accepted wherever they take Visa. Uh, and also, there are some no's that go with it, but you're going to like these no's. No setup fee, no transaction fees, no monthly fee, no late payment fees, no over-the-limit fee, no gallon limits on the amount of discounted fuel. Plus, you build business credit when you pay on time. Uh, if you ever need help, they've got a 24-7 customer service team ready to go. Uh, and you deserve to save every time you fill up, so why don't you join us now, apply at A to B, uh, dot com slash radio no credit check required for a limited time we can get you a fifty dollar credit when you use the zero fee card the website again is a to b dot com slash radio for that fifty dollar credit also the link we have at rick and bubba dot com under the sponsors will get you there too um all right so today on the program and i look speedy when i drove up i saw that we had uh, spaces marked you know, oh, yeah. closed off out yeah. there in the parking lot. Like you know, it's been a bit of a, transi- a transition for everybody here in this building and for us to move from a studio where we were in offices for 14 years. And so we've moved to a new home in January. Uh, so we're in month four now. And, uh, and you know, people had to make some adjustments. Unfortunately, it looked like about the time that everything seemed to settle, you know, after the incident with the lacrosse promotion and I wasn't here that day. some of this stuff. Today, we're actually going to have pit crew type set up out in the lot for the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama, and we're going to be out there causing 
Rick, some, really, th- this is going to be say, mild. I say creating fun. Th- yeah, this is going to be mild. I think everybody here will enjoy this uh, and come by and, and Do get you? to see some. Yeah, I, I think they will. Uh, it, I mean, it's going to be nothing compared to the rocket launch later this month. Bubba, yeah. have you seen what we're doing? Is it next Wednesday? Uh, yes. Have you seen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you? I'll be all over that. Yeah. But you know, <clears> I love a good competition. Can I say that? Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. A yeah. little archery competition. Well, so well, you just said it. You just said it yeah, out loud. I asked if I could. Yeah. Did you say, mm-hmm. I yeah but, but that's the kind of thing that gives people time th- to think about things. Yeah. They yeah. need to just roll in and see it yeah, out there. got to ask for forgiveness, not permission. I want you to picture this. They go. Yeah, I, I missed because I didn't get to hunt this year, bow season. So I missed. We usually have a competition called the uh, Bow Olympics. <clears throat> Where we try trick shots, mm-hmm. and uh, and you know nobody's really been hurt because really bad. We only had one guy go to the hospital. Yeah, right. And, uh, and talking about old one eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, lefty. Yeah. One eye, Jack. Greg, no. I, here's the good news. The good news is he's going to be fine. And also, you know what? Some good news doesn't have to worry about shooting a bird anymore. <laughs> no, which is great. <laughs> but 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 if you look at it, what you what you're creating is somebody in their office here in this building today is going to say. Hey, Rick and Bubba have got it. Looks like a car jack and everything's set up. There's a, there's a, some, there's a vehicle up on up, uh, jacked up out there, and they're right. they're moving tires around, mm-hmm. and they're in the way. And somebody says, "Well, somebody said next week they're going to shoot bow and arrows out there in the lot." Yeah, yeah. So, well, look. Here's what I think. Said. Uh, what I think we ought to do is, if anybody complains or walks by with mean looks, mm-hmm. uh, sign a waiver and try to see if you can change the tire yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Junk, maybe good. maybe they'll have fun with us. That's yeah. right. Get in there. Because you know what we're doing today? We're eating chicken, changing tires. But I, <laughs> is there any kind of better day? Yeah, it's the best, a good day. day it's all this right there. <laughs> but, but here's what chicken I, and tires. I, I, knew, I knew y'all probably, chicken and tires. I know y'all probably run into some resistance, but most of the people I have met yeah. are, are all good. They are. They are. Yeah. Now, one I, I guy think, pushed me on my property, but that was it. I think we're growing on them. Mm-hmm. I did bump one guy trying to get to the bathroom the other day and get back. I mean, he was. I, I was just running. Right. Yeah. He, he he stepped left. I thought he was going right. I cut the mm-hmm. corner and I'll do. I that. told him my bad. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. cut the corner and he was looking down and I was looking down and we <laughs> we bumped into well, each I'm, other. I'm gonna tell you this and y'all aren't here at this time. On Thursdays I work to four. Ooh. Four o'clock. You better look out. Yeah. They come out of this building like you just dumped the right ant bed over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Boom, here they come. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, bed. they come down these stairs right here. I mean, you got to jump between them. Yeah, no, no. I, I, that happened to me the first few weeks. The first few weeks we were here, I nearly got killed standing by that door at four o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. They busted yeah. it over. Right. Well, that, that's that's two times a day. Then you don't need to be by that door. Ten thirty and four o'clock. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I will say when we first got here, I think a lot of them didn't know what to expect. Right. And now the ones that looked a little confused now are looking in when they go by the window and kind of wave yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think everybody's fine well and you know we'll, we'll it warms up we'll have the big company uh you know thank the building picnic yeah. or something right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ask Greg, ask Greg a question somebody hurry up mm-hmm. when do you think when do you think you couldn't even wait till we got to the break mm-hmm. oh, let me ask you you already watched the camera shot. you already yeah. eating you talking about when I'm out of shot, over here Rick <laughs> my full back when I'm out of the shot I get about it. I told Bubba I said you know what <laughs> I said there was the, you know back before Jesus. I said I, I I knew that feeling of look Greg showed up it's going to be all right. Yeah. Now he's yeah. got that feeling in the food category. Yeah. Oh, you know man. I remember I, I remember I used to say oh so Greg's coming oh we're, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> but uh, Bubba look Bubba, and the fact Bubba that Bubba claimed me I jumped the start. Yeah. yeah. He got me. But can I tell you the fact I'm that we're pos- over here in the, the new way, studio y'all. the fact that we've positioned you right by Bubba. Yeah. I mean, you talk about he is so excited about his little food buddy. Mm. Let me tell you who's going to give you zero <laughs> grief about whatever foods that they're at right there. That's right. your running buddy. In the right food there. world, if I'm Emmett Smith, <clears throat> he's Moose Johnson. He absolutely right. is. I'm yeah. paving the way for him. <laughs> you look so excited, too. Look, if sometimes I'll get the food and run a circle through the uh, yeah. studio just to get him fired Greg, up. When, when, when Tim from Buffalo Wild Wings showed up outside, I watched you. I almost I, dove through the glass. I thought they put a spring in your seat. He's here! I, yeah. I mean, I mean it, you shot out of that seat like a kid. Uh, like it's a like kid a who, cannon well, at the circus. I didn't want Tim to have to wait. <laughs> right. Man, you know, what, you know what it was like? You know how when you were a little kid, it was Christmas Eve, and you kept trying to find some way to go oh, to sleep? Yeah. Then, there, all, then all of a sudden it would just happen, and you're a little kid, and your eyes open, you realize that you'd gone to sleep, and now it's morning. And the sun's up. Yeah, and you shoot up out that bed as hard as you can go. Right. That's what you just looked like a minute ago. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, you're really super hungry. excited. Mm-hmm. Greg, please tell me you're not eating an onion ring at this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dipping it. <laughs> go ahead and hit it. Go ahead and get it, buddy. I'll just wait. I'll wait till I'm out of the shot. Wait, no, right. oh, see, look, you're out of shot. I'll wait till I'm out of the shot. I'll get it. I'm gorge go myself. Yeah, that's an onion ring. That's a good one. <laughs> I know they're good, but you know, you know what time it is? It's a little early. That's another thing I like about the show. But I've been up like six hours. How many times you ever go? How many times have you ever gone? To a breakfast place, and they said, no. uh, and, and, and you say all the different the pancakes, okay, and, and all of a sudden you looked over here, and and, and, and the waitress walks up and says, "Now y'all want onion rings?" 
<laughs> Rick, you know how it is. Rick, Rick, once you get that first one in, it might as well be yeah. noon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Rick, that, and, and plus we say food should be available any time of day. Yeah. yeah, any time of day. Rick, this is another thing I like about what we do. When I said that, I didn't think onion rings. You, you, this is the, this is <laughs> the only. Yeah, that's a challenge. This no. is the only broadcast show where we'll just eat on the air. Of course, oh, yeah. yeah. And you being not me, I wait till I'm out of the show. I mean, you 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 hardly ever tune into ESPN if somebody's eating an onion ring. Never. You know what I mean? It never. You, you never even the view. You don't see them eating. Yeah. They won't even right? eat when they're t- they're doing a tailgate show <laughs> yeah. when there's people cooking all around it. them. I know it. Adler, we said he's chewing Adler. Adler. He's now chewing. we've been eating on this show way before I got here. Come yeah, on. Yeah, we were. No, we you're were. right. That started a long. But time I wanted ago. to ask you this, and I've asked before, but I couldn't remember the answer. <laughs> Do you ever get like? shamed in the engineering circles that you're part of a show that eats in the studio oh, near the equipment question. on the air? Um, Do they ever look at you and go, you sold out. We work so hard to keep these the, my, the, the mindless talent from eating yeah. in there hey, in the normally studio. Normally, they won't let you get anywhere near. No. I mean, they'll, they'll my take relationship drink from your hand. With the engineering community it's okay, is, is great. Well. It's always been great, and uh, they're, they're very proud for what we've accomplished. Okay. And, uh, so they don't really take any issue with it. You get a pass. Now, I told, I did tell, it's funny, uh, Troy Pennington, who was the, the engineer legend. at WZZK before mm-hmm. transition. Engineering legend. In Nashville, yeah. Uh, that we eat in his studio, which he never would allow. That's what I mean. And, uh, you know, I, I think it would, it probably would have been <laughs> a bigger issue with Troy. But, I mean, we've got a pretty good record. We haven't tore up anything yet. Oh, right. oh my so, goodness. Listen, oh. I get the liquid. Oh, no. I get fear in the liquid, but how's chicken going to hurt a studio? With grease. Well, yeah, ain't but, hurt he, it. but here's the key. We, if you look, to, and, and yeah. I point this out, we all have, well, there's hands. We usually have bottles with caps on them. So mm-hmm. if we knock it over, it's not, it's not going to I remember it because all I've ever known is. Well, now, Rick, if you spill it in that board, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe try, try and see if it helps. Maybe that's what needs to happen. That one, it can't work yeah. right. Let's I get a dark, dark liquid in Matter that. of fact, now that we're going to do archery, I got another idea. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, we got you, a target. Greg, you should have seen me the first time we, we went on the road somewhere and we were using other studios that had no food, drink, oh, and shit. Yeah. I looked at Bubba and I was like, what's this all about? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, that's the norm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this place here, I, I don't know if it's still, but, you know, I'd come by when we were at an old place here, and but they would take you drink right out of your hand before you went <laughs> through that, that one door. You are not allowed. Would you, I, would you work at a place that wouldn't let you eat now? Now? Yeah. But I'm used to eating and stewing, seeing that it can be done. Yeah. That'd be hard. I go, look, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. it, it can be we done. We can do this. Yeah, can. We are, can do this. Y'all are overdoing Safely. it. <laughs> How much do you think about that next bite? I'm, I'm waiting until we go to the break. <laughs> this bad music feels like it's a month long. Right <laughs> Bubba says it's never going to get here. <laughs> All right. 15 minutes oh, to I'm the top of the shot. I get. <laughs> More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Just any coleslaw. There was one time I ate coleslaw, and it was in uh, it was in Hattiesburg. You know that that (laughs) he remembers it. That was different. Yeah, because it was it was kind of yellow looking. You know had a what did she put in that? It was good. It was almost like a dessert. Mm -hmm. My mother makes really good coleslaw, and I'm a pretty big fan of cabbage. Mm. No, I I don't do cabbage. I like cabbage, but it cabbage soup. It doesn't appear to like me. Have you seen this thing? I, I was looking on the internet. You like cut a hole in the cabbage, put all kinds of butter and stuff in it, stick it on the grill, what? wrap it up. <laughs> Best or buddy. <laughs> that looks good. You know, I started eating, and it surprised you, boiled cabbage. I've never tried that. I <laughs> like cabbage I, soup. With oh. some onions in it. I like cabbage Same soup. Same thing. How about potato salad? Oh, I love potato salad. I'm about a, I'm about a C Mustard plus. Mustard base. It has to be mustard. Yeah, C plus on potato salad. No. I only eat it with barbecue. Good. I don't pursue it if it finds it set well on my plate. Bubba, what if ketchup's on it? No, I've only been I've only salad. been eating potato salad at all for maybe the last five years of my life. Really? Because mm-hmm. I was well, against it for a long time. It's a, it's a dangerous food. It, it is. Can get you it out. is. Yeah. You don't let it sit around out there in the heat. No. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Pass. Get to the top of the hour. Nine minutes to the top. Don't panic. All right, we we have this is probably the quickest news update we've had. A story that was in the kickoff hour, and now we have an update. We'll review it, and then we'll take you to the update here. It's a Rick and Bubba news. 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 update. Bubba and I were considering sending our kids to the University of Georgia until we got this update. Uh, Bubba, you know the story we had in the kickoff hour. 
professor lets students choose their own grades grades for stress reduction. Uh, stress reduction uh, measure, you get to choose your own grade in this class. A University of Georgia uh, professor ha- had, right, had right. adopted, because we, we need to say had now because there's an update. A, well, I guess he still did, but he's got shut down. A stress reduction policy allowing students to select their own grades if they feel Bubba unduly stressed well, by the ones that they earned. If, if if they felt like that, I just Bubba, I'm just stressed by this D, so I'm going to send in to the professor. I think I'm an A, mm-hmm. and he said to relieve your stress, you would then get an A. He also <laughs> was it was going to. Why al- do they need him if he's uh, going to do that? He was also going to yeah. allow them to take open book tests. Uh, where they could uh, just look for look for their own answers. Yeah. But the bottom line is, why do I care about that? If I don't do well, I just send in a new grade. Yeah. yeah. Why, yeah. why, why Hey, why even show up? Right. Well, well the universal the class stress me out. Yeah. In the up, in, in the update. It's a Rick and Bubba news. news update. The University of Georgia, according to now, the media sources are coming back saying, I think we have an update. Uh, has uh, made the per- professor remove. Pick your own grade option from the class uh, syllabus. <laughs> well, well, they love a good syllabus, don't they? Oh, syllabus, syllabus, syllabus. syllabus. So, I'm almost certain those. Uh, if anyone ended up in the fires of hell on the way in, you'd be given a syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you check your syllabus. <laughs> Look at your syllabus. It says burn for the rest of your life. <laughs> you remember the some classes? One on one, one on two. Right. They wouldn't have enough for everybody in the class. Oh, and syllabus. some people were just distraught because they didn't get one. You know, I'd, I'd give I'd, them mine. I did too. I give mine. I said, oh. "Here, you can have mine. I'll lose." No, it. I ain't worried. To about me, it. the word "syllabus" was a little close to the word "syphilis." To me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I felt the same about both. <laughs> oh my gosh! I did not. And who wants that? What about oh my syphilis, gosh! Syphilis. Here comes a syllabus. So we think now the president will not be allowed to let the students, if he wants to keep his job at Georgia, pick their own grade. Reasonable, I well, think. Well, boy, the, there, that's a shocker. Yeah, but guys, I'm gonna tell you. This thing we're not worried about stressing people is, is getting a little out of hand. Uh, yeah, you got to deal with a little stress, Greg. Oh, Greg, Greg and I, we've said it on there, and I think it's just common sense, which is a superpower now. It's just common sense. I think the reason why we – you realize we, we're, we've we said this before, but if you just look at it, it's easy to draw the line. So we try to let a child come into this world, and we try to save them from stress all the way to adulthood, and then it appears they can't handle what? Stress. stress. Uh, they, they, they can't function. Because they, they can't they take li- it. I mean, it just – it just, guys, I've told you all the stories. These are not made up stories of people we know trying yeah. to hire people right. that have come up in this plan, and they're like, they can't take the work. They can't do it. You have to learn stress, Rick. your own internal way of dealing with stress and a difficult situation at some point in your life. It's better, mm-hmm. in my opinion, to learn a, a, that when you're a toddler. Mm-hmm. And then you get over it, and you learn how to deal with things, and you learn how to put your head down and persevere through it and get over it. And, uh, you know, from time to time, regroup and call yourself up. Hey, i got to get it together here. Well, think about it. But if you never learn that until you're a grown-up and then you're in a a situation that really matters, I mean, you're a mess. Yeah. Think about – You don't know what to do. Think about some of the names that we know – I mean, all of us know. Abraham Lincoln. Think about some of these people. If you go back – and, Bubba, you've mentioned this, and it's 100% right. If you've ever taken the time – and I've talked to people who've been successful. One of the things they did – they love to read biographies. Nine minutes to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Things that are happening uh, today, we will get an opportunity in the parking lot today to have some fun with all the folks for the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama. Tebow was on, our, you know, our new buddy. He hangs out here often now. Uh, he's the Grand Marshal. Uh, we talked to him about that. That's coming up next weekend uh, in Sweet Home, Alabama at the Barber Motorsports Park. Uh, and we'll have um, an opportunity here in the lot today for the guys to get out there and, and be a little pit crew action, changing some tires uh, in the parking lot. So we'll talk about that coming up uh, in, in a, an hour or so. Uh, and then also don't forget to Wednesday Bible study is back today. Bubba boy, a decision is made that, uh, that we all are still being impacted by today. Uh, you know, sometimes God has a plan and we decide that we can come up with our own plan. That's usually a bad idea. Genesis 16 today, we learned a lesson. No matter how how all in your wife may seem about you having a baby with somebody else, she's going to take it back. Yeah. Uh, so so anyway, that's uh, – and, right, and, and if God says that, that, that a baby's coming, stay with that plan. Uh, so so anyway, uh, we will unpack yeah, – we'll unpack that will. today in the Wednesday Bible study 
when we detour away from God's plan usually brings problems. Uh, and we'll discuss that today. Genesis 16 will be uh, our topic today in the Wednesday Bible study, noon central time, 1 o'clock Eastern on the YouTube channel, then archived soon after. All right, so um, Shaq, uh, speaking of— Speaking of that. Uh, Shaq is uh, speaking of bad decisions. Uh, he, uh, his marriage, of course, did not work out. Uh, he is divorced. Uh, and, um, and he is actually, and, and I agree with what Adler said while he put this clip in here, you know, we're living in a world now where everybody makes excuses and nothing is ever anybody's fault. Yeah. You know, it's all, you know, you don't understand, or I'm gonna make an excuse here. It, it really is a breath of fresh air, uh, to hear Shaq basically say I'm divorced because of me. Uh, I'm, I, I was the problem. It, it, it was my fault. Uh, and, uh, and, and I'll Big let you, check. yeah, I'll let him uh, talk about it in his own words. So here he is. The divorce, you controlled your life forever. You can't control that. Like, I, I could have, but, but you can't. No, I could have. It's, it's, I, it's I two bad. people that involved in the divorce. Bro. Yeah, but no, I, I never talked about this. And I'm glad you guys are asking because I don't mind talking about that, but I was bad. Uh, she was, she was, she was awesome. She really was. It, it, it was all me. I was just, look. We don't need to talk about what I was doing, but I wasn't, I wasn't protecting her and protecting those vows. So you know, sometimes when you live that double life, you get caught up in. So I'm, I'm not gonna say it was her; it was all me, because she was, look, she did exactly what she was supposed to do: gave me beautiful kids, take care of the house, take care of corporate stuff. It, it, it was just all me. Sometimes when you make a lot of mistakes like that, you know, you can't really come back. You come back. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, how, how how much of a breath of fresh air is that? The guy's even trying to say, That's "Let's get in here and talk about." You know, women and how hard marriage is, and you know, it's a lot of things you can't control. And she actually interrupted him. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She owns it. She yeah, owns it. <laughs> she actually was doing everything you're supposed to do in a marriage. I'm the one that wasn't, yeah. and this could have been avoided if I had just been a man of God and 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 taken the vows uh, and actually lived by them. And he said I was living a double life. Uh, he didn't have to tell us what he was doing. You can guess what most of it was. And uh, and he said, and when you do that, it eventually catches up with you. He said, no, I destroyed. Our marriage, my wife did what she was supposed to. I'm the one that didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I mean, you realize how long it's been since you just heard somebody say that straight yeah, out, right? I, I don't know Shaq personally, but uh, you know, I, from what you see in clips like that, he seems like a, a very stand up guy, uh, at least now. Well, unless you were married to him, and uh, but well, the, that's what I'm saying yeah, now. He, now he, he, yeah. he seems, and he, I know he gives a lot back, and you, you've yeah. seen clips of things that he does, and I'm sure there's a lot of things he doesn't do. I mean, that we don't know about that right. he does do, but. He, um, he, you know, he, he seems like he's a really straight up guy, and I appreciate him doing that because he yes. doesn't have to be. He's got money. He can do whatever he wants. To well, do. he also could, because you're right, because of his celebrity and the way, unfortunately, we idolize and worship celebrities, which is really kind of weird. Uh, but, um, but, you know, everybody was ready to give Shaq a pass if he would have just gone down that road. Because what most people say is we don't know your wife, but we know you. Yeah. So, we, you know, and so just why don't you talk about how what a handful she was and how hard marriage was and, and how, you know, things happened you can't control. And he's like, nah, I, I, that's not really how this went at all. Yeah. <laughs> how it went is I was not the husband I was supposed to be, and um, and I caused this. Yeah, you know, that, like, that's a breath. And that's also really no. repentance. Yeah. And I'm not, is, I, I don't yeah. know Shaq's life. He, he may not. He may not have be a, a you know a follower of Christ now. I don't man of God. I don't know that. I know in this clip, you hear what real repentance is, right. and that is taking ownership of it. I just I I was you, 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 I'm not saying it got to this point, but I think one of the things I've never forgotten is this quote from Thomas Watson, and I actually wrote it in there on the dry erasable board. True repentance is the vomiting of the soul. Wow. It's it's it's. I don't make any excuses. I don't hold anything back. I don't justify anything. Yep. I completely unload and and recognize uh, how sinful I really am, and uh, and hopefully, you know, at least on this topic, I think he handled it the right way. Yeah. And, and another point with Shaq, you know, we've we've all heard the story about the general insurance, you know, because when he was in college, <laughs> that's all he could get. And when he started getting a little famous, he was very appreciative and said, look, if I never help y'all out or do ads for you, I will. And they called him, and he did. Right. You know? <laughs> he did. Yeah. And, uh, and, and continues to do so. So he's 7'1", his ex-wife 5'7". Really? Can ma imagine them standing beside oh, each yeah. other. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, you'd have to carry a ladder around. Yeah. You know? I mean, what would you do? Adler, you had something? Yeah, that, and that was courtesy of the Pivot podcast. He went on to say, I was just being greedy. I had the perfect situation. 
Wife was finer than a mug. <laughs> kept giving me babies. Still finer than a mug. I had it all. I don't make excuses. I know I messed up. When the D word happened, I don't like to say divorce, I was lost. I had a 76,000 square foot house by myself. I was lost. No kids. I would go to the gym. Nobody's playing. You go to their room. Nobody's there. And that, to me, spoke volumes, Ooh. too, about the, the the things of this world will not fulfill you. Nah. No. You know? Nah. Think, think about anything that anything that is 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 uh, materialistic or of the world. You know, you got excited if something was allowed to happen. You'd always want to happen, but it just doesn't last real. I mean, like mm-hmm. I say, Solomon covered that in, in in Ecclesiastes. You know, he. I love the first time I heard this on the commentary. Solomon was put in a unique position by God to truly have the ability to try anything he wanted to try. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Uh, and he said, and, and then I he did, wrote about it, and I did every bit of it. And it's like chasing after the wind. If you want me to simplify your life for you, fear God and do what He says. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, the really one one line right there says, "Let me sum all this up for you." And uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Nothing's going to satisfy you, other than other than Him. And, uh, you know, kid boy, he really a visual sitting in that old empty house. Yeah, that's yeah. tough, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He out. said that they still remain friends and, and support each other's endeavors. So good good for the kids because they, they kept it together as far as their friendship yeah, and being yeah, cordial sure. with each other. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, and, boy, I'm telling you, it's, um, divorce, as I've said many times, is a sin that keeps on giving. Yeah. I mean, you can thank the Lord. You can, be, you can repent and it not be held against you in eternity. But, boy, on earth. It, boy, it, it is an obstacle for the rest of your life. Yep. Uh, top of the hour, 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number. We'll come back and we'll tell you what's been happening uh, with the Buffalo Wild Wings Charity Charge. We'll introduce you to a great organization that you're going to help, and we'll give you an opportunity to help another one coming up this Monday. Uh, all that after the top of the hour break. You got the Rick and Bubba Show. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. or autobiographies of people's lives who were successful. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. And there's a lot of chapters about the failures that they had That's before right. Tons you of knew them. the success, and a lot of times you never hear that. So you think they just walked in on the yellow brick road and went to be president or went to invent something. You don't hear about the junk box that, of everything that didn't work on the way, yeah. how many times they were defeated in elections. Yeah. Well, I, I was talking because I have a, a son that's interested, and you know, we have one that's already acting, and then... We have another one that's interested in getting into film and production and behind the camera. You know, he just doesn't have the desire like his other siblings to be on the other side of it. He wants to be the person that puts it together, edit, and, and so he's really into trying to look at classic movies now that, that had kind of stood the test of time and what they did in them and this kind of stuff. And so he came in the other night and he said, uh, Dad, have you ever seen the movie Good Will Hunting? I said, yeah, I have. And I said, now, we're in Boston, so the language is a little rough. I said, but the story and everything is incredible. He said, well, I was wondering, he said, because from what I've gathered, he said, I'm looking at this, if, if you look at uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, he said they were at the end of their rope, and they were both failures as actors, and they got together and wrote this movie, and this was their Hail Mary to the end zone to see if it could be batted up in the air and somebody catch it, and, and that movie turned everything around, but before that, everything they tried had been a disaster, and so, and they weren't doing very well, and they were going to be relatively unknown. And so that launched into everything that they both were able. So you see that with so many people who have been successful. I think a lot of people, we've seen this before, think that people who are successful somehow had a silver spoon in yeah, their mouth yeah. and that everything was given to them. They were never they were never wondering where they're going to eat. They were never wondering if they're going to pay their bills. They were never wondering what was going to happen to them. Just somehow, and, it's, and life's not fair because undoubtedly things that happened to them just haven't happened for me. <laughs> no, most of them put the nose to the grind and had to get through and persevere through incredibly tough stuff to get there. I mean, and they, they had many failures, and you know why the failures didn't destroy them? They, knew how, to deal with they it. knew how to deal with it. Yep. They had been allowed to deal with stress. Some of the greatest moves, and I, like I say, I'm, I'm probably about a B, B minus when it comes to parenting. I, I, there's a lot of areas I've done well, some I haven't. But I'll tell you one thing that I think was simple parenting, and I've seen the results of it, is the times that my kids have come to me and they've made a mess of something, and they look at me and say, well, what do you think? And I'll just kind of shrug my shoulders and say, I guess you just have to work it out. Hmm? Work it out. I mean, you, you created this or you got yourself in a bind, find a way out of it. You know, so you're not going to go talk to the coach for me? Mm-mm, no, I guess you will. You're not going to 
go talk to my boss about me, you know, being late for work. And he says, I'm, no, I'm, I guess you don't have to deal with that because that's the real world. And, of course, it, at some point, you know, when they, 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 you know, repercussions come from things or decisions, you learn from them. But if we go around there putting a patch on it every time something happens and there's never any repercussion, never any discomfort, never any issue, you know, here comes mom and daddy in to save the day. Uh, every time, every time you turn around, now what was mom and dad? Mom and daddy inside? coming to save the day. <laughs> you know, look. Well, like I say, I mean, there used to be a time when when parents actually were smart and realized that your kid is probably the problem. It's probably not the person in authority. It's probably your kid. That was the mindset of every parent. And then you know there were rare exceptions to that. But now the mindset's the opposite. The minute you something's gone wrong with your kid, it's the authority's fault, not your kid's fault. Yep. And I will tell you that most of the time, if that's your attitude, you are one hundred percent wrong. Not every time, yeah, but most of the time. And, and and when that flipped, now we got people can't handle stress, whatever. I mean, and it really builds on itself. Yeah, I mean, you don't go to work one day and you're expecting your mom and daddy to go in there and talk to your boss about <laughs> it. And you're 28 years old. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And you can get all those details by going to Rick and Bubba Outdoor Expo. dot com. All right, so where are we on Mountain Line? Because I've got other things. We do have it. All right. So we have a, an animal story here today, which uh, is an uh, animal story. Animals. Ah, Come on. <laughs> uh, so a nerve-rattling encounter with a mountain lion started. Okay, so good. Didn't end with a fleeting glimpse of the big cat's tail. Bubba, are you familiar with the High Sierra Trail in California's wilderness? I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar with I'm it not, other than that. I'm not either. Uh, they said they didn't believe it was a puma uh, and that he and his uh, hiking partner had seen. So he got out his phone and he hit record, and then they followed the creature. Uh, the hiker mm. slowly rounded a turn to see it peering down on them from a rocky perch mm. just feet away. Ears yeah, perked up, head cocked, eyes locked. See that old tail? All right. So it, Did you see it? So this is where they're about to around the corner. It's going to be up there, perched, yeah, ready yeah. to go. Well, it yeah. just ran around the corner in the first That's part of that. Yeah, I didn't see that, but I, yeah, I, but this it was is, just it's, it was rolling for B roll, kind of setting up what you had talked about about how his partner saw it, and so he grabbed his phone to say, "All, All right, right, let's so, see if we get it." Look, guys, y'all going to keep going for trying yeah. to get a shot of this? Why are thing? you trying? Yeah, Come why on. are you messing with it? All right, Rick, I haven't tested this for audio here, um, okay. so but we got. The Do delay. y'all want the audio? Yeah, we got mm-hmm. the delay, so. Oh, hello. oh, hey, look at that, hello. looking down on them. Hey, it's a wonder it's not jumping right now. Oh, hey, kitty, kitty. It's a wonder it is not jumping right now. It's staring at them. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. What, what are we supposed to do? I would start backing out, my friend. Yeah, slow, yeah. slow. Put your arms up. Slow. Big, or is that bear? I don't I'd know. put my arms out and go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, That's just me. All right, so. um. All right. All right, so it's about to end. Yeah, it's just it? looking at him, isn't it? Okay. Y'all, those eyes are this fixed. All right, I'm going back. This is how they oh, first I saw see. it. Okay, yeah. they they saw see, it. I turn oh, around and go the other way. Yes. It is six minutes past the hour. From the No Name Studio, we thank you for being with us today. You can reach us at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, and welcome back, uh, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us on the little party we call Rick and Bubba. Time for an update on the Buffalo Wild Wings Charity Charge, Bubba. Here we go. Welcome back to the Rick and Bubba Show, Buffalo Wild Wings, Tim Spencer. Hey, guys. You Thanks for up? having me. Oh, man, I'm fired up. <laughs> I am fired up. Thank you for the food today. You're welcome. And I speak on behalf of Greg. That's what I figured. He's still <laughs> out there. And on my behalf. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, but at least you've returned to the studio. Yeah, Greg, yeah we lost him. Greg, Greg, he fell in. Greg is in there grazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's loving it. Uh, so, uh, uh, Tim, we're excited today. Uh, well, this is always fun. Uh, Mission 44, uh, Grant Lowe is here 
from Mission 44. Grant, welcome to uh, Rick and Bubba. Your, your debut today. Yeah, it's my big debut. Thank <laughs> you. Glad, glad to have you here. So let's talk a, a little bit about Mission 44. We're going to uh, we got good news for you on a check, but uh, those that went out and participated in this particular charity charge uh, and that money that you're about to receive, it goes to what? Okay, so um, first, I want to just thank the good Lord. Amen. Um, that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm Mission 44 here. Mission 44 is the Lord's, and we're just uh, sitting on the front row seat of that. So uh, amen to him. But um, Mission 44, what we do is we just – go in and we support families um, here at the Birmingham Children's Hospital. We support families, and I stress that it's the families because when a child goes in the hospital sick, it's not just the child that's, you know, being attacked here. Right. It's a family as a whole, and we try to support and uplift the whole family. The siblings, the moms and dads, we try to relieve pressure off of the whole family unit um, so we can see these kids through this tough time and these families through this tough time. So um, this money, this particular money here from this uh, charity charge is big for us. Oh, yeah. And it was really a God thing. Um, I met a family, uh, single mom, dis disabled son, tw needs 24-hour care. Mm. She had lost her job back in the fall, and uh, so she was struggling financially. And um, the timing was amazing um, on this whole thing. I had uh, contacted her and, and built a personal relationship with her and found out what she really needed, and what she needed was help with her home. Mm. Um, she was behind on mortgage payments. And um, so I called her mortgage company and tried to see where we could help, and um, she was needing $5,300 to pay up and get her mortgage called up so it didn't go into get foreclosure. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And um, so at the time, I had a couple thousand dollars we threw at it, and the mortgage company was like, look, we need the whole amount to be able to um, process this and keep it from going into foreclosure proceedings. And so I was thinking, Lord, I need to come up with another $3,300. <laughs> and about the same time, and, and when I say about the same time, I literally got off the phone with a mortgage company, and a, a friend sends me a text message and says, hey, check your email. Check my email. And it was from Speedy. And it said, hey, you've been selected for the charity challenge. How about that? And, uh, it was amazing. It was, awesome. it was truly a God thing. And, um, wow. So fast forward that a little bit and make it even cooler here for you guys. I was about to say. Um, <laughs> so April 1st was when um, the money had to be paid before yeah. the proceedings started. And um, so that morning I was like, look, I'm just going to have to find a way, come out of pocket or something, and we got we got to save this home for this family. And um, I – check my email and I've got an email <laughs> from Speedy saying, Hey, uh, you got a little update here. $4,300 was raised and amen. We needed 3,300. God gave us an extra thousand. So, um, that money's spent. <laughs> that money's already spent. What I, what I couldn't believe is when I was listening to you, cause I'm looking at the check and when you said we, we need about $3,300, I mean, it'd be one thing if we were bringing in, you know, say, you know, four even or, you know, but to look and Tim, and he said 3,300 and we're give, about to give 4,300 on the nose. 4,300. You know what? And if <clears throat> we wouldn't have opened this new store in Oxford last it month, that much. Yeah. it wouldn't have been this much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so the time. and you coming yep. in right when they're adding a new one and uh, a place where we're all from and where Greg and I grew up and. I mean, it's really something. This may not be the largest, but it's probably pretty close. Uh, it, it may it's be the largest. largest. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. It's it's up there. It's in the top, what, be yeah. five or six. Yeah, at least. we had a couple at Christmas about that. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it, I think, um, you know, just just being able to expand and and open up to that market in Oxford where you guys are from is mm -hmm. going to make a huge difference. Well, and, and two grand, it, it just it's so there's so many fingers in this because you had a friend that reached out to me. Uh, and to tell me about the the charity, uh, and which led me to talk to Rick and Bubba about it, and, and Tim, and it just there was so much involved for this to get here. Uh, it, it's really special. It's been it's been amazing, really. It has been because, um, you know, I always try to stress how important it is for us as individuals to serve out our purpose. And you know, a lot of times we think our purpose is supposed to be because of the way social media and the world is today that it's got to be big and magnificent and it, it has to be visible to yeah. everybody 
but just little moves that we make on an individual level make a difference. You know, sharing the message, um, sharing an email with somebody changes everything. Yeah. And willing to step out of your comfort zone for, for a moment for someone else is big. And that's pretty much how this transpired. And, and it's, it's helped this family tremendously. You I know? want you to think of it. You, if, if you've ever been under that kind of duress, or you got a yeah. child that needs help, oh. and the last thing you need is more more mm. more yeah. angst, and then finally the Fighting more the two front and the more mm-hmm. and to, for to know that that all of you out oh. there went to Buffalo Wild Wings, had a great time, and enjoyed a great meal, and just that that move on a charity charge day, I want you to think about it because you know if you've been around, surely something like this has happened in your life, or unfortunately it probably will one day. How that felt to get that call? Hey, by the way, the mortgage thing's handled. It's covered. It, it's, it's done. It's done, and all it took was, Put it away. was, was, was for you to go yeah. out and say, I think I'll go out and do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Rick, when we sat down at the table, what, over three years ago, this yeah. is exactly what we wanted. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is exactly the purpose we were yeah. trying to serve, to help people that it, other times may not get any help. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and all you got to do is eat. That's it. That's not bad. So, really? You know, so, the, Tim, so, this is our way of giving. I know. Yeah, amen. So, so we got the check over there, $4,300, and, and we'll we'll get a picture with you here in a minute. You, don't try to take that one and deposit yeah. it. But It won't fit in the team. It, it, it won't fit yeah. in the team. Hey, Annie's about to ride a motorcycle from California to Birmingham. Yeah, what is this about? Yeah, so um, uh, God put it on my heart uh, probably last fall to, to um, do this, and I'm going to fly out to uh, Los Angeles May 17th jump on a little mini bike that was donated by Max Motorsports here in Birmingham area. And um, I'm going to ride that thing all the way back here to Birmingham uh, from L.A. And it's a, it's a little mini 150cc bike. Oh, my goodness. And uh, it's just me, a backpack, a and bike. Jesus. Yeah, it's a little yeah, video yeah. bike. And, um, <laughs> so how, how long do you think that's going to take? Um, I've allocated about two and a half weeks. I'm going to show up at Barber's Motorsports for the small bore event. On Friday, uh, June 3rd, I'm going to leave the bike there, and then I run down to Maplesville and race a bike for 24 hours off-road the next day. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're, we're rolling. You know, anything that I can do, God has, has restored me. I've broken 30 uh, bones in the course of my life. I've had 17 concussions, had cancer two years ago. Good gracious. He keeps restoring me, and I keep moving forward with him. I mean, what are you, evil Knievel? He was. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, a, I'm just a very fortunate man, the vessel uh, just for God to shine his light. Amen. I'm thankful for that, and, and, and here we are, you know. All right, we'll come back. When we come back, we will um, we'll tell you what you can do next uh, with the Buffalo Wild Wings Charity Charge. Uh, also, um, we have a, we'll do the presentation of the check in the break and get that picture. And, um, and then we got a special moment from Tim Spencer coming up, too. Mm. He doesn't even know about it. He doesn't even know about it. So we'll talk about that on what we get to do next on the Charity Charge coming up this Monday. And we'll tell you about that when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. As a small business. I don't follow that. That's enough video for me right there. It's a there. pretty, I mean, it's a nice little trail, but it's a tight I go one. back and carry that straight guys, to Dan Moe. It goes off a cliff to the right, and everywhere <laughs> really where to run. If you see a mountain lion moving mm-hmm. away from you, go the uh, they'll go where it went. Yeah, he was trying to leave you. You know you know what I think he's doing? Oh, here they come. Because oh, obviously he got up a ready yeah. to go. Yeah, he's setting a trap for them. How about when they're looking down the trail, and they're like, where is that uh, thing? All of a sudden mm-hmm. they look up, mm-hmm. and it's at it's 10 o'clock looking mm-hmm. down. Guys, if you haven't seen this video, this thing is staring at them with eyes of death. <laughs> yes, it is. But it, huh? it, does that look, at look that. like an eagle's head cut off? Look right. They you know, say, "Where is he? Hey, where? Oh, oh man, boy, look at him! And he got that dead tree behind him as a little mm-hmm. background. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's look at him. In he is, he's hunkered down. His legs half bent. Ready y'all, he's ready. Y'all, ready y'all, he's re- he's ready. Mm-hmm. I think. See, and he's, he thinks oh, they can't see me. I'm not going to move. I, th- I think if they would have passed and their backs would have been on him, that's oh, when he would have yeah. jumped. All right, can I? Yeah, because you know? I do want to get you from back. Yeah. All right, let me hear. Just go back. I want to hear what they're saying because I think I'm going to hate it. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want it from the beginning? No, it's yeah. fine. Okay, right here. Well, anyway. Okay. They're walking up. Trail's about 30 feet away here. Well, they already saw it go around the corner. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I want to hear what they're saying with these air like, what are we supposed to do? Going that way. Guys, why are they following where the, where the ground line went? They really deserve to be attacked. You don't do this. Here we go. They don't listen to our show, I'll tell you that. No. Uh, here we go. 
Bubba, this is your theory all in action right now. I mean, it is right on top of it. It's in perfect. What are we supposed to do, back up? Huh? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to run. <laughs> go away from it. Missile? How about the bear thing? Yeah, you got it? But don't be careful. Just whistle if it comes at us. What's that? And it stops. What did he say? Did he say whistle? He said comes whistle if it comes at us. Yeah. yeah. Whistle. What is that going to do? Whistle. They got some kind of bear whistle. Everybody knows. He said that. the bear thing. Could, could I tell you if I don't know what I'm going to do, then I'm not going to follow it. Mm -mm. Would y'all agree? I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if I if I did know what I was. When I saw do. it on that trail to begin with, I go, well, hike's over. Yep. Let's head Let's back. Let's go back down. Mm. They said they turned back, set up camp for a restless night's sleep in another area. Mm. Their first of nearly two week long hike up Mount Whitney. They only have an ice axe and a bear whistle. Yeah, they did. that's what they were talking what about. What is a bear whistle? Well, it ain't going to affect a, a, a no. that's not a mountain bear. line. It ain't but a bear. I've heard of bear spray. Yeah. They said Why uh, y'all yeah, who in their right mind goes into the wilderness without a firearm? They went back, looked again, and said all they found was Paul Marks where he was. We started the trip, and we sort of jokingly said, wouldn't it be great if we saw the trifecta? Rattlesnake, mm -mm. a bear, and a mountain lion. And sure enough, we got our wish. What? Mm. Said they, the people, game officials say they did the right thing by not panicking and running. That would have, that would have mm -hmm. triggered the kill instinct. And... Uh, you could do the stork. Says, don't act like prey if you encounter a mountain lion. If you run, they think you're prey. Yeah. Look, it is not moving. It is still and just waiting. The whistle ain't going to do any good if that mm -hmm. thing comes down that embankment. No, and he's not. Oh, you're going to be. <laughs> but he's not. Mountain lion dinner that's making a noise. He's not going to come down that embankment. He's going to leap from right there. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's I mean, he's mm -hmm. perched, ready to go. Or she, or he, whatever. Guys, it is. that that it's is kind young. of a young one too. It looks like. Mm -hmm. right? Don't be careful. I think it's a chick. I think it's a chick line. Y'all, you, you guys, you understand. That's a bad scene right it there, It saw Jim. them and then went up around the oh, curve and said, I'm ready now. It was ready. It went around the corner, so let me get up for high. It don't tell how many things it's caught right there. You know what it says. If these idiots keep walking, I'll jump. That's right. Why didn't they put their tent up right there? <laughs> wow. Well, that's an encounter right there. That's a good one. So look for that video. It's out there. We'll put it in show notes yeah. today. Yeah. I'm just glad those things can't read, and they, re they respect the lines on the map. <laughs> Is that what you saw him? Same animal? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly oh, the same. And yeah. you didn't tell us. Yeah. Late. It was the last day of the hunt. Nobody's going back out. Mm. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Twenty minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. We're back. Eight six six. We be big is our number. Uh, in the middle of an update on the Buffalo Wild Wings charity charge, and uh, Tim Spencer is with us. He's uh, brought food again today. Uh, the, the, the team Rick and Bubba enjoying that today. Uh, but uh, but another opportunity uh, is presenting itself for you uh, to participate. We've heard the great story about Mission Forty Four. If you're around the country and you know, you're like, look, I don't have a Buffalo Wild Wings that's participating near me, but I sure would like to come alongside Mission 44. Uh, well, you can do that. Uh, their information is in show notes today at rickandbubba.com, uh, m44.org. Um, but uh, we have another opportunity coming up on Monday. Uh, it, this uh, April is, um, is, is, a make, is, is, is World Wish Day coming up, uh, and Make-A-Wish Alabama is going to be benefiting from the Buffalo Wild Wings Rick and Bubba Charity Charge, uh, which will be this Monday. Uh, they, uh, they are headquartered in our home city, and they serve children and families in all the 67 counties across Alabama. And uh, they granted over 1,000 wishes uh, since uh, they were founded in 2012. So there's 280 children that are currently waiting on the wish list. Uh, and hopefully, after uh, we are done on Monday, we'll have a check that we can give to Make-A-Wish Alabama, which will make some of those 
those yeah. wishes come true. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That, I, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's very. Uh, Tim, I, we appreciate you doing this because you don't have to do this, and I know business is tight out there coming out of the COVID years, and you probably could use that. Uh, but you've made a point that you were going to do this and dedicated that, and I, I, I really think you're being blessed because of it. You know, it, 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 there's a group of us that, that made this decision, and there's a group of us that, that always sit and talk, and, and this, is the, this is on the top of the list of things we're going to keep doing. Yeah. Um, no matter what happens. You know, we took a month off or something during COVID when we couldn't sell any food. Right. Yeah. right. That, made, yeah. that made the charity charge yeah. difficult. Yeah. Well, you weren't open, Tim. Yeah. No. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's the restaurant ain't running. We're not looking. Right. Yeah. You know, it's a... yeah. Uh, what, but I know that the thing that when we saw the impact already, because there are participating locations and you're, you're trying to add markets, and, and we did add Oxford, where, we where Greg and I, you know, graduated high school, where dad coached for 14 seasons and uh, where we live that's i mean you know when you say where did you grow up i grew up in oxford alabama that that that's it that's that's my hometown and um had a great childhood there and uh, and greg as well so when you when you put one there and it's in a good location for a lot of markets because you can come right off i-20 between birmingham and atlanta uh you know near atlanta near birmingham near near perfect perfect. (laughs) and uh uh, so so that that certainly had an impact you you saw right out of the gate but i but i know you have been waiting on something from me Oh. For for the Oxford location, and you know, I saved a spot. It is still there. Well, Tim, today's the day. <laughs> uh, I, I have brought for you the 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 road jersey. I couldn't find the home jersey. Here I am, actually wearing this jersey. <laughs> I need uh, that picture, by the way. Okay, and um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, this old is, 75. This, old seventy five. That, yeah. That's the this is the jersey in that picture right there. And uh, so, uh, so I, I will. I will now hand this over to <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, Oxford location. Uh, That's oh, great. Oh, there's 075. That is, look at that. Look at that. Woo, uh, there's, look a, at there's, that. There's, there's a shadow box awaiting. There it is. That's it. Uh, 075. I know you've had this stored away. <laughs> yes. In a special place. Yes, I have. Yep. You know, he played a little ball. Yeah. You know, I want this to start being a selfie opportunity for everybody in oxford anybody hey. drops off at that's the right go, let's hashtag it they go in there and, and they 75 get to, they get the picture made with have you thought about bronzing your cleats like you used to do your baby shoes you know what I, that's a great idea but it, my cleats were so big though i'm afraid that they may that they may uh, fall through whatever he puts it on yeah so uh yeah so that's uh yeah i i i don't know the quality of these i mean that was something that was sent to me i don't even know if you could make a picture that's on a big tv and looks good yeah, yeah really yeah. Uh, yeah. we can do work. this that could be in the corner of the shadow box that they build them into the yeah. shadow box yeah. so absolutely I'll, I'll just send you that picture i don't know if it's the i'm not even gonna hang this one up high i'm no. seriously gonna hang this one low yeah. so, so you can go yeah, in yeah, and everybody, everybody get a shot with i could see you getting that printed yeah. and then on your left shoulder we're looking to the right there you yeah. sign it Right there. That's right. On the on the white shoulder. Oh, 75. Yeah. That's right. Play a little ball. Mm-hmm. You the, know, this is a special place. The the people of Oxford are gonna really gonna appreciate it. Well, it's, I know they are. It, 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 and I couldn't find the home black. I don't know where it is. I, I don't. Know. I, I think one of my kids may have it. I don't know yeah, where it it'll is. It'll turn up. It'll turn up. So have you checked it. eBay? I have, but, but what was cool to try to help? I did find a picture of me in that actual jersey. That, yeah, that, that my, is. Cool. My mom had that. So yeah, I, that, that is cool. And yeah. Tim, if you ever. End up in Jacksonville, Alabama, home of the Jacksonville State Fighting Gamecocks. We'll have another one. For you. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it, it, hey, we are coming close to your home, your your place now. Your home. Where you? Yeah, at? we're How going. Uh, we won't get it for this charity charge, but we'll have one open in Chelsea, Alabama. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we're right for the, the next yeah. one. Yeah, right over the hill. Yeah, yep. exactly. We might get you a Rick and Bubba jersey for that one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that uh-huh. would be good. I got a spot. Yeah. Bubba, do you have a 12 land oh, yeah. anywhere from yeah, baseball? Oh, I got the softball. Really? I got softball jersey. But I'm, no, talking I love it. I'm talking about, not talking about Oh, it. yeah, I got the jersey I wore in high school. Oh, well, what wow. I'm saying is, I mean, really, it'll fit on my arm. But man. it isn't, <laughs> I mean, isn't, uh, yeah, I, you think I can wear 75. But, but here, here's the thing. But what I'm saying is, it's Calhoun County. Shouldn't you just put it in the Oxford? Well, Rick, hey, there it, is some Jacksonville Rick, State it, stuff it, going it, up there. Rick, you know, it's, uh, yeah. You, you, you don't want to get in all that rivalry stuff. I know. I don't I want know. it defaced. I know. Or something, you know. Well, that's true. You yeah. have to be careful. Yeah. You we'll it. wait till we go to Jackson. Let's it's a college let's... town. I mean, Tim's eventually going to get there. Right? Yeah. I mean, this this Buffalo Wild Wings in Oxford is too close to the state. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? People, people, you know, you just, it's, 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 Look, it's, I, I, we got a north spot right now. Right. That, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, you know what's funny about this picture? And I was telling Adler, do you know what that picture's from? That is actually, unfortunately, 
that is the game where my foot gets broke. Yeah, I start saying matter of fact, I'm I'm, sta- I'm standing there already. I mean, defense is off the field because I can see who they are. But but I, I I am standing there injured, about to go back into the game. So a lot of people don't know that's that's my cousin Robbie standing right next to you. See his shoulder right there. <laughs> is it really? Really? I don't well, know. We're going to say it, is. but it could be. <laughs> but uh, but, how, but hey, Sandy Fox got to get back in. There. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I got to get back in. There. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No. Thank that's, you. Well, you had when you made that offer, I thought you were kidding, and you kept on say, talking to me yeah. about it. And I said, well, you know what? I went home and and talked to the family about it. I said, yeah, is everybody ready to give up seventy five? But I mean, you know, in the bind, I could always get. Well, it back. we put up, we try and do some local stuff in each store yeah, we do because yeah. we want to. And and I've got an Eric Davis jersey up there, who's from there. I've got a Kevin Green jersey up okay. there, and now I've got this jersey right okay. in the middle of them all. Well, there, there it goes. Oh, seventy five's coming home. This is awesome. I can give you yeah. some other names off air that you need to get. Okay, yeah. some stuff from. Okay. Now, Eric's from Aniston, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. He is. Right. Right. He played at Jacksonville State. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. You know, he walked on. He, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he uh, play, and then went on to play and like yeah. I said, look, <laughs> oh, thank, oh, Adler's got something. Adler, for you thank too. you. Buddy. Oh, Adler's got something. Oh, location here, Sam. If you guys ever open a five points location, here you go. <laughs> Admiral, the Adler. Admiral. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you know what, Adler? I'm ready to throw that in the Chelsea location. <laughs> uh, so that's close so enough. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when is Chelsea going to open? Uh. Careful. Step yeah, out. It's, I'm it, sorry, just stay out of it, Rick. Tentatively yeah. the ninth. Okay. So. It, it, I mean, it's 90%. Yeah. You've got a couple of hurdles to okay. jump, All but right. we'll get there. Yeah, and to get really local, it's going to be right there beside Tractor Supply, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. That's right. You That's know what they... I like about that? You can go <laughs> and pick up chickens to carry home to put in the yard and then stop and get chicken to eat. <laughs> Isn't that great? I mean, what a, what a combo. Isn't that huh? fantastic? Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> It'd be the closest one to here. That's good. Yeah. Well, every time we add location, that's more money. Uh-huh. That's that, what that I'm we, thinking. That we can raise for the charity. That's exactly right. Tim, thank you, man. Man, Appreciate y'all too. You. This is awesome. Uh, so Make-A-Wish uh, will be benefiting on Monday at participating charity charges. Uh, their information and show notes today, too. Uh, and go check out Mission 44. They just got a $4,300 check from the last charity charge. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Over the weekend, Joseph Roy Matheny, 62, Mm-mm. died in a Maryland prison cell. He was serving two life sentences for murdering two women, but he also had confessed to killing as many as 10 other people back in the 1990s. Mm. Now, the problem is he ran a roadside barbecue stand. You don't do this. He did away with the victims, selling them as barbecue meat. You wow. are... Killing well, the, and meat. the quote was special meat. Mm. That's that's what he would label mm. it as. Mm. 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 That's that's good. Mm. So mm. if mm. you're in the Maryland area and you see this guy on the news and find out that he was in prison for killing people and selling their meat in a barbecue stand and used to stop by, how do you feel? Uh, especially if you ordered a double helping of the special meat. Yeah, can mm. I tell you what I don't understand? I'm reading this story. He begged because, I guess, of the evil that over was over him. He was a demonic, raged, evil person. He was begging for the death sentence. Yes, and, and they, got it. And he got it. And then they appealed it and overturned it and said, no, we want you to be in two mm-hmm. life sentences. Hey, look, if an idiot like this is begging for death, give it to him. Yeah. yeah. I mean – so and now Bubba's wow. made this point, and you were one. He was convicted of two two murders, two females, but he can he admitted uh, to as many as ten others. One of them was killing two homeless men under a bridge with an axe. Right. Uh, those Lord. were dropped due to lack of evidence, but he confessed to them. He's really really fat too. So oh yeah, well, yeah. So you know he was probably dining himself. Do y'all do y'all want the? Um, the paragraph that's going to haunt me the rest of the day? I don't know, Speedy. I, Bubba's already got me pretty good on this. And he said something that is 100% right. If you're seeing his picture right now because he's died in jail, thank thank goodness, 
you see his picture, and in that horrifying moment hits you, hey, that's that guy with a barbecue stand. Mm. We stopped there on the way to fill in the blank. For special meat. You uh, ready? Don't yeah, do you, it, this speedy. quote's going to really Oh, no. Me. I've seen it. Oh, no. Well, I wasn't even going to go said, um, you can't Because you know we're, what we're dealing with here Can't already. even stop and just get a barbecue sandwich. Yeah. Mm. No. He said, uh, I had real roast beef and pork sandwiches, and um, they weren't very good. He said the uh, <laughs> human body tastes very similar to pork. If you mix it together, no one can tell the difference. Thank you, buddy. All I right. can. Mm. You know, I've heard this. This is a number of times I keep hearing this. Mm. That it's, that it's kind of a pork situation. Oh, Rick, come on. Well, I'm just telling you. Stop it. Mm. Good night. What's this picture right here? Yeah, well, he's, he was known as the um, obese. Well, he, he, he flaunts his obese, fat, doesn't he? The obese killer. Did you see that tattoo you got in the front? Yeah, I did. Well, it's a yes, it's a, I did. It's a big belly. It makes not, the front look like the back. Yes, it, it does. does. And it, it seems does. like there's a little something there for you too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Good well, gracious, well, alive! Look nice. at that. You can't even have. Mm. Good night. <laughs> can't even just. Stop. I mean, that just just can't even. You stop just want to pass on all barbecue today, don't you? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'll get over it in a day or two, but oh, today yeah. I'll be past it by probably this evening. Yeah, by lunch or maybe dinner. He yeah. said that he would too. He would set up kind of night like, like not on the main roads. He um, no. He would you know like he would uh, like unfamiliar roads. He would set up and and take advantage of the hungry travelers that were coming through. The hungry travelers. That's what it says. There's another quote here. I'm not. I'm no, not don't do that. that. Y'all killing me. Because I got to tell you, well, what, it just confirms what we already know. Yeah, but but guys, you you do realize there are people who are seeing his picture, they're thinking about their trip, and they're thinking about that barbecue stand they stopped there. They go, you know. Man, he looks familiar. Where were we at when we, was that Maryland? Oh, where we stopped? Oh, my gosh. We're, we're going down the coast. And, oh, mm, my goodness. You know, mm. that guy looks familiar. He Man, had a he pretty does. smile. Mm. Mm-mm. Can't even just eat barbecue without somebody throwing you and meat on you. No. Good night. You can't have nothing. Man. That's that is probably one of the gross stories we've ever done. Thanks for <laughs> ever. Bring, thanks for bringing it up and taking the air out of the room. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's tough. Yeah, why to did we that bring that up? Well, I got a question. Well, we didn't I get to it yesterday, it. and I feel like we needed to. Mm-hmm. Can't ask. I hope it's me. not going to be the same one you ask in the kitchen. Don't do. No, that. it's not. Don't do that again. Oh, give good, me. Give me you. Can you give me like ten seconds of bed music? I got to ask y'all a question. What what kind of bed music? What are we? Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba. Me to my knees. Bubba, I can't start another. All right, we're back. 35 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us today. All right, so uh, keeps.com slash Bubba has come on board and glad to have them on the big show. We've done some stuff with them on the podcast and some of our other um, content platforms, but keeps.com slash Bubba now comes to the big show. And I want to take a minute, uh, everybody in the audience who may be concerned about thinning hair, bald spots, receding hairlines. Now, now let me, let me, I know, I know, I, 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 it's not, it may be too if late. If I'd have known this 10 years ago. Good night. It would have, it would have changed, it would have changed everything. Speedy, you missed it by a long shot. <laughs> um, but, uh, but anyway, so, but here's how you know you're, you're ready to listen to what I have to say. Uh, probably when the first thing that you see in the mirror is it is it gotten that point now? I mean, you look up and you go, oh, "Man, my, I, losing my hair is all I can think about." I mean, every time I look in the mirror, that's all I think about. Well, then it's time. Uh, so uh, why don't you make the move to this easy answer? Keeps dot com slash bubba. Keeps dot com slash bubba. They have more five star reviews than any of the competitors. Hundreds of thousands of guys trust them for their hair loss prevention. Keeps.com slash Bubba offers doctor-recommended, FDA-approved hair treatment. And because they're the generic versions, you pay about half the cost. Best of all, you, you do everything online. It's, it's a very simple process. Answer a few easy questions. Snap a couple of pics of the hair. Uh, a licensed doctor reviews your information, recommends the right hair loss treatment for you. Then it's shipped directly to you. Uh, and if you have any questions along the way, you can message a doctor 24-7 and track your progress with their progress tracking tool, and they'll give that to you, so that's easy. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get you a special discount. How does 50% off sound? Yeah, that's speedy savings. 50% off. Go to keeps.com slash Bubba. 
50% off that first order of hair loss treatment. You'll find the link also at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Hair today, hair tomorrow. Uh, keeps.com slash bubba. Hair today, hair tomorrow. Hair, so um, so we, uh, we are done with another charity charge update. Uh, Woo, I'm it, done eating chicken. Greg, I'm telling you. Hey, hey, I, I came out too hot today. Well, we wouldn't know because we hadn't seen you. <laughs> How many well, times have I heard you sit up? on in Tim's lap? Mm-hmm. Huh? No, just be a, be a part of it. Right. I yeah. was. I was eating their chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's a great spin. Great spin. Yeah. I've, I've never in my life seen chicken be consumed like that. And, and, and I, I apparently gave... everybody's favorite was the ranch on all the options. Oh, yeah. The, 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 I thought there must have been 40 little things of ranch, and it's all gone. Oh, no. Uh, no I, way. This all, is it all gone? I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't see any more in there. I just I used did. one. Oh, yeah. I, I, I used about 10. Yeah, I mean, uh, Greg, I, I'm, I, think, I don't think you understand how much. I was much real hungry this morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think... know, we hadn't had onion rings in a while, but they were back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you and we know now. Tim said, Greg, I got good news. Onion rings are back. I said, Yes. Yeah, onion rings are a great breakfast food. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. the uh, I know that everybody that's that's yeah. helping me to try to do better is glad to hear this, but I'm not. Really hurt me when they lost the mini corn dog. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was my favorite. That, that was my that favorite. Was and then one day he just made some for us just yeah. because he that, knows we that, like them. But I don't need them, so it's good that they're gone. And I'm yeah. not going to revisit because I missed the segment because I was stuffing my face. But is, did you really give him your jersey to put up? Oh, yeah. 75 is going. Well, that's what Tim wanted. <laughs> and did you see, did not, we had a picture to go with it and everything. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> you didn't see the picture? I but, saw uh, it at mine. Yeah, right. that, that, was, that was me actually wearing that jersey. There you yeah. go. As far as everybody knows, so far um, as, yeah, far as, far as, far as. I, I think, yeah, no, it looked like it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, I think it was. Yeah, yeah there it is. Um, so a good time. Gary's Gre- 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 old seventy-five. That's before they had the more weird jerseys they have now. I that stretch you over. Yeah. You. yeah, that's old school, right there, bro. That's it. So a good that's time, uh, gang joke, or we kind of raise on each other a lot, and y'all don't even know it. And uh, and I'll make fun of these two when they disappear. Like if we have a guest, I'm glad to make room for yeah. Tim Spencer Buddy, and our new guest. Uh, just okay. There's plenty of chairs. They're, they're just hush. Um, and so I'll ma- I'll make up stuff like I I need them. You know, yeah. but, you know, to get them out of their yeah. their just their sidebar stuff. And so I sent them a text and I said, "Hey guys, I'm stuck. Meaning, I I, my, it. meaning we're <laughs> on air and I'm stuck in this seat and the van is pulled up outside for the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama. I need y'all's help." Nice. Helmsy thought we were kidding. I thought he's because he kids a lot, so yeah, I thought well, he, he's messing with us. I must here have had and, and behind we're sitting the at the table eating wings, yeah. and he's messing with us. All right, so yeah, you know, so I that so I so between phone. the two, I've got Helmsy thinking I'm kidding. Greg hadn't even gotten his phone's well, probably silent. still in here. Gotten it, got and I saw so he walks in the studio. Of course, you know, got stuff all over his face, <laughs> like he's you know, <laughs> been laying in the table, laying on the table. And I said, "Hey, man, did you get my text? I need your help because the curtains were closed." He goes, "What are you talking about?" And you're always messing with everybody. Yeah. So and he said, "What hey, do you mean? You cried wolf you too mean? many times, pal." So he really did need y'all's help. He did, <laughs> he did. and y'all thought, <laughs> but he was he's cried cold. wolf so many times. Right. <laughs> well, I'm messing with y'all a little bit, um, and I'll, I'll admit, I thought you were kidding so much, so I needed to go to the restroom, <laughs> and I. I thought, well, he's just messing with me. I'll go to the restroom and then come out there. I actually could have came out quicker than I did, but I just thought you're messing with. Me. Well, he's all, the best he one does. he ever pulled, and it was it's a little different than this. But my my hat was off too. He's today. I'm not gonna mention name. We were <laughs> in our office, and there was somebody there that was a little long winded, and we yeah. needed him to leave. Right, and we were hung Thank up you, in there, Greg. and uh, we act like we had a meeting to go to with y'all. We said, yeah, we ain't got but just a few minutes. We got to go to that meeting. He leaves. And just when it's time we're wrapping the guy, he sticks his head in the door. He goes, look, I talked to Rick. He said, y'all don't have to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we were stuck. We were. The best one he, ever he said, y'all ain't got to come to it as long yeah. as I'm in there. Yeah. <laughs> that is good, isn't it? It's, it's bad. It's bad. It was, it's bad. It's I, I didn't even get well, mad. It was such a good one. Well, yeah. I was paying them back for the hour that they took off <laughs> just hanging out. Right, and I, yeah. I was jealous. Right. And so I was just a little mean. <laughs> well, Greg, I mean, yeah, there's, no room for me. there's no room for I like how because there's really the only thing be, the only thing better. If y'all want that, me to crowd Tim, I'm fine. You listen, Greg, <laughs> no, what y'all did was perfect. The only thing better <laughs> than somebody bringing food that you're trying to eat while you're doing the show. The only thing better than that <laughs> is if you can just sit at a table and die. Oh, well, you yeah, know, yeah, I mean, yeah. we've never been able to do that. <laughs> yeah, and y'all just sat down and had, and had a meal. Matter of <laughs> fact, it made me want. I was we so talk, ju- We talked state didn't tournament. Have to fix the <laughs> no. we, we talked Hoover football coaches. <laughs> yeah. We talked. We talked tennis coaches. We talked. Uh, we talked show. Yeah, uh, oh. we talked what we met. I mean, we had a nice little yeah. catch up session. It we was so about bad. It was so bad that I said we ought to start a start a podcast where <laughs> we eat buffalo wild wings at a round table. I don't know what the name of it is, yeah, and we just fine. talk. 
I, I wasn't going to say that's what y'all were doing. I was going to say round table. Somebody already took it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They sure. said the same thing. Oh, yeah. the, but so you would rent me been there in that old Kiwi seat? Oh, we got seats around here. Just support. But you know how difficult it is. <laughs> I did. To try I could to look eat, at the monitor like, in here I doing know, that. And I, I mean, they were set up like where you could show <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then, I look back at the monitor. Yeah, they still do. At one time, I think they thought they were at Buffalo Wild Wings. We did. We actually did. That's. But the. But I know. I yelled another pitcher. Another. Bring us one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Only thing missing was a ball game on TV. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I, I really do think y'all forgot we were at work. We did. Completely. We talked about that a little bit. <laughs> right. yeah, it's really comfortable, that little area we have yeah, right there. Nice the lights hilarious. are dim. Yeah. Uh, once Bubba yeah. gets all, he gets pictures up. So that, yeah. Yeah. I am quit putting the Comrex on the table in the middle of everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah we only got did one you put table. it back on there? No. Nah, uh, like, I am a little concerned about something, though. You know when you get real full, uh, you get kind of sleepy? Yeah. You look a little sluggish right I now. I do, and look, and I'm, I'm kind of bloated, so we're going to be changing some tires out here in a minute. I'm not going to be very good at it, I don't think. Uh, I'm be I don't struggling. think I could get a tire up right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well you're, you're carrying There's a tire. Two tires, <laughs> yeah. two tires bumping into each other. Right. <laughs> now, I always brag that as far as, like, if you have a, a tire change on your personal vehicle, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of like the dad on Christmas Story. Time me. Right, you know, yeah. uh-huh. but this is a different level. This is, it. and I have no <laughs> idea what I'm let me doing. Ask, let me ask this: ask you this, Greg. Do you like? I don't hear that ring. Do you? Do you kind of like? Because I, w- I watch this too. Do you? Do you like try to dress out a deer as fast as possible and change a tire? Are they in the same world? Yes. <laughs> Those two things you like to say: time, time, and go. <laughs> and I'm starting, <laughs> starting now. Uh, but but the um, but w- can I ask y'all one thing about because you know this area out here that we're getting kind of set up and. Bubba's doing a good job. He's I wish I'd get all pictures. Pictures. Yeah. No, he's getting organized. He's getting it's organized. Not I mean, it's almost over now. He's got it. He's got a game plan now, mm-hmm. and it's coming together. But listen to this. Now, one day these will be set up, um, probably sooner than later after yesterday. But anyway, the uh, <laughs> really. But anyway, Must the uh, oh, wow. the but but listen. The other thing is this. I noticed because they moved in this building, our part of the building called the broadcast company that that we're partners with. They moved all their people to another location. Yeah, we and, showed up, everybody left. And it's freed up a lot of office furniture. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I noticed, did you notice in the kitchen? The table. Mm-hmm. That, that table is not as big as That's the one that, nice we, one. that we can't, that is too big. Perfect yeah. room. I'm going to tell you, I, I mean, I know they put it in the break room. They probably don't want sure. us to take it. But when I saw it, I thought to myself, that's the perfect table for us. Well, right we've now. got it some is. other options if we want. Yeah, there, yeah. there's more options yeah. just and, like that. And I know oh, that half of that. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but uh, we took one out of the newsroom in there that, that would work, too. They'd come okay. out from the wall. Yeah, and but this, this one's sides. perfect, yeah, though. Absolutely is. perfect. Don't look in the kitchen. And, and let me tell you yeah, this. Yeah. Half that. I'm not saying I'm going to take it, but no, there may but, be another one like No, that. guys. No, half, I think there is, Rick. Half that break is. room's going away because they're building out offices on that side. Have, they're not going to And I think we ought to just take it, bring it in here. Yeah, and they're not, not going to be able to fit well, it in here. I agree. Agree. Can I have that well, candy we machine do. in my office? Yeah, go ahead. Because there's not That guy's going to come stock it. They don't actually need. That we'll bit. just just take our round table, That's put it. it in there, That's and we'll it. take swap them. Hey, yeah. and if we do it, so and don't say anything, they'll Nobody. think management did it, Absolutely. and and it'll be good. It's the perfect. Things. It's the perfect little conference. All right, let's do now. that. I got two. Qu- I got a question. And yeah. Greg wanted because he thinks we get more food on. It. Absolutely. <laughs> on these, on when we it have Buffalo perfect, Wild Wings. Right. I'm uh, serious about doing that. Have y'all seen? You know the the water machine with the big plastic bottle. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. First of all, nobody's here, and they just delivered like twelve or fifteen bottles. Did y'all see them in there? I did. did yeah, I couldn't miss the guy. That's no drink the, all, have you seen the Greg, guy that brings them? I was getting to yes. that next. Have okay, y'all seen? I didn't know you were going to go Greg, here. We're on the air. Greg, I don't know. He's we're, proud of it. There, I mean, he, he, he better be. Proud of he it. His be. hair looks like it's a hair version. If he had one of them giant water bottles on top of his head, it's like a beehive. No, he, he does. does. It, it looks have a like a on hornet's nest. You think he's on top of his? He must be. He. I mean, you don't walk around like that and not want people to. You can't comment. Stare at it. And he was bringing those water jugs the other day, and I honestly, I I didn't mean to stare. And we made eye contact, and you can see my eyes going up to the top of his head. Because there was a beehive. No, yes. no. No, Rick, yeah, see, yeah. you're not exaggerating enough. You, you think, tall. oh, he's got his hair I'm up. Like, yeah. Right yeah, here, that's honestly. It. Are you talking it, like it, a five-gallon bucket? Is my, is oh, my hand high enough? I've never, I didn't know you uh, could close. do this with hair. Really? Yes. I, it, it comes, and it's it's like a double. It goes in, and then in. It's like two. Now, Greg, the, wow. the extra bottles are for our archery competition. Now, that's, <laughs> now you're on the side. Hey, that's for next Wednesday. Yeah. That, Rick, honestly, that's, that's not looks, that that's much the, of an exaggeration. Yeah. Oh, come right on. He's a conehead? I'm just telling you're you, I've never seen anything now. like it. Yeah. He come walking down the hall, and I was like, <laughs> pointing, and everybody else, they were used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm startled. <laughs> we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I, 
I'm going to text the group. I'll text you. Give me are a you, second. Are you want me to stop the show so you can say something to us off the air? <laughs> yeah, kind of. No, not just really. Hey, hold on. I'll text it, it to the group. It can't be said on the, on the air after what we've already said. I don't want to hear it. Texting it now. Oh, no. You know, everybody I, get your I'm phone. not looking. Get your phones out. Mm. I don't Good night. You know we're sitting out. right here. I know, mm. but I can't say it. I feel good. Rick, the great state of Washington, the city of Olympia. Imagine you're at a busy intersection and the coroner's van in front of you, the back door flies open, and out comes two gurneys, one with a body strapped oh, to it. Oh, no. You no can't way. even. The gurney uh, contained the body mm. of a person who had just passed away that the coroner had picked mm, up, but mm-mm. it got loose in the turn and went running down no. the street of a busy intersection. No yeah. way. That sounds like a movie, doesn't it? It does. I mean, that, how many times have you seen that I'm movie? picturing Dom DeLuise chasing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dated myself, but for those of you from our era, you're laughing. Yeah. Um, they said officers rerouted traffic in the area while the coroner's uh-huh. office was notified and returned to load the gurneys back into Victor. the van. Mm. Now, get this. It says uh, that the coroner's office notified the family, mm. uh, and they said there was no trauma to the body. Mm. So the gurney kind of held it together? I, mm. But Landed on its legs. Rick, how? I, I mean, I mean, well, you weren't going to change the situation. Yeah, I mean, one, what difference does it make? Yeah. And two, why would they say that? You know it come tumbling out of a gurney. Something was messed Guys, up. Guys, I'm sorry. There's one thing, though, you, you, you mentioned in that. Notified the driver. You had to come okay. back. When how did how did that happen? Picture that. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Did you lose something? Hey, man. What are you doing? You know he's a dandy. Just trying driving. to get this stuff back. Hey, hey, you, you lost some pretty pretty important cargo. Look in the back. You ain't got anything back there. It's all rolling through traffic. Yeah. Corner of Fifth is blocked up. Right. Really traumatizing for everybody. He was trying to get back to check his Instagram account or something. You're one hundred percent right. Mm. Golly. So anyway, can't even die decent. How about this? <laughs> like something right happened. You have me, nothing bro. in the gurney to the big house. If you could put one sign on that body as it rolled through traffic, can't have <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> can't even get put to rest. Well, that'll be a lawsuit there. You sure count on that one. Oh, yeah. People love for the loved one to roll through traffic on a gurney. Oh, who yeah. don't like that? Everybody loves that. You know, somebody yeah. said, I'll just get it back in there. Everybody saw it. It's hard to put yeah. a price tag <laughs> on embarrassment, but some attorney will. No. I, yeah, thought, sure. I thought yeah. dropping that couch that time was a big deal. Yeah. 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 No. no. Oh, gosh. There's man. a lot of cargo you can't let get away in traffic. This may be up here at the number one spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that can't happen. You know what? <laughs> Boy, that's on the can't happen list. You know, if you're working for the coroner's office, now, guys, I'm seeing some things that shouldn't happen. Let me get into my list of things that can't happen. Number one, letting a body go out the back of the truck into traffic. That cannot happen. I I know most (laughs) doors you shut and then you lock them, but you would think on that particular vehicle they'd be like a combination lock on the back. I mean, you couldn't. You you have to work to get it open, you know? Well, it could be. I mean, it might have been heavy cargo. Way it busting them doors open. May have been. Busted them doors. <laughs> Which means it also was picking up some speed, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, you know it. Was. Now, well, if they, it did they, hit and not Rick, roll, that was impressive. You know how you sling a skier up on a pier? You know that going around that corner, they slung that thing out. No, oh, no telling. Goodness. That thing went end over end down through there. Well, and they're claiming there was no trauma to the body. Well, yeah, what, like Bubba said, what are they going to say? You know what they said? Hey, hey, is, is, is Larry all right? You know what? We looked at the body. I, there's no trauma. Well, and we see it. Nah, well, that's good. Yeah. They didn't really look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Be fine. <clears throat> and we'll see y'all on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You know, you you see, see. Everything's mm. fine. That's wow. all. That is horrific, too. Isn't it? Terrible. Well, it's awful. Well, it's nine o'clock hour. It's been a real. It has. It's real it's been uplifting, uplifting. <laughs> hasn't it? <laughs> it's, yeah. Really uplifting. Want to really, really get you going on a good rainy day? I it? guess this hour's entitled. See, things aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you thought your situation was bad. How about that? Let's transition, if we could, to Barry Bonds. Yes. Oh, really? Uh, Barry Bonds. Did he die? Well, Bubba. he said that. Uh, well, I didn't know what the transition was. <laughs> well, he's saying. Yep, and they dropped him right out of the back of the hearse. <laughs> on, the 10th of the, on the 10th anniversary of him breaking the all-time home run mark, which nobody seems to want to acknowledge that that yeah. actually happened. <laughs> yeah, that, nobody gives him credit for it. He said that he wished he had played one final season. He thinks he may have hit the 800 mark. Now, how many has he got? It's a bunch. 762. Hmm. That's a lot of home runs, though, in your final What'd year. What Hank have? Uh, 735 or something? No, 747. Something, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, what, what was, are we, are we giving what it was the record he broke? 714 is what he wrote. Oh, we got a weather service update. Are we okay, Greg? 
Flash floods. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I know I should give flash floods more, but I don't. I know. I'm not yeah. that scared of them as I should be. Well, I mean, it really can be but a bit, 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 yeah, bit yeah. Darn Especially right pretty be. close here at the studio. It is eight minutes to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. 866 We Be Big. Thank you for being with us today. Wednesday Bible Study Back. A noon Central Time, 1 o'clock Eastern today as we continue to walk through Genesis. Genesis 16 today. Uh, and then it will be made available on an archive soon after. And you can consume that uh, on your own time if you so desire. Uh, and links will be provided on all of our social media platforms. Themanchurch.com, a lot going on. Uh, it's already been busy this week. But, boy, does it continue. Andy Blanks will be speaking at Valleydale Church, my home church, Thursday night, 630 Man Church at Valleydale. You can be there. All you have to do is just come. There's no ticket. Uh, we don't have to worry about a meal ticket, nothing like that. Just come and enjoy. We start at 630 local time. Uh, on Friday, Brian Gunn will be in um, uh, at Harmony Baptist in Avon, Indiana. Uh, they're continuing the men's discipleship strategy there, too. It's their next man church. That's Friday night. Uh, in Avon, if uh, if you can get over and enjoy that at Harmony, then three man churches on Saturday the twenty third. Helmsy's going to Satsuma, Alabama. I'm going to Gordo, Alabama, and uh, Scott Dawson's going to Morris, Alabama. I'm sorry, Warrior, Alabama. Uh, find all those details by looking at themanchurch.com under upcoming events. And speaking of Helmsy, he'll be headed to Satsuma on Saturday for a man church. I like Sat- that name. Satsuma. Satsuma. Yeah. Satsuma. Yeah, so he, uh, Helmsy is, is back. Satsuma. Uh, Sat, Greg, you ever been to Satsuma? Have not, I don't think. Never been there. So uh, Helmsy will be there coming up uh, at First Baptist Church there on Saturday. I mentioned Warrior Alabama, Dawson Saturday. That's Crossroads Church. They've been doing the strategy. And then I'll be at Highland Baptist Church in Gordo. Uh, so all that's coming up in the next, what is that, five man churches in, in the next uh, four days? Yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a, a bunch going of on. there's a lot going on. So you're back from the big tourney. How about that? Did you uh, see somebody from Satsuma down there? I did. I sure did. Took a picture, and uh, they're coming to Man Church uh, this next weekend. MC. So looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Hey, it was it was fun. It's um, gosh, you feel like you had to come here to kind of relax. Uh, <laughs> That's so true. But you and Greg were really relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. Didn't realize I was walking into a bunch of chicken, which was excellent. A lot yeah. of chicken. Um, You're kind yeah, of congratulations. I am. Congratulations to Vestavia Hills uh, 7A state championships for both the boys and the girls. How about and that right there? I happen to have kiddos on each of the teams. Braden is a sophomore now and plays for the boys team. And obviously, Caroline, a freshman, and on the girls team. And a lot of success and uh, hard work that's gone into it. I want to thank Coach Oliver Aaron on the boys' side and Timory Fisk on the girls' side. And how you manage these kiddos uh, the way you do is, is awesome. You keep them uh, accountable, and your leadership is, is just – you can tell it's, uh, it's good for, the, for, for both sides of it. Now, you know the girls. You can't go anywhere without a little drama. Oh, yeah. That's and impossible. And so that's yeah, all yeah. – you, you know, know, it's so funny. I get to see both sides of this. And most, we're the only ones that do that. We're the, we're the parents that get to see what's going on on the boys' side and what, we're kind of always in tune to what's going on. And the boys are so loving and encouragement. They, it's almost like they don't even care if they're out there or not. They just want to be around each other and hang. And, you know, when they, everybody's cheering for each other and winning. And then the girls, you're going to get a little drama. That just comes with girls. No way it's it. nothing against the Ain't Vestavia. No it's every girl's it. team it's in the state. Mess. Every girl's team comes with drama. It's Spoken chick- as a so, day. Matter of fact, right. matter of fact I, said, I said the biggest victory we may have all weekend for the girls is to get through the trophy presentation without drama. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, Tardy, and so, Tardy, but no, so congratulations to, to both the boys and the girls. They've, uh, you know, I, Bubba, if this is Bubba's fault that we've turned into a tennis family. Yeah. Do you realize, oh, do you realize the obsession that my Ooh. family has with tennis? And Maddie, I hadn't even gave you all this up. She's not even riding horses anymore. She what? stopped doing that a couple weeks ago. She's all in on tennis. And you needed that. I did. <laughs> Um, and you so could, she could have did polo. It's kind of like dance yeah, on a horse. Yeah. Did yeah, she yeah. get all the hand me down stuff? Yeah, 
Yeah. But tennis or yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah. Young, the youngest. Well, yeah, you know that always sounds good, but by the time it comes around to her, it's old. old. They want their new stuff. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, there's. Let me tell age. you though, that tennis trail is not near as expensive as that horse trail is going to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're, you're right. It's expensive, but not not near. Mm-hmm. You got to feed them, right? But, uh, but Bubba, Bubba's <laughs> to blame for all. Got to feed them. Straight. Oh yeah, Bubba's. Uh, yeah. He's, Bubba's ruined a lot. Of Bubba lives. and Tracy Calzy <laughs> are the ones that got me into tennis, and y'all know me when I run with something. Oh, you're squeeze it to death. He will. Will. And so. <laughs> Nike, <laughs> and, and so now it's turned into Braden and Caroline. They've been doing, matter of fact. Amanda sent me a picture of Braden this morning when he was, he couldn't have been. I showed Greg Speed. He couldn't have been two or three um, yeah. with a little bitty tennis racket and just hanging out. And now holding that big seven A trophy is pretty special. So, uh, and then Caroline, she actually uh, she won her um, court. Uh, six singles. Uh, so uh, as a ninth grade, as a freshman, yeah. The 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 girls' team's pretty special because they've got four freshmen in the top six. Which, when you look at the next couple years, they yeah. could be on a really special ride. Um, and the boys are young and deep too. But the the girls' team is. Uh, you look at them. I look at them a little different just because of what they were able to accomplish with four freshmen. Um, so. A lot of fun. I enjoyed how, how it. How do you? I just remember, you know, having two that were that were only thirteen months uh, or fifteen months apart. Uh, I remember them playing like at, at a field in, on two different baseball fields: one softball, one baseball, and trying to stand up. Mm-hmm. Literally, one yeah. time getting on the top of a bleacher and trying to see one field and see the other. How, how do you watch you know what's two funny of them like is, that? How's it uh, work? I actually had a dad on the boys' team come up yesterday, and he goes, "You know what? You do a really good job at keeping mm-hmm. up with not only what's going on with your two, but yeah. both teams at the yeah. same time." Yeah, that's tough. And but it's again, it's years of experience. I mean, guys, for six or seven years now, we've done nothing but uh, I call it travel tennis because that's what we're used to hearing. But these USTA tournaments, oh, yeah. now it's UTR. Uh, you have both of them. We're traveling all over the southeast for these things. And so I'm used to what, having one on court 36 when the other one's on court 14 and having to go back and forth. Or even worse, one be at one facility and one be at a different facility. Oh, yeah. And so mm. you need a drone um, I really do. You know, just yeah. stand at one court really and put did. the drone over the other. Right. Hams, I, I have to tell you, I was jealous this week because I kind of miss being in Mobile. You know, we, we got to do that for six years in a row as an assistant coach. You think you miss it? Think how those restaurants missed yeah, you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you were but really I, I, was, I was a little envious. I, I really wanted to get back because it's such mass confusion. Yeah. And, you know, the cream rises to the, to the top, and it's always a lot of fun. I've told the kids, listen, you win it this year, you get a social media post. So I did that from the Rick and Bubba accounts this morning. But I've promised them, if y'all repeat, in studio for an interview. How about that? I'll probably have to collect. I mean, they'll they'll collect. <laughs> you hope you do. I, you do. I do. I do. That's a win-win. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.
go. Uh, it is six minutes past the hour from the No Name Studio. It is the Rick and Bubba Show. We got Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy. They have left the No Name. They are now out in the parking lot here at the new uh, new corporate building where we are housed. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. How you doing, buddy? Rick, glad to be here. Honored and privileged. And today we're going to learn a little bit about changing a tire we, in a hurry. We're going to change tires in a hurry. Speedy check one two for Speedy check check one two. Yes, sir. All right, How we are you? we got Speedy. You want me to try Helmsy too? Helmsy, we're testing wireless mic. Wireless mic. Testing, testing. one two. Testing one two. Okay, you hey, sound you, great you, coming you, this you, way. You hearing yourself? Okay. Uh, not really, but okay. uh, all right. All right. That's what that, we needed to know. It's that's in what, and out. It's in and out. That's what we have to know right there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, so Greg's out there too. The uh, yeah. we, we we've got of course the race is coming up uh, weekend of April 29th uh, through May 1st at Barber Motorsports Park. It is the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama, uh, and uh, we we have a uh, Carl uh, Hartle and uh, Jesse Cash. Uh, that are here today, and of course, Carl's with the Honda. He's the race team leader, uh, and also we have uh, uh, Jesse here, who's uh, you know helping promote what's going on. He, he's more on the business, on the business side. Uh, and uh, so, uh, Speedy, what do we have set up out there, and what, what's about to take place? Uh, we also, uh, who just came up, Samantha Davis uh, is here as well. Uh, she is in uh, charge of uh, PR, but it's the Racing for Children's uh, Honda van, and it's really kind of cool because Honda teamed up with Children's of Alabama. It's a it's a voluntary staff, voluntary staff. Is that right? Come over here, Samantha, where you guys all volunteer for this. Of course, Carl heads that up, but it's a pretty neat little thing, isn't it? Yes, the Honda race team is made up of all Honda associates. Carl leads our team, and so they're Honda associates by day and race team volunteers in the evenings and on the weekends. But this is actually, Carl, come on over. This thing actually races. I mean, I mean, you guys. No, it doesn't race. Around, right? Yeah, we've taken it all over the country to different racetracks, competed against all sorts of different cars, and, and actually podiumed with the cars. Oh, so wow. it's very, very capable. Yeah, it's got race seats and everything uh, inside, uh, harnesses and all that kind of stuff, guys. I wish you could see Speedy, it. Speedy, I do. I'm, I, it looks like a minivan. I mean, I, I mean, I know I'm, it does because I've raced. Know, a, mean, you know, when my kids were all, yeah. you know, at home, I, I, my minivan beat a lot of folks out there on Saturday. No, Rick, you mean a swagger wagon? A swagger wagon? Yeah, my goodness! Yeah, yeah, I will tell you this: they they have turned a minivan into a swagger wagon. It's what y'all have done, because Rick, you're not you're not like miss seeing things. It's a minivan. Yes, it's absolutely a minivan. Uh, suspension, six piston brakes, roll cage, seats, harnesses. Uh, it, it it is a race car, though. That's kind of that's kind of <laughs> awesome. so explain to us. What are we going to be doing? Because Greg and I have no idea what we're doing here. Oh, we're going to have you take our street tires off and put our race tires on. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll see if you can be our pit crew for us. Oh, okay. Boy. I could. So, so tell us what, for those of you that are that are. Greg's regretting the chicken right be, now. I know. What, what are we going to be using here? So you've got some electric impact wrenches, and you'll have five lugs you need to take off. You'll need to remove our street tire. Um, put the race tire back on, and then put the uh, five lug nuts back on the studs. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know if we have long enough to the break. Well, this. can, can, um, can y'all right. just do it one time and then do it for speed, speedy? I mean, because you need to practice, like, just get the feel right, so, of it. So, so we got, we got so, so the bottom is, is on, yep. and then the top is, is loosening. Right. Okay, tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen. Okay, okay. Helms, can Look, I Greg's my checking phone? it out. That's what we're going to do? Yeah, Greg's been yeah. cheating. He's, I wouldn't stand behind some, Greg, as a matter of fact. He's been giving some private lessons. I saw that. I saw it. So, um, so, so, so bottom is, is tighten. Top is loose. I can right. dial that in. All right, Greg, you ready? Yeah. Dana. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing oh. here. You have any idea? All right, they're setting up now on the side of the car, though. I, I mean, they're ready to go. Hold on. Oh, hold on, Greg. Somebody count us I'm, down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count you down. Greg, this, so wait, it, wait, bottom is, is tighten. Top is loosen. Carl, why are you laughing? Uh, you hold on, Carl. Greg. Carl's laughing. Hey, Greg. Hold on, Greg. Greg's a cheater. Hey, Rick, did Greg cheat when y'all were growing up? Every Greg? time. Every time. Yeah. All right. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Let me go three, two, one. Yo, no. Okay. Hold on. Is that what you want? Yeah. Three. Hey, Greg, Greg, top is tight and bottom's loose. <laughs> okay. okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, there they go. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the, electric ones, one. the electric ones don't make as much Does that make, Does that break your heart a little bit? Well, I, it I, does. Yeah, yeah, the electric ones, you can't even hardly hear them. He's got three. 
I mean, you got good. Four or five. All right, all right. Tires are coming off. Uh, He's got it uh, off. Oh, there, 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 there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that tire was so much heavier than they thought it was. All right. <laughs> Especially on your knee on uh, asphalt. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, they're having trouble lining oh, they it up. They can't. Lock up. Speedy just cussed. <laughs> Greg, uh, Speedy did cuss. Oh, they're, they're, he did. They're, they're, all right, they're oh, trying. Wow. Greg really is have wishing. All the time lining he, them up. he didn't have chicken, right? Look, now. lining them up is the problem. Look, they, they, they try to get oh, these wow. tires lined up. This has, We're, I mean, second, Greg, I think, is in the lead, but Speedy's leading in cussing. <laughs> Look, they're trying to figure out how to get it on there. They can't oh, get the tires. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it, it was a little more complicated, didn't it? All right, look, look, look. No, no drink. Okay. Speedy's no on. Speedy's uh, uh, on. Both got him on. He's uh, going. For, on. He's going for the tightening. Yeah, there they go. So they've they both got him on now. That that oh, was the big. Greg going with a different strategy than Speedy, by the way. I think oh, so. oh, different strategy. Different, yeah, different strategy. strategy. Oh, okay. Oh, I like where you're going with that, Greg. You yeah, got to hold your hands up when you're done. Yeah. yeah. Up on it. All right. They're 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 they've oh, just about that. got it. They've just about got it done. I think you're right, Greg. I think you're right, Speedy. Greg. Speedy's got one to go. Yes, yeah, so what Greg did, he put all his own. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and and and, and now he's now he's. And oh, spe- Greg's got one stuck. No, uh, here we go. Speedy's done. Speedy's done. Oh, it was Speedy close. By, oh, by it, was close. it was Speedy close. It was close. It was very close. All right, so we had a socket issue. Well, Greg, if and buck with candy and nuts, we'd all have a merry Christmas. Uh, Speedy, I believe you got him by a second. I mean, it was I mean, it was down to the I, Oh, Speedy, Greg just got Speedy with the actual drill. <laughs> That's it. Right, it's all it up was the worst part. By the way, I felt like we didn't do that good. No. Okay. We're, um, Carl? Ryan, what up? Come right here, buddy. So right to the camera. 42. Minute 42. Um, would a minute 42 get us on a pit crew? I think we need more practice. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Oh, man. Well, Speedy, yeah, we can come I back and do it again. Know. Is just put the tire yeah, they put the tire on is the key. It's, that's the hard part. I had to actually sit down like I on my butt. Yeah. Got to figure it out. Yeah. I did warn you. Yeah. That's going to be the hardest part. Is that why, be honest, is that why you were smiling? Oh, uh, no. You, you guys did great. Right. I'm sorry, Greg. He cussed a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Speedy, that you. Uh, Speedy under duress. Hey, Speedy, well, let's do it. Speedy, let's do it one more time. Yeah, y'all catch your breath. Yeah, let's do it one we'll more time. We'll go to break yeah, come we'll, back and do it again. We'll, we'll do it well, one more time. I mean, you got to put my seat tires back on. Okay. Yeah. Well, Greg, the key. All right, so, do me a favor. Yeah. Instead of if you could just stop laughing for a second, <laughs> how, what's the secret to putting them back on that you that you said? Hey, there's a secret. It's, it's not a secret, but getting like getting your eye level low and just yeah. lining those up. Because if you if you try to you know kind of go from the top, yeah. you'll you'll never get the studs lined up. All right. So here we go, Hamza. We got to get them on for the break. Oh, then y'all gonna try it before the break. Okay. Speedy, you gonna wait and come back? Do y'all want to? Y'all want a, a little breath? Y'all want to wait and come back or do it now? Huh? You want to wait? That's, you want to take a No, if Coach Burgess is here, we'd do it now. So let's do it now. All right, let's do it now. All right, let's go. If it yeah, only takes a minute. Based on the time that you took before. Well, a minute 42, we can be, we'll can we be over by a minute. So if, if they do it, they may do it slower. Hold on, I want to time y'all. All right, ready? Go! go. All right, they're, now they're trying to take these tires off. Correct. And they're going to put the – it's their speedy again. So I thought speedy, was, it's not a Navy drill. I know. I thought since Speedy started running sound at church, he'd do better. It's, it seems like it's taking. Maybe he's not listening to the message. You think that's it? Too, he's too caught up in trying to get the sound right. You know, sometimes when you're working, it's too, it's too much Speedy. In it. Well, you know how when you get oh, working, sometimes look, the service Greg is way ahead. Greg's oh, way ahead. Wow! wow. Yeah, boy, Greg, Greg's, uh, look, look, Speedy's trying to catch up now. Speedy's rushing. All right, there Greg we go. He's got his head up in there trying to get to the He tire. does. There it is. Just top of the crack to Greg. Oh, wow. We got the paddle. Yeah, there, 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 there it is. We got Speedy just. Speedy moved back ahead. Yeah. Getting the tire on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting the tire on is, is a big issue. Uh, Greg's going yeah. for the lug nuts now. I can't, I can't figure out if Greg is putting a tire on he's pl- or he's doing plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Greg's going full blown. I'm putting all the lug nuts on. Uh, you, you, you you can see, he, and, and he's just going to go. He, yeah, he's going to go. Let's see where they're going. Yeah. That, they're, they're coming. And he's coming around. It was now. a minute forty-two before. Done. Yeah, yeah. Speedy's yeah. done. Yeah, so Speedy was quicker. Seconds quicker than last yeah. time. Yeah, Speedy Whoa. broke his own. I mean, uh, the minute that was much quicker. So let's take a break and see if they knock forty-five more off of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a break. Do it one more time. Speedy, we're gonna take a break. And now that y'all know what you're doing, do it one more time. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, well, uh, Carl, Samantha, Cruz, thank you all. And uh, it's, it's really Speedy, we're going to do it again. <laughs> Two more times. Speedy, one more time. <laughs> I know what you do. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not breathing hard as you are. <laughs> hey, I don't think great, you can hear us. Uh, hey, thanks a lot, guys. Oh, Be there for the, the, the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama. Get your tickets at IndyAlabama.com. It's all in show notes. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Terry was at. It is the man who was once sued for sounding like himself. <laughs> Credence, Credence Clearwater Revival. Oh, oh sweet, babe. sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah, Rick, glad you're here. Uh, I was prepping uh, all morning for a round of Bubba Rama. Let me tell you, uh, I don't know. It, it, it has to, at this point, start getting sad yep. for, the, for the audience. To, you know, it, it, it reminds me, I hope we don't get to the point where, and, and I hope he's not listening because it, it, I would be terrified to go to the truck, but when I saw Mean Joe Green play one year too many, you know what I mean? I, I started saying, Joe, you, you just you can't move like you mm-hmm. did. Uh, you're not getting down the line. You had a lot of injuries. You're limping a lot. Mm-hmm. Watching this show fall apart physically has got to be just difficult. To, is it painful to watch no, and hear? I, I mean, Rick, I think you're looking at this wrong. Okay, I, you're looking at it like a plane that's headed into the side of a mountain. Okay. And I don't think that's the way to look Thank at you, it. Thank you, Bubba. That, that really that doesn't sound good. I, I think what you should look at this, but because simply our ability to survive as long as we have Scrappy. doing what we do, yeah. um, it, it, you can't look at it like the kid that got up and hit two base hits first time he was batting. Right. And then he, he, he popped up and right. he threw his bat down and said, I hate this game. Okay. Look, you right. go to the Hall of Fame right. if, you, if you get a base hit three out of every ten times. Right. Which is an outstanding failure rate will you, on in life in general. Will you please make a note of that? Because I need to tell you something <laughs> on that exact topic right there. Um, well, we, we now have uh, on our list of things happening to the show, and I think Helmsy's already been down this road, and now I will follow him on what we call Gallbladder Avenue. Um, so th- this is, and here's the thing: what was so hilarious about this yesterday is that in the aging process, like we talked about, you know, you get injured sleeping. Uh, I had a text from one of our buddies that's having yet another me- another medical test today. I'm beginning to blame him for this. Mm-hmm. And and he every said, time he has something, one of us gets it. And he said he's going to have to have a redo on his colonoscopy. He said, oh, no. which his quote, "I got to get a redo." Yeah, well, no, I'll you, t- you I'll, get one shot on I, that, baby. Let me tell you what, you don't want to know in the break. But God anyway, God so uh, and he he just texts back to me, "Can't wait to the 60s when we all turn 60, but it's going to be great." So. The 50s are banging on us pretty good, which we kind of expected. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll give you the story, but uh, I actually just really, it feels like just moments ago, came yeah. from the. Oh, it's because you did. Yeah. yeah. It, it was moments ago. <laughs> from I took the, a nap, came in. From the emergency room <clears throat> to the show today uh, after having a uh, some sort of gallbladder attack. Mm. And, uh, and what I'm talking about, what's so odd about us, I, I don't know, maybe some of you. You know, and you know, Greg, there's some Burgess in here that, that is, is it's really, I think we have some sort of weirdness, is that it, we got so much stuff going on, it takes us a while to get to the conclusion that we may be in trouble. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so many things that, you know, hey, my knee hurts sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. My foot hurts, sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes yeah. my hip hurts and sometimes it doesn't. So when something starts hurting, it's not an immediate alarm for us. Yeah, it's just kind of like, well, that's kind of a, but that's kind of pain a, of the day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and and you know what we always say: if that doesn't hang on, I'll yeah. just move. I, you yeah. know, I'll, I'll pay no. I believe I'll, it's okay. Hey, Greg, I'll pay no mind to it. So, uh, so if you that, get easy. <laughs> the, uh, I do want to say this today, and I think we've said it, and, and it's very dangerous. And I do want everybody to know that it's dangerous. It's very dangerous, and you have to be so careful with it. I had to have that conversation last night. But I, I just want to give a shout out to the entire team and and just a special recognition to sweet sweet Mama Morphine. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I, I know that that can be a very dangerous drug, and please only use it uh, when doctors are are in charge and saying this is how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. But but there was a time last night when I was in so much pain 
and sweet mother morphine reached out to me and pulled me into her sweet bosom where I was comfortable. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I, I just sat there and said, thank you. Thank you for holding me and making me feel better. And uh, I, when they say the phrase, do not be alarmed, but your head is going to feel like it's about to slam back against the pillow for a minute, mm-hmm. and you're going to get real warm in a minute, and mm-hmm. then you're going to be in a place. I, I can't tell you. You know how you know how I was telling Bubba, because I didn't get to the point that I was incoherent and didn't know what was going on. They didn't give me that kind of de- Twenty-two minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, 866, we be big. Thanks for being with us. And thanks to um, our, our f- new friends, Carl, Jesse, and Samantha, uh, for being sure that uh, our guys got a chance to try to work with the pit crew um, set up the, for the Honda Indy uh, Grand Prix coming up um, this, not, ne- not this weekend, uh, but next weekend. Uh, the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama. And uh, you can get tickets to be part of it. Uh, Tebow will be Grand Marshal, as we talked to him the other day about this. IndyAlabama.com. And, and that, looked, uh, that looked a lot harder than uh, – than was, it, was it a little more difficult? I mean, you're at work. Buffalo mm-hmm. Wild Wings has been here. Mm-hmm. Greg, you, you, know, you set up a, yourself uh, for a, uh, a breakfast table in there. You and Ham has been hanging out. All right. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you and Speedy are out there. Mm-hmm. How, how heavy were the race tires? They weren't bad. It was just trying to line the holes up. Mm-hmm. The, the best way to do it is sit on your butt on mm-hmm. the concrete mm-hmm. and do it. Yeah. How do they do yeah. it on TV? Uh, they, they, don't, they got I a tire this. guy just dedicated for yeah. that. Yeah. They don't, they right. don't sit pads. on their butt. I know that. Yeah, they got a, a, a tire guy that puts it on, and then they – but I know that Indy and um, – uh, and I, I do, do they do it kind of like um, w- would they have four guys instead of two like in NASCAR? You know, you, you have two that run around to each side. Mm-hmm. The, but the it, most amazing thing is the F1 guys that change four it, tires in three seconds. But but is it's are the yeah. F, but is Indy like the F1 happen? guys? Yeah. They are, aren't they? Greg, yeah. they don't change four. Yeah, Rick, t- Rick, it's they unbelievable. Do. They, they Watch come the they come in, they jack it up on the front, <laughs> and then it goes up, and there's there's a person at each tire, and he's like. <laughs> Oh, okay. And yeah. there's one, and you know, NASCAR this year has a one lug nut in the middle. Yeah, it's just one. Just really? one big one. You know what's impressive with the NASCAR uh, guys is that they put what's it on from the side. The, the tire guy that's in charge of putting it on, doesn't he put it on kind of from the side? And the guy uh, that's. I don't know. The guy that's got the. Uh, Greg, I can tell you everything up. But, but no, it's, I, mean, I, I haven't paid that much attention when they. But it, the, the toughest part is what Greg was talking about is lining it up. You can, yeah. you can get somewhat frustrated when it won't go in. Yeah, the 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 yeah. the because it looks like it ought to be, and it mm-hmm. just won't go. Yeah, like one of them is is right, in, but the tires got, turn yeah. just a little bit, so the other ones won't. Yeah, it's when I've had to do one on the side of the road before, it seems like it always will. Yeah, not go I know, either. I know. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Um, I that, like the four way lug nut wrench. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think Carl was disappointed in you? I think. Well, I don't know, Carl. What do you expect? Sure. Yeah, Carl took our information. I, I don't. I don't know time. if if it's because he wants us maybe to. Mm-hmm. Come, well, try, I, come try out for him or if he was just you know i, I think know. the first time he was the second time you both improved you improved yeah. by 45 seconds greg improved by about 35 seconds so i went with a different route on the last one what'd you I do i should have put i was putting the lug nuts on i couldn't remember the first time because we, i would put the lug nut get it started or just get it on there and hit it yeah. well I, for some reason i tried to put all five on it then go back on the last one. Oh, you did because i Your Your yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, on the I first didn't. one, I would just instead of sticking it in there, I'd stick it on there, boom. But this mm-hmm. time, for some reason, I looked get started. and I was putting all five on and then going back. He also back, said an- another the- option is to put it on, yeah, on, on the that. gun itself and then go. Yeah. But how are we how are you on battery guns versus air guns? Uh, it, the battery guns. My, the my battery uh, gun was okay. You, you mentioned that you said it was it, towards it was, the end. Yeah. I could tell. I, right you know, down. It did meh, just a little. Uh, but I mean, it still tightened them up. You know. Do y'all want to see an indie pit change? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, do an F one. We'd love you that. Do the F one. We're, we're talking the, about Indy, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Since it's the Indy it's the race, Greg, Greg, Honda. Right. Yeah. So they love do. do the sound. <laughs> Can I pop oh, this up? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, wait. We had to back it up. See it again. I put it. They even put gas in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build it up. All right. So, good night. Could you imagine standing there waiting? Well, the heat. All right. Yeah. So these guys put them on. Look. Look how quick they put them on, Greg. Wow. One lug. I love how they throw the gun. 
when they're done. Yeah, they got that one lug in the middle. You notice they don't use battery on them. Yeah. Now, did you say that NASCAR went to that one lug in the middle? Yeah, I think the, the car they're driving this year, unless I'm mistaken, it has one lug. Does it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Are you just from being a tire guy that had many lugs, does one lug – I mean, I'm sure it's safe. I wonder how it lines up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It just seems to me. I'd Is it easy to cross one. thread it? Yeah, or, yeah. What if you mm-hmm. booger it up? You know? Yeah. We mm. poor we poor mouthed a lot before we we started, so they weren't expect. You know, the key, and I learned it from y'all, is low expectations. <laughs> Always. And, well, listen, and, I, I thought y'all did so, great, especially cutting the time. Because we've never done that, and it, so we were like really yeah, poor mouthing sure ourselves my, a little bit. And, and, and let's face fair. it, think about who other radio stations they would go to with this. I mean, you guys <laughs> gonna blow them away. Some of them guys couldn't even pick a tire up. No, right, you're right. That's true. That's you are point. so right. That's a great point. They wouldn't know what you into the wrench to hold. No, so we had to take our lug nuts out. But like they probably before NASCAR went to the one lug. Nut, they had the lug nuts glued, glued. on the new tire. They you did. stick it on there. Boop, 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 boop. That'd have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Carl could have glued them on there for Come us. on, Carl. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, you, you guys got it done. You did fine. Well, I, I, I mean, felt. I thought I heard Carl say one time, bless her heart. He did. You know, well, well, anyway, I mean, the first round, especially, we couldn't get the tire on. No. I, I, yeah. I mean, we, we were too light. Have that. Well, I felt bad for Jesse. Because I think Jesse's got to get eye level, yeah. and he's a big fan of the show, and he probably thought, "Hey, my guy, they're gonna do great." Can I? Can I? And t- I think Jesse <laughs> wanted to do it, yeah, as well, yeah. And you know how somebody, I could tell how he was standing. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of wanted a chance at it too, yeah. And they wrapped it up a little quick for him. Do you want to know? And this will really bring you there. The feeling, the feeling of not being able to line it up is like trying to crank something that won't crank. I know, you and you get you, you, know, you hear is that, that, is, that why, is that why your witness said, is still late? Didn't you think I said H E? Didn't you think I was going to others? I was there were two. No. You, was didn't you, you think you I would be the one to do that? I did. I, I, did. I, I blacked did. out. I, I didn't know I said Helmsy, can you go get Speedy's witness to slow down the parking lot? I'm sorry. That just means oh, I got... did y'all hear that MF he dropped? <laughs> okay. Greg. Greg. Too far. Greg Burgess. Did you hear it's disgusting? I did. It was funny, by the way. He would have owned you. I said, you know, I thought him running sound might get him more involved, but I realize now it's distracting. Yeah, I hope they didn't hear that. I said, you know, when you're working, you don't listen to the message. Yeah, it's hard sometimes. Well, the thing about it is, I'm there for both services, so I'm really dialed in for one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like with your Bible work. study. I'll have to go back and listen to a lot. Right, yeah. Well, I, d- I hope you're a little more committed. I, yeah, I wish I comprehended better. Right. <laughs> I wish I comprehended better. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> can't rewind. I'm no, like, hey, Rick, I'm like, oh, that's great. Let me go back. <laughs> uh, let me go back. Okay, you got it. Got it. One I'm more time. I'm let me back it up. <laughs> one more the time. fact you can hold a, a chain of thought together that time of day is amazing. Because I'll tell you, by lunch, I'm I'm kind of burned. Yeah. You know, I need to recycle. I, you know, I I actually uh, I think sometimes uh, uh, I come alive after it's over. Because you know what? That's that's when I'm designed to actually do my best. Yeah, it's not the time that we get. I'd never made a plan that I was going to work during those hours. <laughs> you know, and I was supposed to. Uh, I really think there's no telling what we could have done if we uh, the show was just later in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hey, talking about a, you talking about a midday, uh, you know, extravaganza, Rick? Yes, uh, sir. Carl just called Greg. They're short two for this weekend. I did. Tell him get the right. fire sets out. Right. We'll be back bottom of the hour. Let's go phone calls first time today. 866 we be big all 10 lines are available let's find out what is on your mind and we'll chat with you when we come back Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. it's not like you're getting ready for surgery right. you know they're just trying to get you i love the word comfortable right and which i needed to really needed it and so i um i i kept you know how you see yourself and you know what you're doing you just can't stop yourself from doing it you, you know what oh, i mean yeah. Rick, are you asking me that? Yeah, I know. But, but I, I see my hand go to my mouth right. many times every day. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I noticed, I noticed <laughs> Adler and I even had a talk the, the other day about all of our little phrases. You know, mine is, you know what I mean. That's my big one. You know, Adler is for sure, for sure, for sure. sure. Oh, for sure. And uh, and it's all reassuring. Well, I, I picked up was morphine took me to one that I guess was uniquely morphine. Everything was cool. Hey, man, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. cool. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. And I could hear myself doing it, and I even said to my morphine self, stop saying cool about everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I couldn't stop doing it. Cool. Yeah, now, Mr. Burgess, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. How you doing okay? Uh, we sure are doing great. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um, can I can I put my shoes on? Do I need to have my shoes off? Do whatever you want. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds cool. I like that. Long as I can see the light. Did you do any singing? Yeah, I sang CCR a little bit. Okay. And, and then, so, cool. which is why I played cool. that today, because for some reason, this got in my head. 
you know, I, I think I felt I, like, I, you know, because there's a moment you think, you know, that the sweet Jesus is drawing you home. You know what I mean? You think this this is what it's going to be like when it's all finally over mm-hmm. and you finally are at full rest. So I'll come back and, and we'll talk today. But uh, thanks to the en- entire team um, last night, they could not have been kinder. As a matter of fact, the folks that were helping me are about to get off work in 45 minutes and they say they all listen on the way back home. There you go. I tell you what, the overnight dream team down at the ER, you think that's not the dream team? And you know, I always ask that. I walk in, I say, hey, is this the A team? Yeah. They're like, absolutely. Uh, we'll be back. I'm good. Yeah, I mean. If you need to check out, man, we can. No, we Speedy, can Speedy, and I understand Speedy, because, I, you know, we all look look ahead, just like I talked to Bubba at Ag Nauseam about his heart symptoms. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Everything. Rick. I, I know you have to be you're, – right now you're like, can we just go ahead? Mm-hmm. Um, because you want to know everything about it. That's all I can think about. Rick, Rick, yeah. don't, don't do this because now he will have gallbladder problems. Right. Well, yeah. I just want to know how it started. Once he gets Because at some head, point you he... were just moving along with your day and then you went, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. And I want to know what that uh-oh was. Well, and see, then, a, lo- a lot of people, you know, you, you went and got your CT score, and, and I, I think my episode helped you and a lot of other people well, I know. It, it made me get a physical that I was know. putting off. Now I blame, he's going to worry about his gallbladder. I can credit You'll know you, when it's hurt. I, I can promise. credit with you oh with God. saving God. lives. Like You'll that. know. You'll Let know. Me you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I, I, <laughs> saving yeah, I, it is, it's one of those things where you go, something's got to change. I mean, you, yeah. you, you, oh, yeah. you you begin to say out loud, something's got to change. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's you, what I want. Then you'll try everything to get it to, to feel better. And you think something, for the love of all that's good and kind, something must change. But before it, it just hits you, okay, there was some discomfort. Or did it just mm-hmm. go, for, well, we'll stop. Well, it just, did it go from red, red light to Do you want me to tell light? you about it? Y'all it's up to you. Y'all want to get into it? Yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't, speedy, speedy can't I can't stand it. Do yeah. y'all realize, and, and again, for the past month, this show has oh been like God. a medical show. Oh, my God. We've had to discuss every oh I mean, week. Coming up next hour, Dr. Dina Dale. <laughs> <laughs> I need that one. Yeah. Good. Now, first I forgot about Dr. Hey, Dina Hey, do you want me to run the list? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Up, update it. Wait a minute. Let me get the, I mean, let me because get we've had these discussions, and me, people have caught. Now, look, hey, can we say no calls about gallbladder? No, yes. we want to hear all about them. No, nah, they got them horror stories. We no, no if that. you want to email me, just go greg at rickandbubba.com. Okay. <laughs> Wait for your point. And go. All right, so um, just a really quick history here. Bubba's had sinus surgery, four knee surgeries, two foot surgeries, heart stents. Um, a stent. A heart stent, correct. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, lower back block. Yeah. I didn't know um, about that. Yeah. Did I forget that one? Yeah, you did. Uh, mouth removed I'm, from the ear. <laughs> well, I mean, we wrote it all down. I love that. Uh, you I'll black. never well, that forget was, that. that. Well, Dr. Greg attempted that one. I with tried, a pair of pliers. I tried to help. Oh, multiple medications uh, prescribed by the doctor. Oh, yeah. uh, you passed oh. out, even though you say you, you grayed out. Uh, grayed out. That was, that was a tough out. day. Yeah. Um, but let's that was see. a long time ago. Um, I have had a vasectomy. I uh, broke my ankle. I don't know I had two can. hernia surgeries, uh, skin cancer. Chainsaw injury. Oh my God. Uh, the list goes on. Then I uh, had a CT score, and now I'm on statins. Okay. Um, All right. Let's see. Greg, you've had multiple skin cancer uh, <laughs> procedures. That seems to be my thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've had uh, bad blood work that you're yeah, working through right now. sugar, everything. Lipo. You've that had don't that. count. It that does. was for a promotion. It does. That doesn't count. That's, not, that's not surgery. Went that under. was for a promotion. Patch. Uh, We're talking about things like medical things you have to deal with. Right. It is 35 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us. Lines are available. The first troll of the day is underway. Boy, there's a lot to discuss. Comments, questions, bringing information to the table. It is not designed for meaning the shout outs or shameless plugs. Uh, you can uh, roll in here and kind of take the show in whatever direction you want to go. You're running things now. It's like you're getting to be the person in charge of your neighborhood, homeowners association. <laughs> uh, you get to tell everybody what we're going to talk about. Don't call us. Bing, biddy, dee, doom, 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 doom. So 866 We Be Big. Is the number, and if you move right now, you'll get in. While you're lining up, uh, Helmsy's grabbing the phones now, goodrx.com slash Bubba. Uh, look, prescriptions, I, I just had to go pick up some of mine yesterday. 
Uh, I, I love the feeling of saving money on these prescriptions that maybe, you know, your doctor said, look, this is going to help your situation. Uh, you, you go over to the old budget and you're like, wow, these prescriptions are killing me. Uh, what, what about if you uh, went to goodrx.com slash Bubba and uh, you, you checked to find out where the pharmacy located near you, what they were charging for the same prescriptions that you need. Did you know from one pharmacy to another in your own neighborhood, that the price can vary by as much as a hundred dollars. Come on, uh, come on. So uh, why don't you find discounts that uh, could save you up to eighty percent on the prescriptions that you need? That's what GoodRx.com/Bubba has been delivering. It's a simple, smart way to save on these prescriptions. So check it now by going to GoodRx.com/Bubba. All the biggies are there. Uh, they'll find out what uh, ph- pharmacy like CVS, Kroger, Walgreens, and more are charging, and you can compare them against each other right there in your own neighborhood. Uh, GoodRx.com slash Bubba doesn't cost anything to use. GoodRx.com slash Bubba, a link also at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors button. So uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, Shane is in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Bubba, you got a couple of timeouts over there. Got it. Uh, if you want to use them, but you ain't got but two. So let's start with him. Uh, Shane, you got 30 seconds. Go. Hey, good morning, guys. One day last week, y'all had a caller that was uh, of, of the opinion that the leftists are doing the things uh, to our country. Uh, on, they're doing them on purpose to bring destruction, to bring. And you guys were kind of of the opinion that, you know, I, I don't, maybe I don't really agree with that. Why would they do that? You know, while they have to live in the same uh, country as we do. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I kind of take that guy aside a little bit. I, I think if you, if you look, you know, look toward the book of Revelations, it, it, it's a. Well, what we were saying was, you know, we've said this many times. I've heard Bubba use this. So now I become the king of what? The kingdom that you've destroyed. But then we also said, but a lot of these leftists realize, if you're a true good socialist, that the ruling class will live differently than everybody else. But I still think aspiring to be in charge of garbage is still a, a weird goal. Yeah, I, I don't think we, we stuck a fork in it. We were just saying, show me the logic. What What is the thought process here? And and maybe it's not uh, uh, premeditated, I guess would be a good term for it. Right. Maybe it's just, I believe in these textbook theories of the way things ought to work, and I'm going to see them to an end when they don't work. And, and you just you refuse to pull up, and you basically plow right into the side of the mountain. But we, you're right on on the biblical worldview. We all know that that things that where this is all headed, and sometimes as God made very clear to His own people, that many times He wanted them to know that He was using their enemies, and He yep. was using these evil people to accomplish a goal. And 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 their 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 waging war and destruction was being allowed by him, and he basically said they're not coming against you. I'm coming against you. I'm just using them to do it. Yep. Uh, and there's no doubt that 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 uh, has taken place, does take place, yep. and will take place. Uh, so I certainly understand that. Uh, but we weren't. Yeah, we were just kind of making the thought, almost trying to get people who vote that way to understand what the end game of all this would be. Right. And, uh, but we weren't really saying that we, uh, we didn't drop the hammer. Yeah. But I, but I understand what you're saying. Uh, let's go to Ricky and Vernon. Wait a minute. Ricky. 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 Fired in there, Ricky. Uh, go ahead. Hey guys. Hey, I didn't know if y'all had had touched on it yet or not, but uh, Maxine Waters decided from California side, she needed to show Kay Ivey about the way she was running the state and Kay's response. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, I knew they were having a little dust up online about some things. What is so, that? What uh, are you saying? Maxine Waters getting yeah. okay out of here. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth looking at. <laughs> can you imagine that debate? Seriously? Oh, boy. I mean, can you even imagine? I forgot what it was that Kay Ivey had said she took issue with. Uh, but it was it, it was it was laughable, really, the whole thing. Bubba, let's go to Talladega Super Speedway. Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go to, let's the, do in, it. Let's go to the infield where Mason, oh, yeah. Mason's standing by. Mason, how you Big doing, Mason? Mason. Pretty good, getting ready to roll in the infield when they open the gates up here. Hey, look, are you going to set up by that statue of Greg? <laughs> Mason, where where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. Okay, good deal. So, are you were you familiar with the show, or did you just find it uh, when you come to Bama? Well, I originally found you down here at Paul Baker, but I'm going to tune in and watch you on YouTube. Okay, home. great. Oh, you carried us back home from the infield. 
Yeah, sure well, well, welcome back to Alabama, man. Glad you're here. Beautiful, beautiful day in Alabama today. Very going to be hot. Good weather for but, the weekend yeah, race. Yeah, hot, it's gonna be I'm hot. Out. I think I may it's make warm up. Hey, did you hear me? It's going to be hot. It'll be about 85. Yeah, yeah it's just going. Mm-hmm. We well, need it just a little bit warmer, not a whole lot. Oh, Especially when it, I'd like night. to stay in the 70s, night, just a little bit. No, we don't. We don't. We don't need 85. Yeah, 85 is hot. Right. Well, now we're starting to get warm. So I got to get in the 80s to get that pontoon up to speed. Mm-hmm. We don't need that. I don't want to be cold. Let there. me tell you, today for me is 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 the, is the way I wish heaven would be. <laughs> Feels good, <laughs> Cause, cause, you know, because I know the weather would be perfect, and I wonder right. if, if that's what today was. What yeah, means. Rick, we might not even have weather. Yeah, you're right. We won't. Even, I, it'll be perfect, whatever it is. That's right. I won't be. I won't be upset. Uh, let's go to uh, Emily in Nashville, Tennessee. Emily, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Good morning. Hey, hey Emily. Hey, right, thanks for the call. We appreciate it. What's on your mind? Uh, me and my husband are here listening. We listen every morning to you guys. And Thank just you. wanted to see when the golden ticket seats will be available. Well, I made a phone call about that yesterday. Uh, I too am wondering when they're going to be uh, available. Uh, so, uh, so hopefully, uh, the uh, you know, it, I have no idea, honestly. I mean, I, I really can't answer that question. Well, we we hope in the near future that we'll have these up and operational again. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I I do not know. Uh, that question is uh, is one that. Uh, because uh, step one would have to be them actually being set up and ready. Yeah, right, right. And uh, until that's until step one happens, I probably get and, you a pretty good timeline when that and, happens. And it, we've got a we've got just a little bit of an issue on fitting how we want, it, and we got to make that call and, and yeah. move forward. So I thought we had already made that call. Yeah, well, me too. It, well, not completely because we don't have the end pieces. You know, well, right, I thought we're going to we we're gonna, I thought we were gonna drop two. Yeah, we and got then, two. And then have, well, yeah, you, you could you could do that. Yeah, and uh, so. Uh, Let's go to let's go to Chris in Pensacola. I say add upper deck. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Chris, go ahead. Speedy's mad about it. Very good. How's it going? We're, good. We're great. Uh, I was I agree with Greg. I, Greg was talking about the it is the one lug nut. It is a it's it's look it's the, the center lug nut that goes on the tires. Just one lug nut on the uh, on the NASCARs. Uh, I think it's a lot harder for them to get them off because I think if they don't get them off properly and they come off, they get a penalty and the crew chief gets to set out for three races. Oh, no. Three oh, wow. races? That's brutal. Wow. Well, why, why are you punishing him if, if the guy didn't put it on right? Right. I mean, he's, he's in charge. But Greg. what I worry about, Greg, if you have one that comes off, then your tire's off. And I wonder how many they've had yeah. pop off. If you, yeah. if you lose a lug nut, you still got four other ones to have. Mm-hmm. So. Sure. Yeah, this is one big one. Caleb in Tennessee. Caleb, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? I was just uh, listening to yesterday's episode, and I, I couldn't help but think maybe if uh, Adler tried to get his brother a little bit of Topaz, their relationship <laughs> Oh, so good. <laughs> That'll smooth it right over, let, the gift of Topaz. You, let me tell you what I was thinking to smooth it all over. <laughs> Have you ever thought about uh, the gift of Topaz? Topaz. Maybe. By the way, I did get an email yesterday. People say we're overdoing it. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the callers are, are getting involved. About? Yeah, yeah. They, they are, us, you us, run something into the ground. Right mm-hmm. after that, they they asked me if I'd heard Joe Biden had been in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, let's go to Greg in Columbus, Mississippi. Listen to us on ninety six one. Uh, Greg, go ahead. Hey. Continuing on the Adler thing, you should have got him and his brother to do the tires this morning and see if Adler's testimony had improved. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, what if we looked at special guest, the Adler brothers? <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. Go. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, everything better. Y'all, been, y'all, is it is it better? Um, Luke said that if if I can get a turkey hunting trip out at your place, Rick, then everything will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something now. I'm going to be on the show tomorrow, so mm-hmm. right. hang on just a minute. <laughs> Look out. Big announcement from Gary th- b- tomorrow, by the way. That's right. It, it, Moultrie's even come in. I still haven't figured out his angle. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Talk about... We're gonna talk about. I just said that. Okay, so we're gonna talk about. You got to If you talk about my lipo, then your nose job. We're gonna talk about it. I didn't have a nose job. Yeah, Yeah, you did, Jennifer Gray. Huh? Go ahead. I get nothing. Thank you, man. (laughs) Nose job from Petro. By the way, in that that. What are you talking? Oh, you had cool sculpting. 
Yeah. You had oh, those yeah, shots. I did. I did. I did. I did for the what show. about you, Goozle? Yeah, I'm going to move on to Helmsy. <laughs> um, he's had wisdom teeth removed. Uh, still got them in my office. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not counting that. I at, le- at least two blocks, right? Yes. Am I, am I right how many back right? blocks have you had? Two. two. Appendix? Yes. Gallbladder? Yes. Mm. Vasectomy? Yes. Um, Adler? He's had wrist injuries, stitches. He's had multiple wrecks. Uh, face stitches, no surgery, and high cholesterol currently. And probably needs a vasectomy. And really, if you look right. at <laughs> Greg, Rick, you well, if you look at his age too, that's uh, that that list shouldn't be piling up this quick. No, yeah. you have had uh, blood clot in the leg from a TV, the fellow yeah. bicep tear surgery, yep, yep. Uh, cyst removed. Yeah, that's what that's what um, it has. That was down here. in the lower track. Oh, Staff twice re- requiring hospital stay. Rick, Correct. that may be the worst one to this point. Cholesterol issues Correct. here recently. Oh, I had them on my line. I don't know if I've missed anything. Um, Rick, I think just days spent in the hospital, you're you're winning that. Well, However, I'll yeah. tell you why. Yeah. Because staff, I mean, your minimum is three days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Rick, that, that the surgery you have. Man, and we have yeah. to see yeah. if we're going to draw. But it ought to. We're gonna, if we're going to have to draw an arrow to your doing better weight loss in the situation. Well, that's how I was going to. I was going to. You, you <clears> really led into it because Bubba and I have done a study. And I actually threw this out to the medical team last night, and they did not scoff at it. Let me just tell you that. They, they, they something to it. They they didn't something scoff, to no, it. they didn't scoff at it. And they said, Rick, it sounds like a stat Bubba made up. No, well, I'm just going to tell <laughs> I you. I put this right up there with the speed of light. It's not constant. The reason, why I, I'm at that level. <laughs> the reason why I didn't think that I would be in this category is that my weight loss has not been as traumatic as some people. But they said that the, when people have a big-time weight loss situation, they say especially from the surgeries, you know where they do the yeah. make your stomach yeah. smaller and all that. Yeah. They say they usually gallbladder problems follow that. And Bubba and I have been watching it, and uh, and they and they said what's what's interesting about that is the thing that's supposed to irritate the gallbladder and call, and and irritate the stones if you have stones that are created there are the very foods they're trying to get off of. You know what I mean? So those are the foods that cause it. It's almost like Bubba said it. I know it. I know we're out there, you know, in Rick and Bubba medical team, field, but. It's almost like your body was – you take them away from them too quick and it can't handle it. Well, it's used to working hard right. and then there's nothing to do and it doesn't know what to do. But you're talking about those people, <laughs> hey, I'm gigantic. I had a no, procedure and I well, had this massive – I, I don't know you're how many – somebody just trying to do better, getting in better shape well, to I, have bad golf. But I'm talking about I went in 40 days. I went from like 295 uh, down to like 250-something mm. in, 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 about, in about 40 days. That's a lot. Yeah. Usually, the the people who I notice it in that have gallbladder trouble just had a big weight loss. Yeah, now that that's and, been and a, it. Just seems like it happens a lot. But I'm, I'm, not, try I'm only that. I'm only saying there appears to be a non scientific correlation. Mine did not. Yeah, yours yours you didn't, didn't. No, and there's certainly exceptions, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Th- did you make your 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 odds higher if you're somebody who was a, who's a, who's who's Mr. Tubby? And you tried to do it's better, tubby. and but, so Bubba, you're saying to save your gallbladder, you're not going to try to lose weight. I'd be careful losing <laughs> too, too much right. weight. Not too much. I don't want you to step. But, I think it gets used to working on that, you know, that high fat diet, and then when you take it away, it's still in there pumping. Gotcha. It, and gotcha. It, it, it messes it up. It doesn't know what to do. Well, with it, it says bad. <clears> the bad that's a non-scientific well, term. Well, but we anyway. asked the question last night. They said the bad fats will irritate this. The good fats won't. But, but mm. I, but I. I mean, when I when they said, "Tell us what triggered this," and I told them what I had just eaten, they kind of had that look on their face, like, "Well, there goes that." Mm, uh, I don't know. I mean, this was not a cheat night. This was not. Yeah, I'm li- I'm living on the edge. Hey, let's we're all in. I think this was just over a time thing. Uh, yeah, I, I think this was building over a time. And yeah. back to this again, and 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 I, I enjoy it when you can go when you need to be a pro and move on through that that you know, and it's nothing but genetics and all that to have a pretty good tolerance for discomfort. But the problem with that is I don't, just like my dad, just like Greg, we don't do a good job. My wife's been studying this. We don't do a good job of seeing a red flag. Yeah, We, we don't recognize them. You know what I mean? So now that this has happened, I've gone back and go, you know what? I remember, you know, that I started getting a pain right there. Mm-hmm. And that's what I want to know about. Well, <laughs> for you do know. And that's for, where we'll start. For me to say, Get the doctor on the line. Something's got to happen. Yeah. Oh, it had to be bad. It was well. well Hams knows. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's uh, been there. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ten minutes.
close to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us. Wednesday Bible study back today. Genesis 16, uh, grab it live or on your own time. All right, so uh, Willa Mead has not spun, and I did mention tomorrow, Moultrie and Gary, you know what, sometimes they can be nemesis. Uh, they're gonna they're bonding together. I can't figure out Moultrie's angle on this, <laughs> but because uh, I know it's there, I just gotta find it. But uh, and Gary has got a big announcement tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm telling you, he's he's getting you know he's you know there's already people down there in Chilton County think he's you know kind of got a little above his yeah too big for his above his razor. Yeah, oh. yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. these people at all times say you know they think I'm changed because y'all. You know, have me on the show and stuff, and I just tell them I ain't got time for that. Now they ask me, you know, when's the next time I'm gonna be on the show? Or here, Gary has gotten so good, <laughs> oh. it's scary. It's, I, I actually know. think it's him. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I, I, Greg, I talked to Gary a lot. You do. You do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, call me. All right. So, <laughs> Every, you got me, it's it, not near as far as you thought. No, no. He, <laughs> he really fooled me. Gary will make you think it's it's a it's an alarm call. Yeah. And, and he'll answer, and I'll say, he said, "Hello, <laughs> Gary." Hey, what you doing? <laughs> what, hey, you, you told me to call Returning you. Turning your emergency call. Hey, everything okay? You doing all right? Lord, help me. I've been down here working in this place. <laughs> <laughs> so he, want, that, he wants me to know that I know oh, he's doing something. Let me tell you how he's changed. Who do you think is I'm communicating with about talking points tomorrow? Gary's sending me detail information. No, he's not. He's really oh, He's a businessman now. He's, he's it's, it looks, highfalutin. Hey, tomorrow's big. I never thought right. he would do what we're going to hear tomorrow. I never thought he'd do it. Gary, Gary is uh, he he's he's got a lot more going on than you guys. Oh, know about. no, yeah. Gary's got that folding right. money. He's, he's cash for it. He's got that folding money. Yes, he does. I've seen mm. it. Mm-hmm. We got some we got some assets out there. Oh, you oh, can sure. it. Yeah. He mentioned something other day. I didn't even know he had. But you know, I I get you know I, I showed to you know what I had in it <laughs> to my boy. You know that little farm I had. I said, "What farm are you talking about? You have a farm?" <laughs> well, yeah, he's got it now. When did you have a farm? <laughs> You know, stuff and boy, he's got a piece of primo property too. Oh yeah, somewhere. yeah, I know. That's what yeah. I was talking about. That's, that's I asked him the other day, has he looked at his de- as his age? Mm-hmm. And I'd like to know what he's waiting on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, don't miss out. I mean, they offered me something the other day, but I can do better than that. Gary, you're you know, sixty something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, how much? I mean, you got, don't 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 <laughs> hold on. What are you holding on to it for? What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> no, nah, I can do better than that. <laughs> or your family can. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you're right. Yeah, somebody. Hey, tomorrow, I Somebody just, hey, hey, Greg, I just couldn't continue to like the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right. So Bubba, this, so Gary tomorrow, big announcement on the show. And he's bringing Moultrie. Mm-hmm. Hey, now, hey, Moultrie told me, I mean, it's the best call he's ever heard in his life. Oh, and he knows, and, you know. I mean, he you knows. Know. <laughs> so anyway, so Netflix, and, and which to me, Bubba, maybe this, it doesn't, this does not feel complicated to me. Uh, because you know the competition in, the, in this this category now is all over the road, but the Netflix is um, saying that they're uh, they're they're starting to struggle a little bit. Well, Rick, remember uh, we've been talking a little bit about business and the, and the study of business in general, right? And you know, at one time HBO and some of these places, uh, you thought, well, you know, nobody will ever topple them. Mm-hmm. And you remember, along came Netflix. Yep. And they were the little streaming service that could, mm-hmm. and they just took the industry by storm. Didn't they start out sending DVDs to your house by mail? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was, a, it, it was a shipping service, yeah. and they grew to the point they started producing their own shows. Mm-hmm. And I remember the day we did the story where they had more subscribers than HBO did, mm-hmm. and the money that was uh, how it was changing. So, again, you see someone come from – a point of nowhere to overtake someone who has owned this market for a long time. And then now we see that Netflix is now going back down the other side of the curve here. First quarter this year, they lost 200,000 global subscribers. Uh, That was against what they had predicted, a modest gain of 2.5 million. Now this came before they suspended service in Russia, which saw them lose 700,000 subscribers. So the stock plunged by 23% yesterday in aftermarket trading. Mm. Um, and they also drug down a couple of other streamers with them. But, yep. Rick, that's uh, I, I, the 200,000, I, I was trying to figure out exactly where that came from or what the, why the big exodus now. 
Well, did they go up on their cost or something? Here's I, what. I now look, I could be completely off. I'm just trying to use that Calhoun County superpower. To me, isn't this like what you what I, you and I talked about? Um, uh, was it in a podcast or on there? I can't remember. You know, there was a time when a radio station could get a forty share because mm-hmm. the 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 band was not very crowded. Right, there weren't very many stations. And now, of course, with class A's and translators and whatever, the the, the band is full. Yeah, splintering yeah. of the market. Yeah, yeah, a splintering of the market. And now you're 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 happy. I mean, if you're sitting there with a in big markets, if you've got an eight or a nine share. Oh, I don't think I think a six. Lower six. Six, yeah. you'd be number. In one markets there. that we're in, it's big to have a fifteen share, a twelve share. Right. So so you know, and, and at one time we were growing up, radio stations literally had a forty something share. Yeah. So isn't it just a splintering of the market? I mean, there's because at one time, if I'm Netflix, if you want your stuff to be streamed by the consumer, you got to let me have it. But then I lost all the NBC programs when NBC did their own. Well, that was then the I thing. lost all the Disney yeah. stuff when Disney did their own. And then when you know ABC, CBS, they're all doing their own thing and taking program from me. From me, you know, if you want to watch The Office, you're not watching on Netflix anymore. You got to go watch it on Peacock. You know, so is it a splintering of all that that they just uh, the market is just a lot more crowded now? It, it has to be some of that. Yeah, I mean, they were the pipeline to get your program. Yeah, I mean, they basically were a streaming cable service, right? For for lack of a better term. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then they moved into you know their own programming and all that. But and and at one time that's that's been my gripe with the streaming thing. It, it it was you know you could you could see transitioning to that mm-hmm. and it'd be fa- fairly simple. But now you got to have eight different apps, and mm-hmm. by you, the time you put all the subscription cost in that, and there's several apps now that will look at your all your streaming costs and you add them up and you're like, what? Hey, yeah. wait a minute now. Yeah, it's um you know it, it to me I it, to me this is just the splintering of the market. They're not the only game in town anymore. But it hit them hard first quarter. Real hard. I, yeah. I, you know, that was uh, it was a little unexpected too. And it's like confusing. I watch Netflix See, a lot less than I used to. The, I'm I'm over on Amazon. I'm over on Hulu, Paramount. Uh, I I don't sit down and go. Well, hey, if we want to stream something tonight, it's got to be Netflix. The we last wanna, if time we want to stream something tonight, mm-hmm. my goodness, we can. Rick, the yeah. last time that Netflix recorded any notable drop in subscribers was October 2011. Okay. Yeah. Do you? I, I think a lot of it is is really less about them and more to your point, Rick. That there's more available now. I mean, unless you have original content that is going to draw people there, now that you have so many different platforms, that back then, Bubba, when they started, they didn't really have as much competition. But, but those platforms have been out last year. Why this quarter? Maybe did we see a yeah. two hundred thousand? Yeah. And this is this still doesn't make sense to me because they say they lost two hundred thousand subscribers in first quarter. But they also lost seven hundred thousand in Russia when they suspended service going. Well, yeah, that was their own doing there, though. Yeah. But the two hundred thousand, I don't know how it works because I, I can't remember. How did these subscriptions work? Could it be that I was stuck with them and couldn't get out? And, and then this, when the this oper- was a rollover and then, time, and then the opportunity yeah. came well, for I, me to get out. I, can you counting. get out at any time? No, no, I know Hams. You can get out at any time. Trust me. Hams comes and goes. And get on back this in anytime. Yeah. What, what do you know about it, Ham? Anything? <laughs> yeah. You can come you and go just, quick. You think it's just competition? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Well, Greg, Greg saw, Greg witnessed oh, yeah. my episode. and From beginning to end. Yeah. Well, it's almost like picture. There's no relief. There's if, just if no you, relief. If you've watched one of those um, gladiator era type movies, you know that thing they have that has that has big old blades on the end of that ball on the chain? Mm-hmm. Picture somebody taking one of those and hitting you right inside with it. There you mm. go. Mm. And, and it not letting up. Right. Rick wow. and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Probably the better example. So anyway, uh, the reason why confusion, I didn't immediately jump on this last night. Uh, some people say you had too much Burgess in you, but it really was beyond that. As we have put together our plans to try to do a little bit better, um, I, I, I ended up having to do something that I normally don't do because of my age. Now, again, I know we frustrate the entire health industry when we develop our version of what they want us to do. Right. You know what I mean? Right. 
And so I understand, you know, well, you know, you, 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 you're not that old. Da, da, da. But I know what to do, and I normally do not work out two days in a row. I work out, get my body recovered, then I'll work out again. I do not do two days in a row. Did you do two days in a row? I did. And well, so, that's it, Rick. Yeah, so what, what happened was. <laughs> I can see that one for That you, losing weight. <laughs> there was a workout that I had, that I committed to a period of time that I would not miss these thing, these little challenges to kind of see where I am compared to a year ago. Uh huh. So we were out of town Friday in Atlanta, so I was not able to do that. But I, it. So I came back thir- Sunday afternoon and accomplished <laughs> it. And, you know, and, and foolishly uh, felt pretty good about myself. Yeah, you know, which was the worst thing I could do because I thought I could have some. But you did go over that workout with us, and it, it was, was quite it was, a workout. It was, it was horrifying. Right. It made my gallbladder hurt. It did. So the <clears throat> so the next day, because of the way the week laid out, if I didn't work out Monday, I wasn't going to be able to work out again till Wednesday. So I said, well, I'll go ahead and do Monday, skip Tuesday, and then so Monday I knew that I would be extremely sore, and I was. I mean, I really, really was. So keep in mind, my body is hurting just no, I'm just sore everywhere. And I'm, I'm joking about it, and Sherry's talking about laugh, laughing about how I'm walking and all that. Hmm. And so we we eat. Now, I want you to know this. Sherry had to go run a bunch of errands, and it's just the two of us right now. The boys are gone again. You know how it is, teenagers. You, you hope you'll get a letter from them at some point. And <laughs> so anyway, um, I said, um, I said, by the way, dinner's on me. We had uh, rotisserie chicken, which, hmm. by the way, came into play last night. I learned some things about rotisserie chicken I didn't know. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Uh, we had Causes fresh fresh squash, okay, uh, and uh, with with Vade onion in there with it. We, we had black eyed peas, and a new move on the okra, because it was raining like crazy at our house. Mm-hmm. I took the okra, and just put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, and did the same thing you do on the grill. I just did it with a pan. Yeah, kind of like worked you, out, and it, it was just fantastic. Mm-hmm. So Sherry comes home, and we've got fresh squash with Vade onions in there. We have okra, we have black-eyed peas, and we have rotisserie chicken. Okay? Now, the rotisserie chicken, I didn't prepare. I just picked it up. So we're all fired up. Now, that's a pretty healthy meal. We don't have any white bread. We don't have, any white, we don't have any white rice. We don't have any of that. You know, it's uh, – and so – and I, we've eaten all these things before with zero problems. And um, – but I had been noticing over the last probably year, year and a half, that every now and then if I'm in the car, which I attribute it to, you're in the car and you're having to ride a long way. If I had to ride a long way, I would start getting a, a hitch and a pain on the right side down below my ribs. And, it, and I'd kind of go, well, that's kind of uncomfortable, and I'd kind of try to move through it, move around, try to stretch, and then I'd just move on through it. Seat belt or yeah. something's holding me too tight. So yeah. I go over to the this – is, this is where it gets weird. Sherry told me, I think I have a sinus infection. Could you talk to the doctor and see if you could call me on a Z-Pack? So I'm not even in trouble. I'm, I'm talking to the doctor as the husband. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, talk to Dr. Farley. And he said, absolutely, I'll take care of it. And you can go pick it up, which gets funny in a minute, and uh, and be happy to take care of that. I said, yes, yeah, you know, she knows when she has a sinus infection and she needs to do something on Friday. She needs to get well. Okay. So uh, so I, then after I've done that, I walk over to the, to the counter in the kitchen, and my, my goal is to take some relief factor because of the soreness, to um, go over there and um, and just a glass of water and, and take that and uh, and I roll over there and I take the relief factor and and so I, I get ready and I tell Sherry Sherry's got something she's trying to do I said when your when your prescription's ready I'll go get it right now I'm gonna go downstairs kick back watch a little TV while you finish all the stuff you're doing sounds great thank you for dinner it was fantastic you're you're more than welcome. So um, at this point, because I want to include everything, I moved to get a dark chocolate dipped banana. Ooh, okay, that, sounds good. that was in the freezer. Okay, because you can buy those good. those frozen bananas, which I love. Somewhat a healthy snack. Okay, probably be debated, <laughs> but in our world, that is somewhat of, mm-hmm. a, of a nice little reward for eating well. So I, I do that. <laughs> so at that point, I start feeling something's. Man, wow! I'm, I'm really. Had you eaten that already, or was it after you ate that? It was. It all of that was behind me before okay. any pain started. N- any more pain? I'm already sore. That's why I'm confused. Right. But most of the soreness that I'm dealing with is in my legs, in my quads, because mm-hmm. the stuff we. But we did a lot of stuff that involved shoulders, chest. You know, so. 
Your core First area. thing I think of is the cartilage in my rib cage is just sore. Right. You know what I mean? Right, I see right. that. Yeah. yeah. And and so, but it's not hurt because if it was hurt, I wouldn't be able to breathe like I was breathing. I tried to breathe, and that didn't hurt it. You know what I mean? So I thought, well, it's not a rib injury. Breathing's good. And I didn't hit anything. I didn't land on anything. And I thought, well, I guess, boy, I'm just really sore, and I'm joking around and, and whatever. And then and then, and then it kind of – picture the right side. Go, go to your sternum and come to the right – and it starts hurting really bad right there. I keep coming around. It's it starts hurting through my ribs. Feel it starts exactly. hurting back here behind me. I'm feeling. And it's kind of running here a little bit. <laughs> Got it. And, I mean, I'm not talking Is about. Is it right above or below that roll? It's right here. <laughs> Look, right here. <laughs> right, right here where my six-pack would be. Yeah. Okay. It's the, right, it's the right. gallbladder <laughs> is up and the appendix yeah. is down. So, so that's how you know that. So I got it. I've pinpointed it. But I don't know what oh, it man. is. I'm going to mark mine. <laughs> I don't know what it is about men. It really hurt bad enough right then. I should have been screaming, somebody help me. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I just went, well, I'm, I, I can, I'm going to get situated in this chair, and that's going to stop. <coughs> you know, so I sit down, and I, you know how you do this? It is uh, seven and a half minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba show coming to you from the No Name Studio. We thank you for being with us. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Tomorrow, the cutoff for Fix Mama's Mouth. If you if you haven't gone to the contest button and got your mother entered, uh, tomorrow's the cutoff. So get that done and follow the instructions to the letter at rickandbubba.com. Also, if your team would like to get VIP privileges and have a cool experience with the USFL Weekend 2 coming up in Birmingham, Alabama, enter your team. You could win the the Team of the Week. So look for that at rickandbubba.com under Contest button as well. Welcome back for a brand-new hour. Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us. Well, Mike Tyson. Uh, well, well, Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson. This is my rotter. Mike T- I mean, it's a, it's a rotter. <laughs> I was in Joe Rogan's podcast. It's a, pod, it's, you, a pod, it's a podcast. Let me ask you this. Huh. Do you, is, it, is it required that you smoke pot on Joe Rogan's podcast? Oh, no. I, I, this is it him and po- Elon. Or should we call it the podcast? You remember Elon got in yeah. bad trouble with that. Well, you yeah, know, Mike's in the he, marijuana business now, yeah. the, the legal. Well, weed. You know, it, you, you talk about the weed it, business. Elon lost his security clearance over it. Oh, really? Yeah. Na- NASA yeah. didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that at all. Well, you can't. That part of the rules is you can't use drugs <laughs> and have those top Greg, level. Greg, I'm in the weed business. That's from the weed. It's, it's, I'm just cannabis. Like, ah, when I'm not, when it's I'm cannabis. Not, cannabis. Nothing wrong with cannabis. It's cannabis. I got caught up and started smoking. It's, it's, I kill a man with cannabis. <laughs> when I'm not growing pigeons. <laughs> I, I, got, I got pigeons and <laughs> can, and, and cannabis. <laughs> so uh, so <laughs> anyway, but but this is really weird. We'll talk about the marauder. Now keep in mind, yeah, I'm a marauder. Hey, Greg, I, 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 I kill a man. I eat him. <laughs> eat his children. I eat his children and cannabis. <laughs> if you look, though, he was smoking dope with Joe Rogan on his show. Yeah. Cannabis. No, it was dope. Darren won them down. <laughs> and um, ain't today cannabis. pot day? Uh, who knows? Isn't it? 420? Yeah. Happy weed day. Oh, it is today, isn't it? Wow. Night t- buy your weed from me, Mike Tyson. I kill you. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the... Um, It'll knock you out. I think this has a lot to do with it that they're that they're smoking weed, but Tyson begins to tell tell Joe Rogan, "Are you Bubba? Will you want to say it?" Well, I mean, Rick, I, I he, uh, he claims that he believes that rich people abduct vagrants <laughs> to chase them around on large private estates. We've all seen that movie, yeah, a, a bunch what of times. It? Andy Griffin was in one of those movies. I think Bubba, you was. always bring this up, don't? Because it was too disturbing dark. to see it's too Andy dark. The one I always that. go to too is dark. the one with Ice T in it. Too you dark. Ice T, and he was in it. Of course, they couldn't. And the Hunger they, they Games. Tried to take him. Hunger Games got a little bit of that too. Sure right? yeah, 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 but yeah. y'all, if one if that uh, if new one on Netflix, yeah. Squid Game, Squid Game. Uh, if, I never if watched. People Squid. were if people were scooping up homeless people it's off the street for some kind of weird whatever. I mean, wouldn't we see a? Uh, the numbers of homeless people go down. Apparently, that's not know. a problem. There's a lot of homeless now, people out there. 
Well, yeah, I doubt we've had a head a, count. We got a little this, bit. There's a lot of, lot of body snakes. It might get why, us in trouble, but we got a little bit of video to help it. Y'all have to stay in the Mike Tyson voice. Oh, we have to stay in it. Are you attempting? Is that your attempt? It's like that movie with ice tea. It was a very lazy attempt. That's terrible. I stay in it, I'm sorry, Rick. Rick, I stay in it. What's the ice tea movie? I liked it. You talking about ice? You talking about ice? Let me guess. The honey. Ice I'm a robber. Play the video. This is what I say. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> maybe your Tyson's got like, he's got a, it's a, it's got a touch of underwater man. You're some kind of cartoon, but you're not yeah, Tyson. It's Daffy Duck in a high pitch. It is. Ooh, that's funny. Uh, this is what I, here, here it is. Uh, this is uh, Tyson in his own words. Where is it? Mike Tyson. Where is it? Play it. I guarantee you there's been someone somewhere in the world who paid someone to hunt a person. I, I, I guarantee you that's Listen, happened. Listen, no. This is what happened. They take these homeless people off the streets, put them in there, take them to one of these special hospitals. They take them from that hospital, may have them drugged up, take them on these large estates of property. Let's hunt. And, and let's I'm, hunt, he said. Okay. Uh, hey, y'all, that, so that's high. all you got. Okay. That's my experience. Hey, they're so I, high. They have burned some garbage. So this, my, that's my this proof. May be, this may be beyond him being stoned. It may be all the hits to the head. That's now. a good point. You know, I love how he referred. What's he to, talking about, Bubba? I, I, I love when he referred to, referred to you why. a special hospital. Yes, yes. they take right. them. To, they take them to like a special hospital. Rick, get, get her a little raspier because he seems to be. Yeah, he, he's older. Now. He's a little raspier because I just had some weed. He's a marauder. <laughs> I just had weed with Joe Rogan. He's, he's let's number take one take podcast. Them, now you rather right, take them to they take them to a, to a special <laughs> hospital. And they set them out in the, out in the private states. Now he said it like a say, fact. Like everybody knows that. Like, where's these states at, Mike? Let's hunt. Let's hunt. <laughs> Mike, you were them rich. You may be doing that. Somebody run. <laughs> now, well, here's what I think's happened. You, or you, have you, a pet tiger. You disappeared into it. I think Tyson's done this before. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> and, and, he sounds like he's trying yeah. to make the point by saying, I've done this, so I know it's going on. <laughs> right. Yeah, because oh, What's he, he talking about, Bubba? <laughs> There's no doubt. What's he, he talking about, Willie? He might have done it. But uh, but I don't think people do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's just strange. Know, they round up these homeless people with Rick? special hospital, and they tell me state say they're wrong. Now he did say he didn't have any proof, but that's just. <laughs> now I ain't got no but, proof. But I love pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> now I tell you, William Holyfield does it. <laughs> so. <laughs> what about uh, people that bite off people's ears? <laughs> what about that? I eat a man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adler, is this? Is there anything uh, else? That, I mean. Now, the, the story y'all have, he went on and I think he said something down in there. Look, he went a little bit more detailed what's on he it. Talking about? It was just rambling no, no, back and forth. Well, they're they're high on a podcast. Yeah, hey, you can tell. <laughs> they're like, hey, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. What do you think about? <laughs> I was thinking about maybe I could fly. <laughs> I saw that I could touch the sky. Hey. <laughs> Joe Rogan, I'm going to slap my arm. See if I take off. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. What was the name of that movie Andy Griffith was in? That's Griffith. Griffith. That's what I say. Yeah. Griffith, boy. <laughs> Do y'all remember the uh, short story? Did y'all read The Most Dangerous Game, that short story? That's Probably. what it's about. Probably. Uh, that's What's exactly the movie what? with I Ice Team? I think that, that same, that was a short story, but that same theme has been done oh, yeah. several times. Mm-hmm. Surviving the Game, Ice Tea? Yeah, that's it. 94. That was a good one. The Most Dangerous Game book is from 1924. So this has been a concept that people have been talking about a bunch. In the 20s, 1920s, it was actually really popular for wealthy people to go on these safaris and stuff like that um, and, and hunt animals. And so I think that's where the ah, short story who puts that and in people. There? Uh, and people, too. That's what I heard. <laughs> Come on, there's so yours. Me and Chris okay. Adler. That's Fetherius. <laughs> Suffering sucker tag. Chris Adler, his brother said he hunt him. <laughs> what, about, what about your car broke down on the road? <laughs> Let's all do it at the same time. I shot two brothers <laughs> side on the side road. I sick. broke my back. <laughs> I got to punch him. My back, back is broken. On the side of the I, I got to punch him. I'm over here. <laughs> Ears are delicious. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you eat that little fat pot, somebody, yeah, it's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. The name of that broken. movie was Savage. If you look hanging off somebody's ear, it's like a pork chop. It's like a little pork chop. I said, hey, what's up, Mr. Allen? <laughs> don't be mad with me. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Now, Joe Rogan, don't be mad with me. I'm just stating the fact. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke my back, back is broken. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. No, mm -hmm. no, that's not going <laughs> to. Trying to shift to get no, comfortable. No, no, that's not it. Okay. You start doing, then you start doing crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ballet yeah. moves. Yeah. Just any yeah. way you can arrange your body. And, Getting a plank. And it's not just not relinquish. It, it is not going to relinquish at all. Mm. As a matter of fact, it says we may go. We're going, we're going more. And I'm like, so you're going to go more. <laughs> and I kept thinking, I don't know why it's so long. This is nothing. I just need to get in the right position and I'll be fine. So then the pain got to the point that I describe it as acute. Mm -hmm. Like like now, like I said, this is now when the guy in the gladiator has the ball mm -hmm. with, with all the, the blades on it, on it and the yeah. spikes on it, and he's hitting me in, in, my, in my side mm -hmm. right there. And I'm like, well, this is really, really painful, and I'm not enjoying this one iota. But you have made it to the basement. I'm and still you're down, down there, kind of by yourself, having well, a mi minute. Well, now I'm the animal that you left in the cage, and he's battling. Okay. You know, I go over and lay in the hay. Yeah, you know, I get up, and right. you know that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this. I'm going to. I will at some point not feel like this. I don't know why we do that, but I was just banging my head against the wall, just putting off time. Mm -hmm. So we come back. I'll tell you. And this, those of you that have known me for the last 22 years. Since I've been married to Sherry, the next thing will not surprise you at all. No oh more. All right, okay. top of the hour. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, glad to be here and glad Rick's with us today. So I'm telling the story of last night. I ended up having to go to the emergency room over uh, what turned out to be a gallbladder situation. Uh, I'm, I'm now in excruciating pain, and I'm walking around the house, and I'm trying to get into different chairs. I'm trying to stand up. I'm trying to lay down. Uh, and I realized I'm now, I now have abandoned trying to watch anything on TV, and I start moving around trying to live. <laughs> now, at this point, huh. at this point, if my doctor had called and, and let me give me an update on the prescription he called in for my wife, not me, if he would have said to me, if you will go outside right now and eat two handfuls of gravel, it will stop. I would have done it. Yeah, no, I'll exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like whatever it, I've nuked. You know what I mean? I would have been like, whatever <laughs> needs to be done, I, whatever needs to be Because you keep thinking, okay, in a minute it will stop hurting. Mm -hmm. it, it don't back off and, at all. And it won't. And then it just starts doing this. It, it, start, it starts rising. Yep. Oh, no. And, and then so, so in, mm. to no one's surprise, now I begin to wonder You're the house. You're screaming, I surrender. Yeah, now, yeah. now I'm wondering the house. I no won't, boss. I won't stay in one room. <laughs> For some reason, now I think a new room will change it. Yeah, you just got to move. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go move. into a different <laughs> environment. That'll help. Yeah, now keep in, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now keep in mind, keep in mind, I will not relinquish that I'm in trouble. No, I, I'm trying to land, and this is a muscle spasm. God. This is whatever Sherry's, you know, putting, um, you know, muscle spasm stuff on me, and then, and then, and then at one point, I, I kid you not, I'm in excruciating pain excruciating pain. Now, remember, this has been a theme for the last 22 years. My wife says, hey, could you run out there and get my prescription? What? And I looked at her, and I said, "I'm so, what? She goes, I need you to go get I'm in the middle of something right now, and I need you to go get that prescription for me. Could you, you do that? <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to breathe. So then, now <clears throat> now I'm out in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, now you attempted that? Well, you know why? I said, I got to do a twofer. I'm going to search the aisles for something that will stop this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think I, now I'm going to take care of her, and I'm going to see if I can't get a bonus. Uh -huh. Rick, well, what, were you looking for the pain in the side aisle? I am. <laughs> what are you looking for? That was it. I really was. You I, have an aisle for the, when you have a, I wish you'd seen the pharmacist side. when I said, you got a prescription for Sherry Burgess. <laughs> and she goes, is you sure it's for your wife? Yeah. <laughs> What what aisle can I find excruciating pain in my side? <laughs> and, uh, and, and of course, stupid me. Was it muscular? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm, I will not consider major organ. Uh, yeah, you right, know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. And so, uh, well, <laughs> so I go over and get that stuff I like. Uh, that that Highlands. Um, that, That's for cramp. For cramp. <laughs> okay. Of course, it clearly says calf and leg cramps, and I pop it. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the way, I almost got. I thought I was in trouble. With security cameras, because I was in the aisles taking medicine. And by the way, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to do that. No, no, no probably no, not. You can eat a grape in a grocery store. Yeah, but you, I'm in the aisles opening up packs, <laughs> and I'm popping stuff down. I'm grabbing a, a water out of their cooler, <laughs> and I'm just I got something's got to change. Yeah, you know, security Milk was magnesia. going. We got a bearded man. He's <laughs> taking stuff uh, aisle three. Gravy, please. Bubba, 
20 minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number. We'll get to more of your phone calls for before the hour is done uh, as we make our way back. So uh, some celebrity news uh, today. Uh, we, got, uh, we got plenty of that. We got golden, golden fingers, fingers and we love everywhere we go. Everybody. At $10,000 a show. That's right. Give us all kind of thrill. We've never known. Everybody. Never it. Let her get you. When you get your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Wanna see my picture on the cover? Wanna buy five copies for my mother? Ah! Cover of the Rolling Stone. All right, Bubba, where are we starting? Uh, Rick, let's start with Johnny Depp and oh, wow. Amber Heard. Um, mm. they, I feel like they've been in court on TV for four years. I mean, is it just me? Yeah, I, I, they, they had one of the nastiest oh, divorce yeah. things I've ever seen. That got over, and then Amber did a op-ed where she referred to herself as a survivor of domestic violence or something to that effect. And now Johnny Depp has sued her for that. And they're in court. It's live right now. We're, we're looking at it here in the studio. So we've had a d- divorce that's now turned into a defamation? Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he is actually suing her for $50 million in damages. And he said that uh, when asked about why this is happening, he said he told the jury he sued his ex-wife, Amber Heard, to, quote, clear his name after she accused him of domestic abuse. So now think about all the, you know, the, the divorce thing was just unbelievable. The lawyer's fees, the money, the money's changing hands. Uh, what, what he spent was, money on. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. And then now we're back again. It's being played out live on TV, a $50 million case. And you, you can imagine what the lawyer fees alone in this is going to be. How about the acting <laughs> they're doing right now? Yeah, what about when actors yeah. are doing something you're not supposed to act? And like you don't really to, know yeah. if they're acting or not. Because, yeah. mm-hmm. huh? look, so, she's acting right now. Look at that. It, well, here's what you don't know. Is she acting and pretending to be the victim of domestic abuse, or is Johnny Depp pretending he's not an abuser? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody, uh, how about this? Somebody, somebody here Pick is lying and pretending. It can't, yeah, Rick, right. there's really not any middle ground on, no. on that charge, right? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't think so. The only I mean, thing better if we had Mike Tyson commentate. Yeah, if he was talking they, about I, it. They, they, they're going to spend well, a lot of money on lawyers. All she had to do was call me, I'll beat up Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, so so other other celebrity news. Have you seen this video of Jessica Simpson? Uh, by the way, I didn't even know. When's the last time we heard from Jessica Simpson? It's been a while. She's, uh, I don't know. So she, I'm, she I'm not even she's out She there. was raising a family and kind of got out of the headlines. Did she have like a fashion line or something? I, I, I really don't know. Uh, I, I haven't followed the uh, the life and times of Jessica Simpson. But today, fans are concerned because they said she's doing, I guess, kind of an influencer kind of ad on her social media or something. And they said if she's uh, trying to do this this sponsor of her social media, uh, that she appears fidgety, nervous, and slurring her words. So, uh, so here it is. Hey guys, climate change is impossible to ignore, especially for my friends in LA. We know so many of us were affected by the wildfires a few years back, and now rising temperatures are always in the back of our minds. What many people don't realize is some of the other effects of rising temperatures affecting us right now, like the increased pollen count and the longer, harsher allergy seasons. Pollen count and climate change are both invisible monsters we are all fighting. I have been fighting my allergies with Flonase for years now, and even my kids use children's Flonase. Hey guys, uh, Clarence. Well, change. she looks crazy. And by the Did way, she say Clarence, Clarence change? Clarence change. You know, she was reading. She had a little reading work on my face. She kept looking down yeah, to yeah, read she it. She had the cue card. How about I take Flo Nays? It's a good card. product, but yeah. my goodness. Hey, well, I wonder why Flo Nays can't contact me. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sniffles. I got the sniffles, and I give you sniffles. <laughs> but anyway, the... Um, so is this... Uh, I, you know, I really haven't heard this one yet, that mm. the... Uh, 
that climate change, oh global warming, is going to make the pollen season yeah. worse. Well, she had to somehow know. talk about flonase because well, well, she's uh, obviously getting paid for it. <laughs> well, Greg, here's the what? other thing. If I'm going to so run out spring what? and I got allergies, You're right? That, if, just use that. If I, yeah, it, well, well, you remember now? I'm, I'm in Hollywood now, sure. and I'm, I'm a bit. I'm over in that camp, so I have to pretend to be concerned about climate change. Oh yeah. And I know when Jessica Simpson that presentation right there. Is going to make me change. I'm going to check, I'm going to check my carbon footprint today. <laughs> Absolutely, because right. I know Jessica Simpson is all over this, and knows she's ex- got it. And yes. knows exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure she changed from Jessica Simpson. And I did think she was acting weird. It, it yeah. just felt like a weird yeah. feel yeah. to it. She has actually gained a hundred pounds and lost a hundred pounds within the last three years. Yeah, so yeah I saw Terry was looking at something. She was mm-hmm. like, "Look how much weight I've lost," or, or you something. You think she's hitting that plumage a little heavy? She's hitting something. I think she's hitting something a little heavy. Take, take, putting on and putting, taking off weight like that is, is, uh, yeah. it's crazy. Uh, and now Lakers legend Jerry West. Oh, he's on. Where's Jerry West from? He's over the Lakers. <laughs> he's up. Uh, he's demanding a retraction. What he says is deliberately. He's the logo, y'all know that. <laughs> False. <laughs> <laughs> False. Characterization of him in this HBO's Winning Time. Anybody seen this show yet? Speedy, I think, started watching it. I have not given it anything because I thought it was just a documentary like the Bulls did a couple no. of years ago. I didn't realize it was actors playing it out. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. Let, and let me just say, now, I, I think I, there's I, probably a yuck factor there. You better be careful. Well, with I, I'm flipping through the channels and you and, dive I, at it. and I see this <laughs> and they're in the coach's room or something like that, and they're all they got they got investors, they got the owner in there, the yeah. head coach. And it's kind of like a war room setting on who they're drafting and stuff. Sure. It looked pretty interesting, but it was like on into the series. So I just I stopped because I, I didn't start it, yeah. you know. So I was wanting to go back and see. But I did hear it might get into what some of the players are doing off, sure. off yeah. on their own a little bit. But I haven't seen any this, of it. This is what it's saying. That, that it said a lot of people who, who really like Jerry West, including uh, longtime sports writer Bob Ryan, they said the betrayal in this, this series of Jerry West is reprehensible, meaning that's that's the best I could say. The worst is borderline criminal, hmm. and so uh, the uh, Jerry West is saying this is a deliberate. Uh, uh, See how to bring suit. The attempt to destroy me, <laughs> and the things they're saying I did, and the person they say that I that I was during this time, is completely false. And and he is uh, he is going to be going after HBO. How about that? Uh, I heard, was it Kareem was also kind of defending Jerry West, saying this was a little out of bounds here. Yeah, so I haven't seen it. I don't know. Kareem I, Abdul Jabbar. You, you talk about Jerry. I knew we need to do our sender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we've evolved into now. <laughs> 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 now Mike, Mike Tyson gets the kind of different Mike Tyson. Now we just got none of them sound the same. <laughs> right. It's like a room full of Elvis and <laughs> 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 all of them different. What's funny is Helmsley said he wanted this to be the rest of the show, and I told him, I said, "There's a good shot you're going to get <laughs> yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. 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 Say Topaz like him. <laughs> I know you ever try Topaz. <laughs> All right, I'm just uh, now I'm Jay Leno. Yeah, now I'm Jay Leno. Hey, hey, they're close. Jerry needs Topaz. No, no, Mike Tyson and, and, and Jay Leno. If you're doing <laughs> an impression, <laughs> if you're doing an impression, they're very close. Yeah. Well, we have a best of it's uh, Leno interviews Tyson, and you were going back and forth oh, on it. I bet that was pretty good. What was that? So that's your Mike Tyson right there. <laughs> yeah, Speedy ain't quite feeling well. Yeah, yeah, he's working on it. <laughs> Are you are you now are you now trying to see how bad you can do it? Or are you trying to get that? Well, uh, I just got to get my lift going. <laughs> <laughs> this is this, you know some things don't. You know, we all got these areas. Yeah, some yeah, yeah. yeah. This just doesn't fit. Well, uh, what I'm doing? I'm not closing my eyes. I got to close. Uh, you keep your eyes open. It's messing you. Up. Yeah, you you do Kermit really okay. good. This is not. And underwater man. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget about Yoda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a Yoda in there. We'll, we'll be back. Tyson, I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All the things. I'll pay for it. You know, I mean, I, I'm not running. I'm waiting on my wife's prescription. You got me. You know what I mean? You clearly see me. <laughs> and and so uh, mm. so then I get my wife's prescription and I take the muscle relaxers. I grab some of that stuff that is the lycane stuff to put on a muscle. I said the whole time I think this is muscular, the whole time, because I want it to be because yeah. I think there's a way to solve it. So I get home. Sherry does the the Epsom salt bath. When I get into the bath for the very first time the entire night, I don't know if it was the buoyancy of the water or whatever, but for a moment I thought we did it, we did it. 
I'm going to make it. You know what I mean? I think I think you distracted your brain. Yeah, I think with sensory overload of the water. Then I realized that I did the water too hot, and now we're in the middle of summer, and I start to profusely sweat. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I got to get out. So so then I get out, and here it comes right back. When I, we are back. You know what I mean? And and you're I'm like, like I'm you're back. And so uh, so 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 then I go, what? Well, if I can just lay on the bed, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Now keep my hours. Ago, I just I'm need fine. to lay down. Okay. So I, and what I'm doing now, all I'm doing right now is ensuring that I'm at the emergency room later. <laughs> okay, other than, so than early. Yeah. So, so I and got, you're clean when you get there. So, so well, I, that's true. And Sherry's like, "Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Z pack." Ri- lots of things going on here, and she goes, "Are you gonna be okay?" I don't know. I think I'm fine. I, I something's got to change. So I go and lay on the bed, and what do I think? Well, if I can just get my pillows right, I'll be fine. <laughs> sure. And right. so now I'm. So I'm, that'll cure it. I think. I think. I'm, I tell you, when well, here comes a commercial for my pillow right now. It's gonna keep your gallbladder from rupturing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so now I get I get the pillows, and I'm and nothing. I go back, I go side, I go one time, I'm completely laid on my stomach, and yeah. Sherry's walking on my back. Come walk on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Step right there. You know, and but again, Rick, you're ignoring, you're also hurting up here. Yeah. Rick, will you pay attention? It's up here too. It's not just back in here. And and so uh so she walks on me for a while and <laughs> and and I mean we're literally trying everything. So uh so then Sherry leaves the room and when she comes back. I'm as wide as a sheet. I've got sweat on my forehead. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I still can't figure this move out. I'm over her dresser pushing myself up. (laughs) Well, you trying trying to stretch my body. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and she says, and she finally says, this is ridiculous. If you just had a set of rings. Now, what, but what happens next? <laughs> you begin to Google, and I've got lung cancer. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. My oh, gosh, don't I have ever lung cancer. Google. Don't I Google. have lung cancer. And I start saying, I didn't even smoke. <laughs> you know, and, and, and Sherry's like, you don't have lung cancer. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's, pan- it's my pancreas. It is not your pancreas. Will you please just call the doctor? Can you just call him? So, and he, and he, and I called the doctor. And, uh, hello. And, uh, and he goes, <laughs> hey, Rick again. He said, he said, he said, did, did the prescription? I said, no, that's fine. I picked that up. I said, I'm in excruciating pain and something must change. Mm-hmm. Tell me where it is. Gallbladder. Mm-mm. He said, you gallbladder's doing something with your gallbladder. And I said, he said, you, he said, here's the deal. You, you, I mean, here, here's your, here's your deal. You can wrestle around all night long, potentially be in danger. You know, I know how, you know, cause he, yeah, he deals with, all, he deals with all of us. He yeah. knows how we are. Mm. Why don't you do this? Cause then he starts speaking my language. No hassle Rick language. He's giving me a turnkey. Yeah. Go to this emergency, which we advertise for the, now these places, all they do is diagnostics and emergencies. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go there. There's there. I'll go ahead and call and tell them you're coming. It's not going to be that crowded right now. Walk in and in an hour, they will be able to diagnose the deal with a blood test and, uh, and an ultrasound, and you'll know. You'll know. You know, and then, and then there was the thing, and, they'll, and they will do something about the pain. And I thought, I am in. Yeah, I'm out. Because I was at the point I, I was ready to eat gravel. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now. <laughs> I wish you'd have called me when you were headed that way. I mean, you're only a few blocks from me. I know. I should I should, should have said, can you come get me? Because, you know, Sherry, she could have left me. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, she, know. Because at one time I saw her yawn a few times. I thought, she's going to leave me. <laughs> yep. You yes. remember Betty dropped me off at the door of the emergency oh, yeah. room one time. Yeah. We headed out. Yeah. You, you remember ready? Sherry left me. I had to call Don one to get me one time, remember? I do remember that. <laughs> So that's what I'm talking that was about. a different trip. Our wives have done things that I think they should have been in trouble for. Yes. My wife left me at the hospital one day for three days. <laughs> I remember one time the doctor, he was working on me. I mean, it was an update on the staph infection that was in my face. I mean, the plastic surgeons are in there. And she rolls in with my overnight bag, sets it down, and leaves. <laughs> and he, he goes, he goes uh, who is that? I said, that's my wife. He goes, she doesn't want an update? I said, apparently not. <laughs> You know what she, she figures y'all can handle. You know she texts me. Hey, I'm not a doctor. I got things I got to do. <laughs> if I figure you up, that me when you got it. What am I gonna do about it? Did you not need clothing? Did I not bring it to you? You got your toiletries. I brought all that. Mm-hmm. Now I'm moving on. To the next thing I got to do. You know we can't stop the world because you know you may have to have your face reconstructed. <laughs> so 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 anyway, uh, God gave me a very very tough woman. I don't know what happened in heaven when God said, and now we will hand out mercy. Share. <laughs> It is 35 minutes past the hour. 
Cook's Pest Control and Centricon teaming up to protect uh, your property from uh, evil termites. But you also need them for your month to month, uh, no matter where. Uh, you need uh, protection from those pests that we all hate. Use them like we do. Go to cookspest.com. Get a free evaluation, and uh, then they can tell you what uh, they think you need, and then you make the decision on whether you want to actually hire them or not. Can we save you the trouble? Put them on the job. They'll get it done. We, we love them. They take care of us. They'll take care of you. And then you can sing uh, like we do if there's ever any issue at all or if you use their month to month, there rarely is one. Uh, but if there is one, they're there. And you can say, looky, 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 here comes Cookie. Cooked best control. <laughs> Bubba Elon Musk is ready. He's ready. He's ready. I am willing, he says, to invest up to $15 billion of his own cash to take Twitter private. People are saying, and he's, he's agreeing, that he will make his bid within 10 days. Well, I, I thought he'd already made an offer for $43 million. Well, and that, that's not all his money then? Is that yeah, what you're I, guess, I guess not. I guess what he's saying now, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going in and I'm going to make my official full takeover and take it private. Uh, it says he has 9.1% in the social media company. Uh, and Morgan Stanley, he went to them and he's, and he's got them raising an additional $10 billion. Uh, and it looks like I guess he's gathering the cash he needs now, because you're right. It says his massive $43 billion bid to purchase the company, or $54.20 a share, may require borrowing uh, against uh, both company and his stock in addition to raising money from private equity investors. So it says um, Musk himself is going to do 10 to $15 billion. And uh, and and so uh, so I mean if if the board does not okay or approve this, it will turn into a hostile takeover, which they'll try to go directly to stockholders, right? I, and you know and then and then the company will do the poison pill where they allow their current owners to buy more stock at a discounted price, so that it's harder for him to get fifty one percent. Or he was trying to get all of it, right? I mean, he wasn't just yeah. trying to get control. Sounds like right? it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I mean he's that's a that's a big big bot right there it's, even for Elon that's that's your big boy right mm-hmm. there and uh, yep. your boy Elon is, is trying to make a move you know what Greg if I, if we ever decide to form a new band and we just don't bring Mr Lucky back I'm thinking the name Hostile Takeover Hostile Takeover that's a good one <laughs> I can't believe we didn't think of that that's a pretty good band name right Hostile there Hostile Takeover I think yeah. it's really kind of y'all's life too y'all take over parties and oh stuff. sure well no, that's yeah, going that's there no. No. we right. like we like to think of ourselves now as using our powers for good yeah that's right <laughs> mm-hmm. we like to see that now. <laughs> Taking on a little, taking on a little yeah, share for, for the Lord, as opposed to destruction. Um, y'all, we did a story on Netflix. Uh, Return to Space is an here he goes. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. You talking about that again? And okay. well, y'all won't listen. I feel like I'm. In a He's been talking commercial. about this for two weeks. Did you hear, Greg? He said, "He said, are you going to marry that Elon <laughs> documentary? You marry it? It's, yeah. it's a good. It's good. <laughs> and Bubba, what you not and watching this weird? I sent it to the team. Of course, got zero. Uh, and did and you I just, send that thing? Said Arch Manning was going to Alabama. Was that you that sent that? It was no, it was twenty four seven or somebody sent that out. I was just, it was a tweet actually. Why did you Rick, go there? The because big, I, he's sending stuff out. The biggest, I meant to yeah. comment on it then because <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right now the biggest problem. Every time I sit down to watch something, I end up falling asleep. So right. I don't. That is a that's a condition <laughs> yeah. you probably need to if get, get looked still, at. If you get steel, if you get steel, well, I tell you what, out. we're going to watch this Elon Musk. Well, no, I, no, I don't want you to. Like I really to don't want. I you really to. would like to see. Matter of fact, you better not watch. Did you invest in it? Well, we just all bring things to the table, and I feel like I'm over here. And again, I think. My voice sometimes is muted. <laughs> I think I'm talking, but I don't think anything comes out. Can I tell we you heard it. We were like, okay, we'll watch. Can yeah. I tell you of the of the team? Of the team, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if it's your frequency. <laughs> your, your voice is the easiest to turn off. Yeah, Can I say you, this buddy. too? I <laughs> told, it, 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 well, listen, that makes a lot of sense. Funny is, is I told Amanda this on the way home yesterday for Mobile because I feel the same way sometimes. It was actually nice to be somewhere with other adults and they actually listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get used to it. Let me tell you something. I'm very selective. That too shall pass. <laughs> look, look, this, look this, this, I, this, I'm not proud of this at all. Right. But this this is basically how my radar works. <laughs> Interesting enough. You know what I mean? I, I'll come over here and I'll pick up your frequency for a minute and I'll go, yeah, I don't like that programming. You know what I mean? And then, I, then I'll move on. Yeah, that topic right there, I'm not interested in that. Sometimes I even have to get creative. I'm like, man, this is really important. How will I get them to listen? <laughs> did, did you go in there and tell Adam to put the ad up for the – 
uh, Elon Musk thing? No, no, <laughs> I didn't. But let me I say this. Let me help Bubba because I think been Bubba pushing this for about two Bubba, weeks. You would love. I think it. Bubba. I, would, I don't know why you won't I watch it, it, but I don't want you to watch. Great. Hey, let me tell you something. Bubba. If I get the TV in my office to work, I'd watch. It. Listen to. You. I, oh, listen. Bubba. I want you. I want you to listen loud and clear here because I'm going to help Bubba. Let me help Bubba. I just ain't worked on. Let me help Bubba. Hey. Yeah. If you're going to keep running around to 8.40 at night, <laughs> you're a little bit out of control. You're not, you're not going to be able to watch anything. I know. You're going to be so sleepy, you're not going to be able to hold it together. <laughs> I gotta, I'm going to have to make up tonight. I'm going to try to hit the bed at 7. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so daylight. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> seven, <your> uh, <laughs> seven feels like two in the afternoon. It really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> people, never still going. Going. people still coming home from work. Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how long it's light now this time of year, Greg. I, I get down to the farm, and I get fired up about fishing. And, you know, really sometimes prime time is, you know, getting to watch that sunset, and I'll start too early. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, I'm fishing in the dark, and I realize how long dark <laughs> is. going to make it in the dark. <laughs> four hey, more hours. Hey, Rick, don't get down here until about four. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you hey, Rick, you start fishing at eleven thirty. I, I got news for you. It's a long, it's a long way. way. It's a long way to sunset. You think yeah. you look? It's it's two thirty. Oh, lower back right. gets hurt. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, sunset. You, you, day. Right. <laughs> but you know, you know, return to space. It um, <laughs> it's really good uh, because you it went this, from it, you have hey, to. It, you went from, believe it. it went from Musk and them going, okay, we're going to take you know, cargo and stuff to Buddy, the space station. We got but, it. But you know, and then them coming back down and being able to reuse the rockets. Yeah, oh, how about that? And then, and then now, so we're going to have human flight. Now we're going to astronauts. I go to Mars one day. And I was I was proud of myself because normally things now space wise, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Rick grabbed the remote, and turned you know? the TV off. <laughs> but and then, never mind. I, I can't. Greg, Greg. Speedy, I'm trying to stay with you. It's tough. It's tough. Rick said his voice is at a frequency that's most likely not to get knocked it out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> really, it, way, way, things, buddy. Well, no, it explains a lot. You know, there's. <laughs> I needed to know oh, that. I know, there's yeah. some people you can't turn off. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there. And I've tried. <laughs> it ain't working. I did something yesterday. If I said it right now, I think it may be too. It, mm, remind yeah. me in this break, because y'all about to laugh real hard, and you're gonna scream. First of all, exaggeration, okay. and you're gonna be surprised when I stay with it, oh. and I say I absolutely did it. I couldn't believe I did it either. What I did yesterday to avoid a conversation, I can't even believe I Rick. did it. No, Greg, I can't even believe I did it. <laughs> okay. but, but, as be I, good but as I was doing it, I was thankful because because the end Just, result. Uh, yeah. Let now, me ask you a question. I, but for me to work that hard at it made me, made me ask myself, is there something wrong with it? Yeah, that? you could have just you know, dealt with it. All right, so I can do one of two things. Right. And tell me what might help you, <laughs> okay? Do I need to change the way my voice sounds because I could throw my voice a little bit? Or do I need to give what I need to say to somebody else you're What if you do to? it in underwater man voice all the time? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't get my attention. Well, that'd be tough to go. It, it would. Like, I could take it like this. <laughs> you know, I could do that. Or I you're could, Tyson, which is yeah, different. Your Tyson that. would be Or helpful. I could just, like, hand it to somebody that... that I want you to keep you know, trying that, to say it and watch it, because I, I love your action when you fish them. We, we have a good time watching I, it. Over. I, like, I don't waste my words. I really try to tell y'all important <laughs> things. Rick, here, here's Greg and I. Uh, what? Hey. I thought you cared about my kid. Yeah. No, no, I'm not with that. But I mean, I, I want to get to what's going on. I mean, well, some, I don't know how quick I can get there. Without, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it can be just a little. It's like a, a guy used to tell me. Sometimes I just want to know what time it is, and mm-hmm. you tell us how to design a watch. But if I don't tell y'all what's going on, then we're on air going, "Why the heck are we doing no, this?" No, that's different. That's different. Okay. Now on that, like I don't we're really just think I say about much. Elon Musk. Like, like today, I mean, like a text, there's a car set up. Uh, hour number three, I'll be out there with a cell phone. Hamzy will be out there with me. Pot us up, and and then and then here's a one sheeter has everything on it about the Indy 500. Well, that's kind of what we did, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's just a, you're you know, saying that's what's that was good. That you're was good. That was that good was like pfft, yeah, right to it. Yeah. Like it, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, right. I, I mean, you know, you know that you worked me for years. Let's just get right to it. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, all right. So this been a minute. Yeah, right. This, the, you, know, <laughs> you know, just it's a, it, you know, just there's a lot going on. I well, think, I think what it is is you've had. And it's your, and your you know, how sometimes when you're out of words, I think you're out of getting information. I, I mean, yeah, it's no, uh, no, you know, I, th- I no, think we've been are. doing this so long. It's, it's like your your information Thanks side is like I can't take anymore. I know. I, I think you just hit it. Do you realize how yeah. many people it's, talk? It's like you need to yeah. clean out the drawer. Do you know how notes. many people talk to me? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, That's I mean, why I try so to many. handle, show-wise, so I try many. to handle a lot of things where you don't have to worry about it. Right, yeah. But at some point, I have to tell you something. No, you do. <laughs> no, yeah. 100%. Just get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> really try to make the one pagers pretty. <laughs> no, your one pagers are fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It's the reason they're called yeah. one pagers. We just got to find the one pager and read it. I love that one pager. <laughs> hell, your like, one pagers have come a million miles. Yeah, you just try to just write to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I love a one pager. Yeah, April twenty ninth, Maine first. <laughs> <laughs> Barber Motorsports. <laughs> that helped tremendously. Oh, like Rick and Bubba. Distracted. I don't know where she was. Um, she went over and picked up a little speed. She can run fast, but she's not very merciful. So, so anyway, I know now that she could abandon me at any time. You know, so she she's trying to get answers, and so they come in and very very kind kind people. And a matter of fact, uh, the ultrasound. I think Kelly is on her way home right now, and her husband and her who've been listening to the show since the nineties are having an anniversary today. Oh, right. So happy right anniversary, yeah. and, and the entire team was just fantastic people. I got you on my mind. Yeah. So when we come back. Sweet, sweet morphine, and then uh, and then we'll talk about the diagnosis. All right, so you're there, going through the process, trying to get the pain to subside. Right, and I'll talk about that. I ran into a Brian Regan moment. Oh, Brian Regan does a great bit on when they ask you on the scale of one to ten, where are you? <laughs> and Regan is right. You can't say ten. You just can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Hey, this is Brian Regan, and you are listening to the Rick and Bubba Show. Do you remember when um, when Brian Regan talked about this next moment? Boy, so he is funny, Eddie. He is, and he's right. And and I, Brian Regan influenced me. He did. I don't know if you've ever seen his bit about this, about when they ask you on a scale of 1 to 10. It is an absolute, <laughs> I mean, I hate to use this term now, side splitting. Mm-hmm. Uh, very, very funny bit that he's uh, he'd heard that uh, people who have had their femur a uh, broken half and, and, it, and it be a uh, compound fracture yes. is the world's worst pain. Yeah. And he said that they say that's a 10, and he was afraid to say 10, <laughs> even though he thought right. it would get his attention because he thought that maybe they would come off of a guy would walk in and hobbling who, yeah. said, who said they were a 10. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, so and it was getting better because I'm, now we're researching. Now Sherry's on, the, you know, on all of the websites, and it says that these attacks can last from 15 minutes or all the way up to two hours. And I must, of course, have a two-hour one. Sure, you're, yeah. you're pegging out. Yeah, yeah, so now at two hours, I can feel it letting off a little bit, but not not a lot, but a little bit. And uh, so when they come in, they said, tell, tell us about your pain. And I, I pulled a Brian Regan. He always says, say eight. And I said, I said eight. And uh, and so, you know, they started working on me and all that, and so they're going to do... Now, you didn't have to pick the little smiley faces, did you? No, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm frowning. Got, right. back, yeah, got back there really quick. Of course, now's the first time doing what we do for a living that I scan at the clock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Sherry says, do you, we need to text the guys. And I said, eh, we're kind of in that mode now where they're all in bed. Uh, but eventually, she's like, well, they need to know. And I said, well, we don't know if I'm going to be there or not yet. Um, so, well, so I was so asleep. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so they, they, they go do the, the, the ultrasound <clears throat> and, um, they take blood. Uh, but the, the woman that was so wonderful when she came in and this is why these things are so dangerous. And she said, you're in a lot of, let's get you comfortable first. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, sweet, sweet, sweet woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Thank you. Angel from heaven. And, um, <laughs> and so she said, I'm going to give you a little morphine. I said, Whoa, morphine. She goes, well, that's because it, it, you won't have a hangover from this, and it'll 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 do the job, and then it won't you'll 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 feel okay after after about thirty minutes after we take you off of it. So then you know what that leads to. Now I'm holding court. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, and I'm I'm talking about everything under the sun. Oh boy! And uh, and I want everybody to know that I'm now becoming an expert on the gallbladder. <laughs> but anyway, so um, and I keep uh, I keep talking about various things. At one point. Uh, I, I even gave the history of the cowbell at Mississippi State. I don't know why I got it. Really? Yeah. Well, one of the one of the women had a, a family member that's going to Mississippi State too, and is going to move in the same day. Oh, okay. Brooks is. And uh, of course, I you know, I was told that maybe asking about the cowbell. That's we, I think we've covered it. You know what I mean? And, and so, um, and I was using the word "cool" a lot. That's cool. So, uh, so, so anyway, um, the. Um, wow. Really? But I, I didn't care. I, 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 all I thought to myself now. Is uh, if you have a pocket knife, I mean, you remember that that feeling? Let's just get it out. Yeah, yeah right really now. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm what whatever wicked thing, whatever wicked thing has made me feel this way, I don't ever want to see it again. Well, sir, we just don't want to take your gallbladder out until we take it out. Is that what's causing this? It's got to go. I don't want to go home with it. I don't. It's like taking a bad roommate home. You know, you're like, you finally get rid of him. I'm here for y'all to remove this thing that's tortured my house. 
And so, so I go to the ultrasound. They come in and they say, yes, it is. Uh, it is. You do have gallstones. They're not big. They're smaller, which means we, if they were blocking the duct or something, we'd go ahead and we, you'd be leaving here going to surgery. Uh, but we don't think that's necessary. Uh, let's try to treat it with lifestyle. And then, I, then when I start saying, well, look, I'm, I'm going to, pr- I mean, compared to how I used to live, I'm, it don't get any better than this mm-hmm. for, for someone like me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, you know, can you, we'll have to figure out what triggered it. I can't think of anything that I described to y'all I ate that would have triggered this. Can you? <laughs> to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number, and uh, you can reach us. All 10 lines are available. Flip the switch, uh, make a move. What do you want to talk about? Ask a question, bring information to the table. It is not designed for meaningless shout-outs or shameless plugs. Uh, I I must emphasize, as you're coming in right now, I I must emphasize these calls. Uh, let you know some of you that are waiting on Fix Mama's Mouth and you've been putting it off and you've been watching this deadline, tomorrow's it. So you need to get Mom turned in by going to the contest button at rickandbubba.com and you can find that contest button right there. Uh, Wednesday Bible study today too. You'll see it on our YouTube channel at noon central, 1 o'clock eastern, Genesis 16 today. Uh, Boy, I tell you, when when God uh, lays out a plan, try not to come up with your own. Been there. Uh, we got that today, and we'll talk about detours that we take uh, that God uh, did not intend. So that's uh, that's going to be happening today in 16. So uh, so be with us or either live or when it's archived soon after. We'll put out our links as we do every Wednesday on all of our social media platforms uh, so you can go catch it on your own time. So 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number uh, for you to join us now. I know the kickoff hour mentioned this, but that's been a long time ago. Uh, did you see this story, Bubba, for a brief few hours? Convenience store in Tennessee was offering the lowest fuel price of any gas station in the country, but the owner didn't know it. Oh, no. Oh, not yeah. a, not we, the pump malfunction. Yeah, there's, how, how low was it? 44 cents a gallon. 44. What? Yeah. Oh, he took a yeah, bath. 45 cents. Yeah, 40, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm but you were real close, Greg. Mm-hmm. 45 cents. Now, we all know, if you walk out there and you saw it, you know, uh, maybe 30, 40 cents less than everybody else. You might think you you fortunate. You might question it. But, boy, you question 45 cents a gallon. Well, the guy that, that actually brought his attention to it put 12 gallons in. His bill was $5 or something. So he said something ain't right. And he went in, and, and they said there was a language barrier between him and the owner. Mm-hmm. That he finally realized what had happened. He was, he was brought to tears. So when the guy entered yeah. in what he was supposed to per gallon, he got it wrong. Uh, and they're saying there's no telling how much money the man lost. They said they'd been open about five hours before anybody said anything. Uh, wow. It's, it's amazing somebody didn't say something. Like, are you sure? Dude? Yeah, one guy finally one did. One guy did. Mm-hmm. Would you say something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. Well, yeah. I, I might question. I go, hey, you sure this is what you want to sell us? Let me beat would have said he heard. Don't y'all know they were having a really good sale on gas? They said something about it. Uh, I, I would absolutely. Everybody knows. Absolutely, this would be my battle. Morally, I 100% need to tell the man. Yeah. Okay. That's not even up for suggestion. I mean, uh, discussion. I think knowing me and my no hassle, I literally think I would have tried to look across the street at what the price of gallon should be. Right. Take that money out, set it on top of the tank, and left just so I wouldn't have <laughs> to go back in off. there. Cause and I let somebody else tell it. Or just yeah. call yeah. him on the phone as you drove right. off with a full tank. Yes, yeah, something. <laughs> I, I, I would have said I, the money is, you should be getting, I put on top of the – because you know I'm in a hurry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to go. And even though I probably don't have to be anywhere by any time, <laughs> yeah. I just have to hurry all the time. Yes. We've talked about that. Right. So I, I would have let him know, but walking that lot and going in there and having to deal with it, I'd have to ask questions like, "What kind of lines at the counter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how, yeah, how, right. how soon can I get his attention?" Style, yeah, I great. certainly am going to pay what I owe him. But but, but go, as but far go, as notifying him and trying yeah. to, especially when you get up here and realize you got a language barrier. Yeah, I know. And then when I saw that, I'm like, "See, this is what happened. You can't even. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, no, no good deed goes no. unpunished." So <laughs> when I told you what I did yesterday to go to the bathroom and back, you see what I, how far yeah, I'll go. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I like how you slam and break. So <laughs> what you just seen? It was like I ran to electric fence. <laughs> Um, to the phones we go, if you want to join us, you can. 866-WE-BE-BIG. 30 seconds a pop. We'll start with Thad out of Sacramento, California. Thad, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. 
Hey, hey, this is Bad Baby. I heard you was talking about me yesterday. Catch me outside, catch me outside. How about that? Hey, keep my name out your mouth. You understand me? You told me yesterday <laughs> I'll be living in the dumb years. I'll be living in the dumb years every day of my life. I tell you what, if Adler would have talked to me like that, like you did his brother, I would have called him outside. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Catch me outside then. By the way, that catch uh, me outside story yesterday stuck with me a long time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. I, I, I was traveling. I, I couldn't. I thought to myself, well, doesn't that, doesn't that, doesn't that, just, doesn't that just say it? Yeah. I mean, doesn't that, doesn't yeah, that just say it? Sums it right up. I mean, doesn't that tell us everything we need to know? Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? You see how quick I gave you that information? That was good. Come out, ma. <laughs> Eight six six. We be big. How many days we going with this? <laughs> many. Yeah. Well, we talk like Mike Tyson. Uh, so. uh, about that. Uh, Wendy Sims, <laughs> Alabama. Hey, Who Wendy. Uh, Thirty seconds. Wendy, go ahead. Hey, uh, I haven't watched today. Uh, I've got a comment and a quick question. Okay. Uh, I'm preparing for my daddy's uh, funeral today. He uh, went on in on Good Friday, so he celebrated the. With the resurrected Lord. You How about know, that? Yeah. How Sorry. about that? Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. And that's fine. He leaves a long legacy. Amen. Uh, of course, you know. And uh, my question was about Joe Biden, the Secret Service. You know, when he was wandering around when Obama was at the White House bumping into walls, who was the Secret Service? And then at the <laughs> Easter, when he wandered to the fence, where I thought they had to be within arm's reach, and they're nowhere to be seen unless they're off screen. But normally when you see the the president, you can see half a dozen men in suits right there surrounded him. Have they quit guarding him now because he's not really in charge? Well, you know, you're right. She has a good point. That I, is a good well, point. He was over at the fence when the Easter Bunny came to save him. Yeah. I mean, he just ran over amongst yeah. the crowd. Yeah, at one time we thought there was a Secret Watch Service right person now. in the bunny suit, but it turned out not to be. It was somebody who worked with the press but secretary. But you could tell their job was oh, to no go question. round him up. Do you think everyone had been so screened to be on the lawn that maybe, that maybe yeah. they were relaxed a little bit or something? You she, said, catch me outside. How about that? She asked a good question. Yeah. Of course, that will lead to conspiracy theory. Is the Secret Service just not even fooling with it? Yeah, somebody. <laughs> there I mean, he is, y'all. Uh, How about it? Huh. Or. Okay. Well, next mm. call. How about that? You know what I mean? Everybody saw the movie Dave, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So look at him. Yep. Look, here, here, here's the bunny thing. Look again. at the guy holding his hand out, and he never shakes his hand. I feel so yeah, bad. Yeah, leaves him him. hanging. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 he gets over and gets talking about Afghanistan, and somebody says, send the bunny over and turn him yeah, around. He just wants Did you read his lips? Wow, big-ass rabbit. Greg, yeah. Greg, Greg. 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 Awesome. he thought it was real. Uh, Greg, look at him. Oh, Greg. man. Little kid with the mask. Here too. Said, and that read his lips, Rick. Doesn't really need it. <clears throat> you don't. The, um, so I don't know. I mean, you ask a good question. I'm sure that, that I mean, the Secret Service hasn't stopped guarding him. No. But it's, it is interesting. They're, is they're that Secret Service right yeah. there? Right the there. The guy in the top. See him? Where? Uh, right, right there. Yeah, right there. Maybe. Right there. That's maybe, him. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, okay. There he is. All right. So and here comes Peter Cottontail to save the day. Mm-hmm. Look at look at his face right there. Got him. Mm-hmm. Got him. You guys, Greg, that face. I've, I, mm. That just. Mm. I'm telling y'all, this is bad. The uh, well, what what about, that's a great him. freeze right there, Greg. Hey, guys, uh, he he thought that was the angel of death looking him in the eyes. <laughs> it's, oh, it's the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we think it's a better visual? When we need to get him turned around to send to someone dressed in a bunny suit versus sending Secret Service, just say, Mr. President, work, walk your way back over here. Yeah. Did we think sending the buddy? Or have Dr. Jill do it. Right. Sending, the, yeah, his wife. Did this, the bunny's probably the worst thing we could have done. That really turned out. <laughs> scared looking, me that. It turned out looking really, well, see, really bad. See, to everybody else, they think the bunny's playing and they, hey, you just come this way. And mascots aren't supposed to talk, but you know that one was. Oh, yes. Mm, yes. He's going, shut up, shut up. You, you, can, you can bet it's uh-huh. talking. Yeah. Wow. All right. Thanks for being with us. Stand with me, Mr. President. <laughs> Turn, please, please stop talking about Afghanistan over here. There's Oompa Loompa. People, people got all kinds Oompa of phones. Loompa. People got all kinds of phones and stuff. <laughs> Oompa Loompa. How about Oompa. that? How about that? How about that? I'll catch you out there. How about that? Thanks for being with us on this edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba.
Hey, thanks for watching Rick and Bubba live on YouTube. We're here live at 5 with a kickoff hour bright and early Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on our YouTube channel. And catch a commercial-free Best Of Hour on Blaze TV every day. Rick and Bubba, it's must-see TV. Or radio. Well, yeah. Rick and Bubba.